for revenge. They have Weiwei to play against Weibo. They've got all the tools in their gear. Now they just need to make it happen. I love to see it. Uh, I especially want to see some top lane flexing in this one. And I want to see if we're going to get any crazy uh, 2v1 kills from uh, Mr. ZDZ that he had on the Rumble. And uh, a lot of those calls I think will be really interesting. That man on your screen right there going to be also extremely important for LNG. And this is the first time we're seeing LNG, but you have to remember that it could also be the last. These uh, first rounds of the playoffs, All right, come on, Gala. definitely a difficult one. It's a best of five. Come on, Gala. You move on or if you go it's time, bro. until summer split. Thank God we don't see Mark. Thank God we don't see fucking Mark. I don't know if I lost trouble, but uh, maybe we did. We'll take a look at uh, see the way Hey, we got back. Hey, we got back. Hey, we got there back. we go. <laughs> uh, this, I was just saying, this is going to be a, um, a tough match for both of them because the last time these two teams met in this season was week two. It was at the very, very far beginning of the split. Completely different meta, completely different champions. Teams gelling together by bringing in their new members. Mm -hmm. And back then, it was in favor of LNG. It was the gala show. They were able to pull out these team fights out of Weibo Gaming, where LNG knows that they're better at. So let's see if Weibo Gaming in this particular series can actually pull them apart on the map and try to play towards that one three one that we have been pretty much, you know, complimenting them for the entire time. <laughs> I'm very curious how quickly. Uh Tristana is gonna fall through the cracks here, or if it's gonna be right. a priority. That guy right there. Are you upset today? Say I hope not. I want to see Gala win. Uh, Weibo, they've been. Man, Weibo's not been bad. Hair, and I think this they just seem kind of fraudulent. Like this parts of Weibo that I just don't like. Was all about, you know, they seem kind of fraudulent. Scout at the beginning of the year, Gala halfway through. Hoping for LNG win. A, a way to write new stories from legacies that were already set in stone from RNG. I guess my prediction, my official prediction would be like 3-1 Weibo, or 3-1 LNG. I think Weibo could win um, if LNG's prep is bad, but I feel like Tristana is just going to be permabanned. And then it will be hard. Of course, it wasn't easy for both teams coming in here. There were a few changes. But as you mentioned right here, it's time. Uh, Scout versus Shaf, Yahoo, bro. I call it. Uh, especially when you have the names that you Scout versus Yahoo. Teams. And I am going to put my finger on both of these uh, mid laners. Yahoo, Scout, both absolutely freaking legendary. <laughs> and they're going to have to make the biggest impact when it comes to their teams. Um, slowly heading into draft, I think I would really keep my eyes out for, of course, Azir. Scout in the building. Uh, How quick does it go in the band? Uh, <laughs> one of the one of the best Aziers in the world. I would be very very surprised if Azir got left open or at least not picked away uh, for the side of Weibo. Yeah, Scout Azir is better than Jahu Azir. Like the Tristana, the Talia, the LeBlanc, anything that can pull your map apart and split push you uh, would be key picks for the laner of Weibo. And I do wonder if that kind of counter to the Tristana because obviously LNG had a little bit more time to prepare for uh, for Weibo. They get to watch a lot of tape from that best of five. They had five and, full uh, games, Marcel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it helps a lot to see those games that they lost, too, to see what exactly works. Uh, and so I do wonder if the Scout's going to have some answers into kind of an aggressive pushing mid laner. The Talia for Xiaohu, kind of a classic at this point now, trying to get side lane pressure in that way. Uh, and, and I... I I'm curious if Scout <laughs> how did Damwon win one game? Because Genji is match fixing. It's so blatantly obvious when you watch how Chovy and Lens play. Yeah, it might have been just a match fix, dude. Who knows? Everything is match fix these days, bro. What is real? I don't know if anything is real these days. The worry bank playoffs recently uh and in a lot of other leagues around the world particularly the lec jinx has been prioritized over things like the zeri as well so i'll be very curious to see what kind of priority lng does put towards uh the likes of something like a jinx paired up potentially with something like an ari something that has the double reset uh in their combination right there could be huge in terms of team fighting and finding this ability to push wable to their limits 
Another curious thing about draft, uh, we established a saying. Uh, I guess it was Nightmare that established it. We used it on broadcast last of time. Uh, no tree equal good, with tree equal bad. Uh, okay. Two games of Maokai for Shaohao last series were literally the some of the most two games of Maokai, but it was also Maokai with Tristana. And I wonder if LG picked up on that at all. Or Maokai with LeBlanc, AD LeBlanc. So. If they let it through. I'm down to take away the Maokai though. I mean, I feel like Maokai could be first picked. It's probably one of Weiwei's best picks as well. So, if, you know, if, if you're biased for Weibo, then you go to the other side. <laughs> well, I guess you, see. you can choose any. You're right. You're right. Depends, depends on which side you, you're looking at the tree from. Uh, now, now you're going to be I'll on agree. the spot and decide if you like trees or not. <laughs> then you could go full existential and go all that. Hey, way. listen, you know, you know. I, I've watched extensively the LPL this particular season, and I can't say that with all the junglers and the skill expression that they have on the likes of like Leeson and Diego, I'm particularly excited to see Maokai. Hey, I'm not hey, gonna hey. lie I'll to you. Shao, he had like an incredible Bramble Smash Flash play in the other <laughs> series. Uh, he had the one. All right, everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Wow. Flashy Maokai plays. No, but it, ma Maokai. it makes so much sense. We said that in a in a one through one scenario, the likes of Maokai and Sejuani can be so pivotal for your core three man that will stay behind in the mid lane, especially when you have an AD carry that are so susceptible to getting dived, getting pushed, especially when you're against numbers advantage. So yeah, I think like Maokai could potentially be that one pick that teams will look towards just to stabilize the map. It also starts skirmishes, it ganks, it starts team fights, it heals. What doesn't it do? I think Genji will probably just win the next two games versus Dom one. So I'd assume. All right, we're into draft. Let's let's get it. Draft of LPL, big match. Rumble ban into ZDZ here. I don't think Chris plays it, so that is a just direct ban into ZDZ. Tristana is Maokai first picked. I told you Azir is open up and available. Azir is up. Maokai is up. You know what? Okay, Varus for Gala. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Does Crisp it. deny the Ash? Okay, However, Crisp denies the Ash. They go Maokai as well. Suffer, Probably be Azir then by Scout. Playing against the double 80 carry bot lane in their series versus IG, and it looked so yep. darn dark. Rel Azir. Damn, they're insta locking. Pull out the Draven play together with Ash, split them up in half, and make Gala suffer in the early game, that would be a fantastic game plan to start off with Weibo. It would be so huge. And last time, the connection between Shaohao's Maokai and Crisp's Ash were so all right. big. And it's there to set up Light to get all that gold. Light out. Draven. On the other side, they immediately locked in the Rel, and that is zero. What bands do we get here? One of the best to do it on the champion. Absolutely. Now, uh, we're looking at mid lane here for Shahu. Uh, I'm looking for something that can pressure early. Don't make Gala suffer. Gala's always suffering, bro. He's like the best at suffering. Some people potentially like the Kalia has that power as well. You've got split push uh, pressure. You've got a really Blitzcrank. Okay. Well, they go Blitzcrank ban. I wonder if they go Nautilus ban as well. I mean, Nautilus rel, um, Varus, some people like it. The downside of it is that like 3v3, you have two tanks. So the Varus needs to do all the damage for the 3v3. But I think some people still uh, still will play it. I mean, Hong has always been pretty good at Nautilus. Assume that'll be banned. Talia ban is good. Asante ban into Zika. Okay. Yeah, Rexai ban as well. I mean, Zika is gonna play Renekton if it's up. Well, okay. So if if they take Renekton on four. What would Zika play into it? Is he just going to end up playing? Um... Oh, they're banning the Quinn because Zika thinks he's going to get Renekton. But now I feel like ZDZ should just take Renekton on four. And then Zika maybe takes uh, Nar. Could actually go for a Orin in this game. Orin versus Draven Ash. It's pretty hard for uh, Draven to get through Orin. Lanes on opposite sides of the map. Ash Draven, is that 80 Draven, LeBlanc? Very great LeBlanc. That was the that was the matchup Jahu played last uh, time. He was really confident in it. It's gonna be Renekton for Zika now. Jahu, LeBlanc, when it became extremely popular when the AD build and all that stuff last year, uh, he was the most lethal 
It's up to Hong what he wants to play into. Ash Draven. Sometimes it's just Nautilus. And Nautilus is pretty good in this game versus um, LeBlanc too later on. However, a lot of people don't tend to play bard? decks that counter Renekton because there's not that many, ladies and gents. So I mean, it's not an insane bard game. It's like an okay however, bard game. However, oh, not as bad. One, two, three, actually. Never mind. Bard is like pretty bad, though, I think, in this game. I don't really see the idea of it. I feel like bard just suffers versus Ash. You can kind of heal. You can take Guardian. Shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be Jax here. I don't like Gragas either, really. I mean, if they're going Gragas, it shows that it's 100% AD LeBlanc. But I'm just not a fan of Gragas. TF, I mean, that's a lot of magic damage. Merc Tread's pretty good. But I mean, if they get Merc Treads, then Draven is OP. So, we'll see. But uh, he's 100% on his other three games, so we'll see if it continues here for Hung. But it's a good, at least, answer into a lot of the aggression that this bot lane's going to have. And now you get a lot of that side lane pressure with DDZ. And if you look at LNG, they're all looking for team fight. They have so much set up with the Bard ult, with the Rel going in, Renekton and diving back. Why isn't Thresh picked in pro play? Champion's just terrible. The, pretty much that champion just doesn't have an ult. Really bad champion. The other side for Weibo, they're so volatile. is their draft strategy like i'm not sure what they can actually do in their draft strategy to actually hurt lng let's see if uh Weibo are gonna be able to because the nautilus is banned because they don't want them to go kaisa um it just seems like pretty hard for them to like open things up game one of our round two matchup between lng and Weibo. maybe they can do something Maybe the cheers already happened. Who knows? We didn't have the audio for it. Is Mark a fraud? I mean, Mark is just like we'll see the, pretty uh, bad in this type of meta. Mark is a kind of answer to um to some extent. He is kind of just a player that is best at champions that are not very good right now. Like his best champion is probably Leona. It's not very good. Suffering from the same problems that I guess Ming is suffering from. There were some hands thrown up in the air. Uh, you'll know. Ooh, the late invade. Coming in here by Weibo. They have definitely been spotted. However, what can you do at this point? Because it's quite late. They are going to turn back. It is going to be the poke virus as well. And if Xiaohao <laughs> manages to steal like that this. one away, they're going to force Weiwei out. Mm. Which is the key element that we talked about. But Who gets this? Weiwei it's going to be really big. His bot lane is going to be so volatile. Knowing that the <laughs> guy <is laughs> Jungle. I love this so much. Jungle <laughs> in... <laughs> I can't do anything. 2024, bro, bro season 14. Where I'm one with the forest. So pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> you try to win out by getting the small ones. And if either of them use their Q, then the other one will just get the big one. So neither of them is going to use their Q. Nice. I would love if we could add like some really tense thriller music, but I think right now this this is gonna end. Yeah. Oh, he got the small ones. So here he knew that that Jaha was gonna get the big one. So what he did is he took the small ones with his Q, so that Jaha doesn't hit level uh level um two. Pretty good defensive play. First camp going down. But it's actually pretty good for um, Weiwei to do this because the whole strategy that Weibo has here is they want a three-wave crash bot 
into like just potentially dive and now they can't dive anymore so it's pretty big double range especially draven and ash are so oppressive in the early game they can literally yeah. just walk you down so you'll see a lot of the pressure swinging towards Weibo's face. the stream is dead wait how is the stream dead or what do you mean by that like the uh arcane comet varus for this situation just try to get a little bit of poke down but i'm curious how it's gonna work are you saying like viewers or like the, there's a problem with the stream We are back to kind of normalcy with some heavy... Is it resolve Malkai with Fawn of Life OP this game? Uh, I mean, you can go Aftershock here. Ah, that's three minutes into the game, and we almost have our first tower plate right here. So far, so good for Weibo. Uh, great trade. Oh, viewers? I have no viewers? Oh, okay. Yeah. What, we've been live for 15 minutes? We have, like, 1600? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what I always had. Uh, plus cycle sword you dash forward you just probably take 30 percent off of some of this hp bar now weiwei is looking to find xiao hao in the jungle and he will but the oh no i just like i mean it's just the standard stuff like no i was just i thought that the way that um he said it, i thought there was like a problem with the stream just him trying to like insult me it's fine it's just like normal streaming right like that's how it is i'll be honest bro i don't think there's anything you could do to have 1500 viewers though like <laughs> Like, it's always the people that can't get any viewers. Like, they, they struggle to get 10 viewers saying 1,500 viewers. The stream is so dead. We'll make a gank with the magical journey. Isn't going to be able to find any CC on the ZDZ. That was very clever from ZDZ. He walked as far away from the creeps as possible. There was no chance for slice and dice. Oh, my God. Zika Damn. Well, and I was like, yeah, you I'm happy that he roamed right top, now. I guess. He relieved some pressure. Take some damage with you. Uh, it's not bad. To your lane. Actually allows Ziggy to breathe. If he doesn't lose anything for it on the bot side, I mean it's pretty good to do this. Now uh, I, I see at least both junglers on the bot yeah, side. Yeah, do you miss actually playing League? Why would I miss actually playing League? I think it, it behooves Weibo to go to the other side of the map, but it is an early hex dragon, and you have a bot lane that is very strong, uh, even though it's stabilized a little bit in the CS differential. You said that Gala hasn't taken his reset though. He does have TP. Yeah, I mean, he unironically did create space there though. It's actually a pretty good space creation. The main thing is that they probably have to call their jungler bot or they can't push this out. I mean, they probably just have to take a bad base, but it's like, it's fine, man. Like, you're not getting dove. You're CSing pretty well. First item, Vamp Scepter is... Um, the fir yeah, first item, Vamp Scepter is like not a super aggressive purchase it's much better for you to play this lane when he's on a first line of vamp scepter than when he gets a dive off and he is like a dirk that makes it a lot harder so it's pretty good uh, you've got ZDZ onto his twisted fate. He's actually chilling into the into the Renekton. Botlin is also pushing. However, the CS differential has not been spread mm. widely enough to say, hey, it really counts at this point in time. And that's what we'll see. Wait, why would I miss playing League? Like people, like I still play League. I, I said I can't imagine you would. I just miss you. Wait. Wait, I do play League though. Like wait, you realize I do play League? Yeah. Watching Saturday morning cartoons, except it's not Saturday, and it's. You know what? They always later. creeped me out. I, I like. I knew. That, I knew they were there, but I never. Is Eddie LeBlanc still good? Haven't seen it in a few weeks. I mean, I don't think it's like that good. Oh, <laughs> nice trade! Oh my God, solo kill from Scout. That's so big, bro. That's such a, such a dry solo kill. Jahu is trying to greet out his uh, ability to take the R back, and Scout just shuffled him at the exact timing where he couldn't end up taking it back. I thought there was still a window, to be honest. I thought Joe would still be able to take it back, but that's like almost game losing, bro. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. Takes down Shahu. Love to see the replay once again. I feel like probably Shahu took a very aggressive trade. Uh, w and forward. So pretty much like the LeBlanc is going to suffer now. Like LeBlanc is not a AD LeBlanc is not a champion. You can get behind on Azirith. Okay, so I thought he would be able to take his R here. Why could he not take his R? Oh, he was actually in the... Wow. That was actually really good timing from Scout. Because when he eat in, he actually he sat there and he just tanked him for like a couple seconds. Really good cancel here. It's really nice from Weiwei to do this. Kong's coming up as well. 
next one. Pickle CDC, CDC. there's a metal horse coming for you. You gotta get away. Oh Got the yellow card. Okay, he's fine. He pulled out nice. Uh, Hung is also here, just balls. in case. Yeah, they, they are full Gala. on pressing. No TP. There's three he members there. Oh, and Gala's just suffering as always. Nice, man. Oh, this is looking really rough for Gala. They are putting some hurt onto him. And Draven cashed in. That's really good for the game. Okay. <laughs> I really don't like this play from Hong, like selling Gala out to like pressure top. Like I'm fine with the Rel being up there, but I really hate the idea of just like the Bard going. Like I don't think Bard got anything accomplished and Gala just dies and now the Draven cash is in. And now Gala is just 20 CS behind. The champions that you know are going to be split pushing and being a nuisance for you over in the early game. Scout took care of his one uh, in the mid lane, one and all up onto this LeBlanc, almost as his first item. You see me to Twitter take about pro play being better without Azir. What do you think about it? Nothing. There is no difference over. I mean, yeah, I think pro play is better when. I, I don't know if it's just Azir. I think. I think Azir is like a bad champion for pro play. There's a few champions that I think are just really dog shit in general for. Um, like to be just good in pro play. I think Maokai is another one. I think Maokai in jungle for like pro play is not good for the game. It just makes things like ultra boring for the most part. Not a huge fan of it. So what is the point of this bard? I have not seen it do anything useful. No big deal, no big deal. I feel like Maokai's just been too good of a jungler for way too long. Super uninteractive. What champions do I love in pro play? I love like Thresh in pro play. Like I think that that's like a very skilled champion. I like to see champions that essentially people can like be skill expressive on. So like top lane, I like like Jax, Fiora, Camille, like things that people are really practiced on that are special champions. I really like watching Thresh. Um, like even though some people say Lee Sin is boring, I like watching Lee Sin in pro play. Um, I like watching Elise in pro play. Yeah. I just like watching like junglers play jungle champs. And like, yeah, junglers playing jungle champs. I want top laners playing top lane champs. Like just because ADTF is broken, I don't really like watching top laners play ADTF frequently. Oh, so he's full swapped here. Are they gonna play for six grubs? I mean, Draven is just gonna absolutely fuck this Renekton right now. And so far, so good for LNG. They're getting pretty much whatever they want uh, on the map in terms of not staying too far behind um, in terms of gold leads in individual lanes and playing towards this later on team fight abilities. Oh my god. Nature's Wrath here. Flash play from Shalhau, but they actually get the push back. And it's still going to be Crisp over the wall. He can't get him. But the oh, Xiao gets the kill. It's really big. Just got mana for it. He gets a revenge kill on a scout. Nice. They do get six grubs, though. So Hong just went mid, and like not only has he fucked Gala, now he's fucking scout. Nice. He literally just like baits scout forward in the lane, walks up. Flashes arrow, so Scout gets hit, and then Scout dies. Well played, man. Nice. This Bard is literally just playing for the other team. However, Draven, pressing B button right now on the reset, should have the Essence River. There you go. It's already in the inventory. A little bit of a. He's literally just cosplaying Scoot. Or cosplaying Doss, I mean. And Scoot just gets fucked for it. Nice. Probably just dead again here. Ah, maybe not. Arrow's down for five seconds. Okay. Yeah, an idea. Another little thing, uh, LNG did scoop in. Zika's trying to bush camp, get an angle on ZDZ. ZDZ has tabbies. I mean, he won't die ever here, but maybe Zika can get a favorable trade. You know what? They did sacrifice their mid laner for these uh, void grubs, so they better put <laughs> them to good a, is use. Is it a worthy sacrifice? <laughs> they better put them to good use. Let's see this again. So Xiaohu right here getting chased by Scout and Hang and Crisp. <laughs> nice, bro. We had to see it in slow mo. <laughs> Observe as he's hung dirty right here. Hang flashes behind his mid laner. I feel like somehow well played, Scout bro. was also moving. 
Right, still have not seen the value of the Bard pick, but I mean, Bard can maybe force like Draven Flash later on. It's people that are immobile, so that's what I guess you're hoping for. I don't even like this play. I really don't like this play from Hong. I feel like you're when you're going on to the um I feel like when you're trying to go onto the Maokai here and like Draven is free hitting it's almost never good no cleanse no cleanse on light oh light didn't cash in there Weiwei is probably dead as well scout has no flash slow here they're gonna chase him down and that's the strength that Chris has on the ash they can't find the angle on the other okay side. yeah I just hate the Bartle I don't know I feel like this Bart is actually just solo ruining the entire game maybe I'm wrong maybe it's doing something that I'm not seeing maybe the laning phase was like much better with Bard than it would have been without but for the most part like it just looks so useless I mean he's He's ulting, like he ulted the Maokai there. Maokai just buffered his ult. And then Draven is like free hitting. Draven had no cleanse. So Ziga tried to flash on him and one shot him. He actually ended up living with like a couple hundred HP. But I just don't even see like why, like how this angle is ever good, man. And I mean, I guess like Weiwei shouldn't follow it up. Like he should realize that his bard is griefing and not follow it up. I mean, I thought this was good from Zika. Oh, Scout misses Q. Damn. If Scout hit his Q damage, he probably kills there. See, he has three points in it at this point. He is nervous. That's why he is griefing his team. Yep. I don't know. I feel like Bard is not the type of champion you can, like, lock in if you're not confident in how you can play the game. I feel like this champion doesn't provide much inherently. You have to kind of be smurfing on it to get value. Another top side objective, which they've had complete dominance on so far in the game, but this is the bread and butter of Weibo. And I mean, Jao got solo killed by Scout, and then now he's just right, ahead. Like, he's like a yeah, decently ahead. A, uh, really First turret. However, I mean, the thing is, LNG does have tempo advantage because they do have um six scrubs, so they'll eventually like need to be matched here. Hard for Gala to even like catch the wave though. Oh, and he's getting flashed on, and Gala is just suffering. I mean, they are pressuring pressuring uh, top hard. He did get the wave. This is actually not that bad. Oh, they used a uh, herald for this. Damn. Okay. Top turret's gone. The scout just drive the herald mid or something. Like just so we can rotate. Oh, never mind. He just fails the drive. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, watching mid laners try to use the herald is just crazy. Sure, two towers and a bunch of money on the Azir, on Scout's Azir. Uh, nonetheless, however, your mid lane tower, which is one of your most important towers in the game, goes addicted to a lot of the control and a lot of the vision you have on your map, has gone down. All the set of I'm sure somebody already asked, but you like LPL more than LCK? I'm just gonna read my YouTube chat. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna read my YouTube chat instead. Indeed, it is. We uh, see a lot of gold traded back and forth, but it's still a giant lead in bot side that reigns king and reigns supreme for Weibo right now. They also have uh, the dragon stacking for them, so it's actually pretty big. But I do want to talk about some of those differencing of styles that we see for these two teams and the way that they drafted their game one comps because Weibo definitely want to play 11 <laughs> 1. Don't forget, Dom. Never mind. I just won't read any chat. Fuck it. But LNG are going to start getting and Weibo's in really good spot. In these five on fives, and if they play for Drake's. Temper a little bit, uh, I mean, the thing is, like, AD, TF, and LeBlanc both need to get start getting stuff done in, like, side. I mean, they don't need to start getting stuff done inside, but they're, like, more valuable inside than in, like, direct 5v5. But for right now, I mean, the Draven is so far ahead that I think that as long as Light is not getting one shot at the beginning of the fight, I think LNG will just lose. You're saying you're not the biggest T1 fan in the West? I am the biggest T1 fan. That's why it recommends me to follow the T1shop.gg. I can buy all my T1 merch. 
are very slow. They're, they, we call them the tortoise because uh, a lot of times they take you know the first 15 minutes pretty slowly, but then they turn it on 25 to 30 minutes, their wind condition. This time around, we're seeing that kind of up-tempo Weibo with those early side lane pressures and uh, the Draven here, maybe a holdover from uh, Light in his past, but also IG. The IG series itself is on, had a lot of really good moments against them. But we actually get the second item completions for Weibo, and it's going to further their strength on the map. All right, Dragon 40. I highlight the fact that they were pressuring mid and bot right now, and look at the vision when it comes to uh, to the map towards the river. I mean, the TF hasn't done much. I feel like Zeke actually laned pretty well into the TF, but I think the biggest problem was the bot side of the map. Also, I, I don't see why we give Maokai to Zhao. I feel like uh, like Weiwei could just first pick it. I guess they just really didn't want to play into Varus Ash. So much gold onto this Draven. There's so much power onto this Draven. Two items, Infinity Edge, Essence River. I mean, I guess the other the other option would be instead of first picking Varus, first pick the Ash. Lethal. So I feel like Weibo Gaming. And then you can play Draven yourself into the Varus if they pick it. If you do play Draven. All right, this is a fight where I feel like Weibo should win. You kind of need to win, I would say. At their defenses, but you don't want to give LNG time. You don't want to give Scout time to get like four items. Find a big angry Crockett again, an enemy he knows very well. Uh oh. Get the slice and dice all in here. The Dominus popped, and now I tried to buffer it. So as well as no, he actually has the speed. The way you end up like actually making this a solo kill from Zika is you have to stun him during the time where you're being stunned. However, again, he created so much pressure on the side. But yeah, they're Drake. Really good. Weibo's got good tempo in this game. Am I seeing AD LeBlanc again? I don't know. Crit was buffed. Static Shiv is cheap, as always. So, and people just, I mean, it's not really like people are playing it. It's really just Zhao who is playing it. He's playing it into a Zir matchup. I mean, he, he got solo killed in this lane, so... They're not winning the game because of this AD LeBlanc, but I guess it's like viable. Twenty minutes into the game, for LNG to have a soul, that would have to be forty minutes into the game. That is more than enough time for Weibo to split push this game to victory. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of vision prio around Baron Pit here. They do still have a lot of that long distance engage once the Enchanted Crystal comes up. It's not up just yet. They'll be looking for it on the side. They do not have Destiny either for a while, so it feels like Weibo gonna turn off the heat for a bit. Yeah, and GGZ, of course, over the top side of the map. The Clockwork Neutral objective is going to be the Baron. She would definitely want. Hey, Xiaohu's, uh, I mean, this is perfect for Xiaohu, bro. This is actually, actually perfect. If they try to chase him, he's, his team is just gonna go Baron and they're gonna one-shot it. I mean, they can start Baron anyway, I think, even with just Scout showing. Like, they do Baron so well. They have 380 carries, bro. <laughs> 480 carries. Bardolt has to, like, Bardolt can maybe buy enough time. It's like, they should probably leave. They got TP. But it's good for them to get TP, you know, because, like, the reason why, like, them losing mid turret, like, they probably should have pushed one more away before they do this. But the reason why this is actually good for them is because Azir is so much of LG. Like, if it's a 4v4, then Weibo will just like get Baron like, pretty much 4v4 every time. They're so weak as a four man unit. So actually bringing him out. Wait, hold on. We got a catch. Yeah, I was getting caught. He's actually completely fine. Oh man, he just made fun of them. And he got a Rel flash there. And Zika flash as well. Super good. Really good conditions for the um, next Drake. But yeah, the reason why this is good for um, Weibo, if I could continue my point, is that. When Azir is in the side lane with LeBlanc, that's so much better for Weibo's team than when Azir is able to contribute. Like, the reason they leave here is because Azir is actually much stronger than LeBlanc when they both start joining up. So, yeah, I mean, I just, I think that here, like, Weibo just put themselves in a pretty good position. Because now they probably will just leave LeBlanc top. Actually, I mean, they could, they could use either top. The point is, if Azir goes top, then they just get fucked. Like, Azir has to do so much work in this game. I mean, Hong pretty much made it so Zika could not, or so that uh, Gala could not play the game here. He ensured that his Varus would be useless, useless with how he played, so.
uh, Journey from Hang right there will wrap around with Weiwei. And they do catch Shaku. They catch him on the dragon. However, LeBlanc is a very, very slippery champion. So once you flash the ult from Rel, he just snaps back to his, uh, his old shadow and he's out. Arrow hitbox. Holy shit. Really good coordination there from the team as well. Chanted Crystal Arrow Whee! going top side to stop. The oh, bag. didn't actually cancel the recall. <laughs> it was very close. I mean, they have Arrow for the, the fight anyway, so might as well just throw it out. Crisp actually ended up going Edge of Night, so he can't be Bard ulted and picked. They're trying to catch Xiaohu. This is dead. Gonna actually hit. So now Shaohu, you gotta make a magic trick here. You are a magician. Is it gonna be enough? CC combo is there. Shaohu Zed. goes back to his clone, but it doesn't matter. Not bad. LNG managed to punish. I mean, they're gonna Shaohu try to do Baron. I don't think they can do Baron. ZDZ is gonna ult. However, ZDZ is pushing bolt like Like Draven is just so strong. All right, let's see the force. Let's see the force. Yep. 30 seconds for Shaohu. There is no teleport on their mid lane. They're gonna have to fight these four versus five. And mind oh, Light is positioning on the top side. Let's see if Scout just goes hard to shuffle him. He should just be trying to shuffle Light here. Oh my god, the Draven ult. Okay, so Scout tried to shuffle Light and he didn't get it. It's normally gonna be really, really good. Oh my god, the redemption from Xiao Hao. Nah, this is game over. Oh, don't we just arrow the... The Rel there? Crisp has the slows, and those volleys are gonna help bring death on LNG. On just wants to get one. Oh, Jao, Jao's here. Volley not gonna be enough. Jao, he's got the saplings, but it's gonna connect on the Zika. They're under tower on a scout. Jao, maybe over. Oh my God, bro, what is going on? Oh, they got scout. It's that's Baron Ansel. And Draven cashed at the end of it. It's fucking over, bro. Do they just base instead? Yeah, I guess they just base and go soul and then they'll just do Baron afterwards. They can't afford to seek around in Weibo. How in the world do they turn these four versus five into a winning team fight? Now the teleport's gonna be pulled alive, but we're jumping straight into that replay. And you see, the second they pick up Jahu, they turn their attention onto the Baron Light with a fantastic cleanse flash out of the air zeros. And they leave Gala in the back of the pit. Baron is just killing Gal. That's your main carry that goes down. The um, Genji versus Damwon is going on. Why are you watching this boring ass game? Isn't Genji and, and Damwon literally like in between games right now? Like quite literally? Advantage as well to chase them down. Shahu comes back so like even the if like I mean obviously you're just baiting like to try to get reaction or whatever You're like LCK frog, but um Even if that was the case like wouldn't that be a better bait during the actual game like while the game was going on I'm just trying to like from your perspective composition and during that replay, we saw Gala get a kill. I'm surely they just start this, no? There. So he got his first kill of the game, too. So it, it is chaotic, even in the replays. And now we have Dragon back up. This would be soul for Weibo. There is no setup in the river for LNG. They do not have many wards, so they need to use the brute force. They need to use the bodies of Renekton and Rel. Oh, Light died for no reason. Wait, why did Light die? Power. Uh, sorry, push by mid lane wave. I didn't even see Light die. I was checking to see if Dom won versus uh, Genji was literally even on or if like something hype was happening. I don't think this is a very worthy to fight for objective right here for Weibo Gaming, but they have the chance to say, you know what? Just start just, this is just Star Drake here, no? We can fight again in five minutes. With the poke. I don't know about that, uh, Malkai ult. I feel like it's not necessary. I mean, they want to use the Malkai ult to peel. LNG is just stalling out the game, which is good for them. They should be trying to stall out the game. And Jao having no ult is like pretty weird. It actually allows uh, Light to be engaged on. Light has no flash here, so he has to respect Azir. Azir has no flash as well though, so it's okay. 
very big drag. All right, Bartle. He's gonna get the smite fight. It is secured by Weiwei. So soul denied. Xiaohu gonna have the flank here on the other side. Temper fate goes wide. Zika now joining. They chunk them pretty hard. So if they keep on chunking them, they can just go for Baron. Oh, what a portal! Nice, good portal. Ooh, they saw Weiwei falling really low, and they had blood in their eyes. You kill Weiwei right there. You take the smite out. All right, so they got ults out. They got uh, Bartle and Varus ult out. And now they can potentially play for um, Baron and turning with Maokai ult. Let's see if Weiwei can be a hero. Oh, he got it. Holy shit. Wait, they actually... This is a robbery. Complete robbery. Oh? Scout have E? How long for Scout C? Oh, he got the stun? If he gets killed, it's over, I think. Maybe not. Good wall. Oh. This guy dies. Is it over? Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't think they can end. Nah, they can't end. They can't end. Can they? We talked about the power of the Maokai and Xiaohao 2, 0, and 12. He has facilitated, he has engaged, All right. he has well, disengaged, they sold out the he game. has set up fight, he has protected flag Not bad. with the seeds, he has done everything except for smiting this Baron. However, <laughs> Weibo Gaming managed to turn this around. What a fantastic steal. I mean, no no Baron buffs on an enemy team. They killed all, all the Barons, but it's mainly just that, like, LNG can hold on potentially until the next Baron. You'll see that in the end, they do lose a couple of members to Zika diving in onto the Renekton. Again, very powerful pick. However, the they do card. kill every single one of them. And Weibo hey. Gaming, again, they have beaten LNG in their own game. Now almost 10,000 gold in the lead. Watch LCK instead of this doo-doo. I love that Weiwei was literally... A Isn't LCK in a break, my guy? Or are they out of the break, finally? But in the end, it doesn't matter because Weibo are just so supremely far ahead. Xiaohao is definitely into wait, wait, the uh, mantra of tree equals... Damwon is literally still in a break, dude. Like, what do you want me to do? You want me to just watch? For him, he has been monumental, but they are surely finding a way to hone this side lane presence that they have been so strong with throughout the season and now have used to dominate some playoff games. And it's absolutely absurd. It's the only frontline that Weibo Gaming have. It's the only engage tool. However... He has not died a Bro, I'm, I'm really just hating this bard. So calculated how I am really just fucking bard. hating this bard, man. Person, uh, from the side of LNG. They know what is this accent? I think she's Greek. Speak to one. And Weibo Gaming, again, such a great, great early game presence that translated into these late game team fights. We said how if they do get ahead, their champions got snowballed. They have snowballed. They've pulled yeah. it back into team fights. They have more items, have more money in their inventories, and it shows. And LNG, honestly, they look a little bit lost. Their target selection, not necessarily great. And they have to find some backline access. They need to shut down the Draven. They need yeah. to take out Xiaohao. Again, he's the only frontline. However, you're playing Bog Varus. It's not that easy to kill the tree. It's not, and I think uh, we're also seeing some big item differentials come across because uh, ZDZ is almost full build already, uh, able to use a lot of that side lane pressure there. We also almost have full build for Light. Light against his previous organization in LNG, one that he made some big splashes on, and now he's taking Gala to task here, 5-1-5 and five on the Draven, and they're going to be able to use this to... I mean, there's no way that LNG can steal this game, right? It's just them waiting for Soul. I like the Draven has to die. The LeBlanc is actually not that strong. I mean, Scout would need at least death cap. There, yeah, I mean, there needs to be Mikhail's from Hong. I mean, is that really the reason for the Bard pick, by the way? Is that they're trying to just find champions that can first item Mikhail's versus Ash? 
play bull they game. Deny it last time. So they just want to go bard because bard can like bard items don't really matter that much. Is that actually the idea? <laughs> nice from Gala to like trade back. Oh, he didn't get it. Light is dead. It's two for one, but light is dead. Fighting his way to mid lane. Cloud Soul should just be like too OP though. Cloud Soul, when you have this many AD champions, movement is so OP. And they're honestly stopping the backs here as well. They do have a wave towards the bottom of the map. You see ZDZ instantly going towards top. There's a mid lane wave pushing. Weibo Gaming have pressure on three lanes. Shahu is looking for Zika, trying to stop him. Ooh, Zika's got the control ward. He knows his oh. Oh, no him. shit. They knew. <laughs> he ends up him down. Process of elimination. Wow. It it's looks fun to play Renekton into all this. Uh, nice. It, it takes a little bit longer than the movie, I feel like. He will yeah, I would not want to play Renekton into um like Ash, AD LeBlanc, and Draven, which was all picked. To be honest. <laughs> but I'm not sure what you actually pick. Oh my god, this Ash has been so freaking oppressive and I think Weibo Gaming were the first ones to actually witness it versus IG when IG <laughs> pulled this uh, out versus them in their series and they did end up losing to that. So, you know, you learn from your opponents, yeah, you learn from your mistakes, you learn from your opponents. They pull it out here, the Draven Ash that we mentioned earlier and uh, it's paid dividends. It's, it's done so well for them and now LNG have been put into a task to maybe have to go in four versus five. There's no freaking way your Renekton's dead. There is no Wouldn't Malphite have been a good pick? So Malphite blind so is like completely unplayable, by the way. One less fight in them and it's going to be like if you go Malphite blind, you just automatically lose. Yeah, like, I think uh, the, the entire time Weibo having so much control around the map makes it easy. I feel like people just like don't consider like the order in which things are picked. And they just like say like, yeah, I mean, Malfa would be fine if he <laughs> knows what he's playing into. I think the biggest mispick of this entire draft is the bard, though. But at least now it's all the damage available—a full build ZDZ in the side lane, a full build light as well. It's very difficult for LNG to find any saving graces here, even with Gala approaching his fourth and fifth item. Yeah, that's why I actually commend Hang right there to try and get something going on the map. Oh, there's a long-range arrow. He will hit Z. Oh, he stopped! <laughs> he stopped right before the arrow! Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, nice! My God. Hey, at least he can build the Mikhail's. That's, uh, that's a full build Draven right there for you. Now Xiaohu finding uh, a little help with... And at least he can build the Mikhail's. ...yellow card and Weiwei. He's gonna have that armor cut in two as the Whirling Death claims his life. Light gets another one. Seven and two for the carry of Weibo. And a little bit of memory in Sting for Light against his previous organization. Yeah, and just a reminder here, Weibo lost to LNG in Summer Playoffs 2023. And that's some sweet revenge. They haven't necessarily won the series yet, but getting that What other support can you pick? I mean, you can pick, like, Senna actually as a support in this type of lane. Like, we saw that at, at Worlds. Like, people would actually just match, like, the Ash support with Senna. Um, you could also go for, like, uh, the angle of going, like, super aggressive. You go Pike. And you just play to like, yeah, just try to flip the lane. Continuation onto JDG and Weibo using their momentum off of that IG victory to open up playoffs to bring the heat to LNG. They take a couple more, one big and first divide from Scout, but that has made no difference this time. They're on the come up. And Weibo turn their eyes onto the Nexus and they'll claim game number one. Pro team ever surrendered? Yeah, I mean, you used to be able to surrender in pro play. Weibo Gaming game. That's the only way I can describe it. We I would go watch a little bit of the game for. Put this here, and then I'll go. I also love the fact that they pulled in a lot of those elements from their IG series. The Draven plus Ash. So 
more oppressive than the bot lane, who's really good at dealing damage in LNG? Gala. 30% of the team's damage is Gala. You put yep. him down in lane, you uh. never allow him to come back. LNG tried to play fights with a virus that deals no damage. It's okay. Easy for Let's go to LCK. Stellar performance. I don't think it would surprise too many people. I think D plus key have already made this series very interesting, more interesting than some of us did believe it would be. So props to them for making it happen. Even that last game felt very up in the air up until the point where, you know, they just straight up lost and got clean aced. That was a bit unfortunate. As we do see Keen going for fleet footwork, there's a couple of options. PDA is another one, but you're not really expected to get caught up in early all-ins with Kingen, also going for TP, which definitely a lot safer. It does take away some of the level six threat that the Urgot from Keen. Or maybe I can see Urgot into uh Rek'Sai. I feel like Breaker, playing strong. LeBlanc, AP LeBlanc into Maokai is just miserable though. Could possibly be uh, just Cleaver, because you're going to be playing into full tank as the early ward is placed. King and two and zero on the Rek'Sai so far. Yeah. And first pick for Keen here in 2024, not a big surprise. <laughs> and he's just going to stand here. Last person to play this, unsurprisingly, was Keen. That was with KT last year, up against Birdall on the side of Live Sandbox. Yeah, Urgot really is a relic from a more civilized time, uh, civilized time of League of Legends when it was just him and Aatrox battling it out every game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very civilized. Uh, not a lot of changes. Just the same champion. Well, I've, people that have been around for a long time know about old Urgot, which. Yeah. Had an ult that allowed you to swap position. I would recommend looking it up. It's very I can't cool. imagine Urgot versus Rek'Sai being really OP. Also, we obviously yeah, get ads like during this game uh, because there's no time to play them. Poppy had an ultimate that if you use it on someone, it only allowed that person to damage her. So he just had support Poppy that didn't actually do any supporting, but she just just the press just press 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 the ult on the carry and like, well, <laughs> I guess we're winning the fight. Yeah, a lot of those abilities have gone to the wayside. Uh, we still have some of them, uh, such as Vi and Nautilus, and you'll see Keen has been er in many er of er hey, er Keen has had Urgot as a yeah, pocket pick since 2018. Um, actually, Nautilus wasn't bad. I mean, I know everyone used to play it in 2018, well, but like, does he actually no pocket pick it? Game? Often, anyway, let's see. We'll do a little see if that has any accuracy. Being made here. Here comes like two wall, games of it last year. Massive chunk of damage. Might the have died the minions. One game of it the year before. Uh, that would be embarrassing, but he's not going to have to use the barrier. Yeah, it was close. Uh, None of it. I mean, he's I played he three Urgot games really in the last there, four years. Overstepping, and especially this early on in levels, that is a big amount of burst. And Pays and lands. A chance for aiming. Yeah. Oh. They have really, I think, actually stepped up in terms of laning phase. But this wait, wait, is wait. I thought Pays was supposed to be the best AD. Uh, isn't this guy here. better than Viper? Yeah, because it means According to LCK watchers. Both sides of the map, as we saw there. And gives Lucy the opportunity. As there's still barrier available. I still don't think you should try and look for an yeah. all-in air. Don't don't take that risk. But just the zoning alone, it's gonna get you a big lead. They might even be able to get the crash in here. So big win early on for the Lucianami winning lane. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. What? I don't know what universe we're in. The Gamon just beating yeah, Genji. A lot of our Zeri Lulus hit level two. Well, first. I mean, clearly not because Genji um, is up two one. Essentially, as just own the lane. Shows on the screen. Part of the reason why that didn't happen is because uh, Kellen and Aiming got there so early, right? They controlled the brushes as we do have a nice trade here. People are trying to play LeBlanc into Azir. I mean, we'll see. Didn't look good in the last game, but AD LeBlanc, I guess, still looks annoying later on. Nowhere close to as bad as it was before, though. They got there first. They traded up. And even though Genji's bottom lane knew they were there, they still weren't quite able to match it. And so they got pushed in early. They weren't able to extend that lead. Generally, with the Lulu, you could hit the minions very well yeah. because of her yeah. picks, but wasn't the case in this game. Yeah, as you point out, definitely a big win for Aiming and Kellen. Also, because of the bot side gank on the for Canyon, Lucy yes. was able to clear I know this is AP. two extra buffs. I'm obviously to referring to the AD LeBlanc that we just watched usual, the game before. She's bought in every back, which is a uh, long sword ruby crystal, but he also was able to pick up an early... Um, Fairy in a bottle. Fairy in a bottle. Yeah, I yeah. swear I know what the name of that is. I just can't uh, think of it right now. What it, am I uh, eating? I'm eating food. Haste thing. I really. That's the other name. That, yeah. <laughs> That's the colloquial name. <laughs> yeah. Fairy in a bottle is the. 
That's the official name. That's the official name. Yeah. Okay. Definitely also not official, by the way. Well, it can be Elske official. Official to me, yeah. We have, we have a lot of leeway in this league for yeah. naming things. Not a lot of league sin in this series. Though. You ever wondered what happened to Shirley? Is Nasus a good because counterpick to Rek'Sai? No, I mean, Nasus is just nice. too kiteable okay. by you know, people. I mean, it's good really versus for handless years. people. It's not good. She, did, she saw a lot of teams. Especially versus things like Rek'Sai. Right. Well, end up having is Rek'Sai. Yeah. Like, you'd have to put points in E. Probably go Doran's Ring just to be able to, like, even really farm. If you don't, go you're going to get out sustained really hard. You're going to lose a ton of plates. It's pretty much like like if Rek'Sai makes an insane mistake that Nasus can play. If not, it's pretty annoying. Before level six. Uh, I mean, Genji is not looking to do anything for like, I don't know, 25 hours. <laughs> so, yeah. don't expect there'll be a lot of action. <gasps> oh, yeah. It's what I said was going to happen. Oh, we got no. Hextech Soul in game four, and then when we get to game five, we get Chemtech Soul again. No, fellas, <laughs> the prophecy. The prophecy is coming true. Already three Chemtech Souls, at least for game four. We can let it go. We can enjoy our, our good soul. It's okay. Lucid has uh, level six already. Although it and could yeah. be ocean. It could be, yeah. <laughs> Which I, I think is actually not that bad. No, with the amount of tanks available. The amount of the tanks, sustain. you've got some decent amount of poke. What with like a Prince is leaving WE. Wait, actually? Is it uh, official? Area a little bit less so, but I mean, he wasn't playing this. anyway. I don't know if it's like leaving. I think it has value. One of the things that Where does he I'm go really play, bro? Interested to see is to which extent Showmaker is actually going to be able to play. Because later on, I feel like Lulu into champions like LeBlanc or uh, like LeBlanc is such an incredibly obnoxious thing to deal with. Because if you make a mistake, you go in, you get polymorphed, you might just end up getting CC to death. Outside of uh, Canyon, I don't think the CC setup is that great, but it's still something that you're going to have to respect. Is Jovi even with bone blading is like no, 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 no. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, neither Keen nor King has back chat. The gentleman's agreement of not doing the whole Kane is still level five. Kane, okay, Kane, level five. Probably has to flash here. Uh, we throw a bubble. A bunch of damage, but uh, level six five will get the job done. Is now Canyon, as you mentioned, in a bit of trouble, but he just flashes away and you know phase rush and just enough movement speed. He gets away. He's totally yeah, fine. I, I mean. He is. No problem at all. De definitely. Just <laughs> Thoughts on revealing what Ocean Soul really is going really to be at the start of the game? Anyway, I do think they spotted Lou said a little bit. Like just for Ocean Soul or what? Uh, does have a lot of innate safety and also he's basically a support, so who cares about his camps? But Lucid doing a really good job of capitalizing. And this is the first time I think Lucid has had a decent Wait, really? series. But the first time he's actually been a bring farm. Me? Uh, due to the gang. Oh, it's what I had yesterday? Einberger? In fact, from that. As Keen, Keen, you do need items, uh, man. You don't have a broken passive like Rek'Sai. You, you do all you do. Oh. You have your legs. Really, really I thought it was El Burger. I thought it was Spanish. You need a Spanish tool. Can you put it in the fridge? Is, is, can, yeah, that, that, that should Thank be you. six. Finally. Um, Wait, is this a flat white? Eight and a half minutes oh. in. Yay. He did it. Bro, I don't trust these cups and he lids. He also did it. Went back, bought some items. Nice. And actually so does I got things. food and coffee. Yeah, I, late, but Genji's like, eh, this is going to 40 minutes anyway. Who cares? Yeah. Just sit around. Oh, wow. Look at the value there. When you switch the to LPL, I'm tunnel. never doing LPL again. Well. I realized yeah, that LPL yeah. is overrated yeah. and garbage. It was pretty sad. That's why I'm watching this high-level League of Legends. Like, didn't go back. No, he hasn't been able to Instead of LPL, been, so I'm never going back. He should not. My I third eye has been opened. Keen, but... He does have his ultimate available. I don't really think you should try and flip. You spend your gold, man. Go home. Or you can just fire the little underground missile. Prey seeker? Things. Yes. At the wave and then. Um... Not do a whole lot to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, he's going to go back. Should be able to catch the wave nonetheless as Lou sits. Snuck in here. Chovy, this is like the first time that this has happened. Or like Lou sits. <laughs> and like, I've changed him. True. Or walking the like, nope. Oh, you're here. He bought a full sunfire. <laughs> wow. I guess he just needed a little bit of extra money as now the flash on oh. it from Lucid. No flash. Canyon in a lot of trouble. You can't get Canyon. away from on the, the run. Oh shit. As uh, desperate to get over to the right side, but he is absolutely dead. Their only question is who they give the kill over to. Lucid don't. But impe impeccable macro from uh, Genji here. Sure as you can see, that, Canyon uh, suicided okay. so they could get I, the I wave crash mid. The like there was no reason for him to. to keep and there. now they can push out bot. So this is really good. Well played by Canyon. Maybe they thought it wouldn't kill him? 
Uh, mm. Wonder what the call behind that is. He does now finish, and maybe it's because he's already so far ahead in the 1v1, getting an even bigger lead allows him to further push it. Parry because, by jungle? Well, uh, to be fair, if you have Sundered Sky and the enemy Maokai has a Knight's Vow, he does not actually get to walk up to anything ever. And uh, Canyon, Why does Lucian take that kill? Um, the first part Because he the has Sundered Sky, and he's going to 1v9 now. Behind early, but then you do need to play really cleanly and kind of recuperate. That part, we'll see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jerry's still out on that one. We'll see about that. And, I mean, in pro play, it's not like Lucid's just going to be able to utilize this lead in the 1v1 and... and what are fly TL chances of no, making like it to the no knockout stage of the MSI? Like that, so he'll be ahead. He'll have an early Wait, what is the MSI he format? Be a big factor in these next fights. And I, I would have much rather... Just to be clear, I would have much rather had right? on the LeBlanc as well. Because yeah. Showmaker in the side lane is i think one of the big ways that you can also shut down something that makes gen Z such a threatening team so tl's already in the like, knockout stage yeah. as trophy went for really interesting i wonder if it was just a gold problem went for the early parts of so he went for horning guys and then into nashers well obviously you can build it into leandry's first as well but just get all the no i thought i was being gaslit as to like <laughs> anything outside like of if they were in it i don't know I bro guess, yeah. i mean probably like close to 100 percent drake here i don't think gen g should be willing to contest like normally the second now seed now from strong. north yeah, america is better than like yeah. the nice la team Joby. brazil team stuff like that, that on the zeri probably just for now i would imagine it's like oh yeah it's along for sure you want that on your zeri meanwhile uh canyon in this case you definitely cannot walk up to the vine yeah just Again, Vi already is just really good into tanks because of the way that her W just removes a lot of armor. And he's, he's Sundered Sky as well, so. Yeah. Good call. There's Runaway. There's the Cleaver that we were talking about earlier from Keen. Let's finish it now. Wonder if he's going to go like more of a, which I imagine in pro is going to be a lot more consistent. Go for like a Bruiser style build where you end up with Starex. Uh, Jack shows obviously really good onto Urgot as well. As uh, early Drake and. <laughs> Velda's just knows everyone. <laughs> just calling. I did initially say it was Hextech. Uh, ooh. Chovy. The the crowd going oh. yeah. I love how we've crowd come full circle one. and most junglers are just buying support items and can never carry. Yeah, Knight's Vow is like one of the best items on jungle in the entire game. And in this case, I think last game we had double Knight's Vow from both junglers. Cannon still is going to hold on to his buff. And so he will oh, this looks uh, really playable for Canyon. Nice. Somewhere within the region of about 25 CS behind. Not so bad. Yeah, mistake by Lucid there. Definitely has a lot more burst, but didn't quite time it correctly there. And we do see King. Yeah, especially now that Cleaver is done. So the amount of armor that is going to be shredded from King and makes it so obnoxious. The thing is, I like this in theory, but practically... King and sustain is so insane that I don't know if you're in lane going to get any value. I do think, though, that it's important to remember that one of the big problems that we've seen with Rek'Sai tank is that in team fights, he, or she rather, doesn't die. Right? Yeah. Like, never, ever. And I feel like if you look at Keen as just a black clean. Uh oh, oh Pace! Okay. Pace checks here as Pace is in a lot of trouble calling. Okay, the aiming. I like it. going to take him out with a little bit of help from Kellen as a very nice timing to get in position. Damn, the best AD Pace. carry on that face check it is his own in lck all, better than viper taken down to be the full turret going over to the side Tough. of the oh really big mistake from pays there yeah, you might get harold i don't think dk is gonna get, be too hamstrung they might try to contest this maybe they do have the cross map King and maybe on a tp angle but like you get it first they turbo. lost Aiden their entire fed. turret ball lane by the way the gold lead they is are giga behind. As uh, Lucid uh, realizes that the we're going game five. Levels off crap, maybe not the best guy to go to. Oh, Showmaker got it. Run away oh, wait, no, did Showmaker get? No, that was his like, uh, first strike. Never mind. That was his Luden's proc on first strike. That's what gave him yeah, gold. I mean, honestly, got to be did very not get careful it. of that. And now he's down two levels. Yeah. On his counterpart in the 80 carry. So when does Gen G uh, fight with their look, comp? Like, or like, how do they fight with their comp? Actually, let's go this way. Isn't it borderline impossible? Let's go for Zeri. God, Zeri. And if Lahans, that's all he said. If, if Lahans <laughs> is on the other side of the map, I know everyone like hates Pace aiming. In um, if I was already roaming over, but Lahans was actually good buffer. Um, can they actually kill the Urgot here? I mean, the lockdown from the leash, perhaps. As Redemption also coming in, not quite. Redemption was close, bro. If that got off, maybe. 
but a good capitalization here from the LeBlanc and the Vi. You can extend those picks so far. Anyone in here like so Gay Sex? Mobility. Nice. Showmaker, two assists now on the board as well, and able to utilize again the CC oh, that this cats? Vi provides. I wonder. Oh, if she says it's cats and not Gay Sex. Five, if they're gonna start taking this away, because. Even in the game that they didn't uh, didn't win, obviously lose its final, wasn't great. But it feels like it's not about Lucid carrying this motherfucker. So what it allows Showmaker to I do. I mean, Lucid is kind of smurfing, yeah. To build up these leads is, yeah, Keen doesn't want to lose his like, job to I'm Tarzan. All right, after draft, I think I go back to LPL. Or maybe we could just do this game and then go LPL. I don't know, bro. Also, ads started playing, but if we're doing both, then there's no way we can ever avoid the ads. GG. with triple Ocean Drake. I don't think the Black Cleaver alone is going to be enough, Valdez. I yeah. That might be somewhat problematic. I wasn't too happy with the Urgot pick, but honestly, if she gets that, I don't think any pick works. No. And I, I go back to what I said during the DK versus KT series. I, I overheard. Uh, let's wait on that story perhaps a little bit as we have a two on two up in the top side. The AP LeBlanc is shelling out some good damage into Chovy as Lucid desperately trying to hold on to this control ward, and he will for now, aiming extremely scary on what is what we used to really love about Lucian in the in the current meta is that he will hit two items in this meta and yeah. just burst down anyone in the mid game. Still does. The fact that Canyon is even in CS or uh, even in experience is, is pretty interesting given what we saw, but. Surely DK uh, ends in 25 minutes. Nah, this right is gonna be a this is gonna be a slow here. game from Genji, bro. The thing oh, is, it's like Genji can win these Quinch. games versus Dom One. Like Genji is just by far the best macro team in Korea, and then Dom One is the worst macro team out of the teams that are left in Korea by far, right? So. This is actually like kind of even game in my mind. Like I feel like Dom One should win 100% of the time, but because they're Dom One, they can always lose, bro. Yeah, it looks like Keen might be looking towards hysteric second here. Tumblr just bought, almost has his cold on. What is going to be the setup here? We do see DK looking aggressively for a pick, but this is the Genji comfort zone. Thoughts on Urgot this game? I don't like Urgot in general. Pull the trigger on the objective. Just take the dragon. I, but I don't like anything into Rexai, bro. I think Rexai is just broken. I, I would just blind pick this shit. Not really giving them any leeway. Yeah, not much coming through for now. Aiming still trying to crack the spit turret. Actually, is Redemption also committed to just to clear the wave yeah, and help them well. push forward. And the streak will go into the hands of DK. But yeah, the, the story I overheard was Helios and Goku on the Korean side to the uh, analyst deskers over there saying, well, how do you deal with this Rek'Sai? What's the pick? And they were like, so they're kind yeah. of useless mid to late. I mean, it's kind of good mid to late. Answer. That's the way. There is no champ. There is no one champion that. Like, if the enemy team is a frontliner, that's that you could one shot. And it's also, as we know, with ult, it's pretty good. You get out of lane because you just don't die, and it has a lot of utility. They all group mid to save this turret. So, feels pretty good. I was Rexai top of thing. I don't know. Riot just woke up one day and they decided we're gonna make Rexai broken, and they made Rexai broken top lane. The big reasons why Illusion has been so heavily prioritized, even to this day. And as mentioned, we always see like a, because they've just been meta for what like three years. Maybe like a Kale if she could become meta would be really good into Rexai. No, I mean you can't have anything that starts slow. The thing is like Rexai is so annoying early on in the lane. It's the same thing as Udyr. Like if your champion is trying to like. Outscale, it has to at least be able to <laughs> like lane versus the Rek'Sai somewhat. That's a deep TP. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna try to kill everyone here on bot. Trying to punish them. Can they make it a zero turret? Oh yeah. The potential. Can they get to their tier one and make it a zero turret? Because if they can, then they could probably be okay. Phase is just getting collapsed on. Like Phase, bro, we got it. Like. Tremor sends big there. Did he eat already? Spot, but the rest of the team is not going to commit to it. So, I, I think and that's how that ends up. That's how that ends up being resolved. Yeah, really? I think that's your opportunity. That's how we resolve this situation. I mean, okay, bro. We don't want to throw the game. A big team fight win there. I thought that that was going to be like a fucking absolute hit, banger of a fight. That's the TP. Oh man. And pick themselves up a turret and a whole lot of damage onto pace. Are Genji frauds? No, they're yeah, they're good. They're the best team from Korea. He's still trying to scale. He, he's not being given many opportunities. Meanwhile, oh, Chovy is dead as hell. Uh oh. Put two and two together. Once again, and they take out Chovy. And then four v three, they can't even like pull the trigger on mid and get anything done. Mid jungle two v two. Coming up big here for DK. Lucid and Showmaker. These side lane picks so pivotal. 
as it allows him to pick up a turret there. More waves being lost. In it's mid. just a slaughter, no? And Genji actually starting to feel substantially far behind in gold. <laughs> as Chovy trying to just, he just wants to get away, man. There's one side, nope, not allowed. No vision control whatsoever. And against Lucent and Showmaker on these two champions, you just can't afford to do that. Chovy thinks it's MSI. They just I mean, to be fair, like, I feel really, like Dobon always uh, kind of plays better than expected into there Genji. One time Chovy got the top turret, but other than that, it's like historically, all they've decay. always done well. All the time. Because the threat of Lucid has been really not powerful. well in terms of winning, but they like push Gen G harder than people would think that they would push them. Scale out the game to buy themselves extra time. It's the same as as game two, but the only thing is you replace the Ari with the LeBlanc, but it plays out the same way. The Lucianami yep. for the mid lane pressure, you spread that to the side lanes, and as soon as someone missteps, you take him down with the added bonus that now King N is all seeing <laughs> and uh, unkillable. Actually, that helps. You know, he looks pretty killable on the Udyr, but this time going to be a bit more difficult. Aiming, running forward. He, mm. relatively tanky, does have the Sterics. I mean, what Please. item spike do they want to fight on, I guess, cap, so is the question. That's, like the one that's really the question, is like, when do they choose to, to fight? Burst out of the fight. No, if you have IE, and maybe with some help, if you have uh, Lord Doms, then obviously you're going to be feeling great. Right now, it's still, we're getting to the breaking point, but just like in game two, you can feel Gen G, they still have somewhat of a grasp on this game. But we're like two picks away from that no longer being the case. If, if the top side turrets start falling as well, if the mid lane inner falls, and Gen G lose full control, I want to again reiterate that just like in game two, their engage is pretty dreadful. It's just engage yeah. Maokai, who is in general just not a great engage champion. Really good counter engage, but that doesn't really get you anywhere. So you're gonna be relying. Why do people hate aiming? Oh, like people just think he's really bad. But who do you like? <laughs> but I, th I think so he's actually Kalin pretty good. Can, Kalin, you can scoop. Lucid, if, you, if you're able to 100 to zero, he's a pretty good target as well. But everyone. I think else. he's definitely better than he gets credit for yeah. being. He just has like really egregious errors sometimes. It definitely is. We just and go back to LPL. Really I'll be honest, bro. I'm not enjoying watching this uh, game that much. Like, I know people love this game. Like, this is like their favorite game they've ever probably. watched. But I'm just like, I'm DK's good with it. I think. Stronger than ever. We're and like, please watch this game. It's so fucking hype. Being good. About and the thing that, that people have to understand is this. Like, even if this is higher level than LNG Weibo, which is like, I mean, I think Genji generally is is yeah, like much better than both LNG and Weibo. Even if this is technically higher level, like this is not. Very fun to watch. Stand in the mid lane. I, he's done. Oh God. And I don't think it's like Notice so high level that it's like perfect. You know, like I think there is like an issue with how uh, Genji play when they're behind like this. I think they are playing overly passive and not contesting things. Like they are just bleeding out way more than they should. So let's go to LPL. They don't want to risk anything. Fantastic job right here, and if anything. He has a chance to uh, eliminate him from this bracket as well. Game five can be a banger. Get him out of the playoffs. Yeah. I mean. We talked about a lot of the win conditions for Weibo Gaming, but for LNG, I feel like it's very clear. I you could Gala ahead. become a pro player Gala again as well. Who knows? Plus Nami combo. I need Weiwei to be. Anything could happen. This time around. I need Weiwei to path towards our bot side of the map to get Gala ahead. Early kills onto the solution. Get that Lucian huge mid game spike lucian in the mid lane chunk down anyone who walks up dip into river take controls of objectives this is the plan for lng i just need to see more of way way i'll keep lck on second monitor if it gets like super hype or something and i think this game is going to be very telling on how the rest of the games in the best of go because we're getting a version of lng that are trying to strike back a little bit to weibo who weibo have traditionally been a very slow team in the first 15 minutes but they've turned it up a little bit learning their lesson from ig and it's something where the Maokai is going to have to become a question if Xiaohao has yet another pivotal performance. On Wait, where is Gilius watching? Because I hear him react to everything before I see everything on my screen. How much of a delay is on? Let me see. Where's Gilius watching? So the level two was gonna come out from LNG, burns out the, uh, the heal. But when you see it being played by like Asian, Asian bot lanes, it looks so broken. I also think though... Wait, actually, where is he watching? I don't even hear the casters. I guess he just does no casters, he does the clean feed. The clean feed is actually ahead. Wait, did he use 10 second delay? If you're an LNG fan, your top side winning and your bot side winning. However, okay, Tristana is an almighty champion when it comes to priority and push in the mid lane. 
uh, but Scout luckily is on a champion that scales, so you'll get pressured a little bit in the early stages of the game, but then you come online. I really like the Tristana. Gaul and Hung are actually laning pretty decently. Not bad. Waiting for this, he saw he saw Scout in his way. Yeah. Like, um, gotta get this going. This. Started off in that first series. Now see if we can do it yet again. Uh, two legendary mids and uh, going at it. Like an RNG, uh, big legacy builder for Xiaohu. EDG for Scout winning a world championship. Not too shabby, but both of them making their own legacies on new teams. LNG for Scout another year. Xiaohu. Shao Hu for Weibo. Using Billy Billy? I don't know. When I went to this thing, I couldn't hear any Chinese casters. So far, and now they're going to have pivotal roles in uh, helping out their junglers. Wait, wait. Strike it first on the skull crab. Shit, Zhao is behind. Do they try to go on Hong? Hong would be the target here because Hong is um no flash, obvi or no uh, cleanse, obviously. Okay. He's dead. Oh, wait, wait, doesn't even get it. Wait, we didn't even get the Q flash. Bro, that, it's pretty good play from Zhao to be honest. Really unexpected. Because, like, if you look at the LNG vision, right? Like, LNG had Weiwei walk the crab. This was warded, and then he warded in the bush as well. So he thought that there was absolutely no way that it would be possible for... Jaho to be behind, but Jaho just appears behind them because he actually cleared faster and skipped camp. Pretty smart, bro. It's a pretty nice play. That's what's crazy. This wave of run, we literally were calling them the tortoise. This was going to be the matchup of the tortai, as I called it, because both teams played so slow, but Weibo have turned it up a notch. Because Weibo, like, they don't see that pet, obviously. That's just, like, spectator only. Well, you see, because he wards this, and there's a ward here, and he has crap. Like, he warded both angles. He's like, there's no way a Maokai could be behind us right now. And then Jao's just behind. I like this, these types of plays from Jao. I think it's really smart pathing. Wait, we missed the Q flash. It's actually not a great play from Zhao. Zhao could die here. He has to burn his flash. Actually, he's probably just dead. He's probably just 100% dead. I don't think he can do anything. Wait, the Zir didn't come? Wait a second. Why did a Zir not move? This guy was dead, bro. This guy was dead. I'm pretty sure the wave was fine. I think Scout could have just played it. No way he should make it out alive here. Also, why did he smite? the small one bro really okay how often is high level league fun to watch oh it's, it can be really fun to watch it depends on the team like t1 is significantly more fun to watch than gen g when t like even if t1 is a slightly worse team but i think that's also because when t1 plays on their le their best level they are better than gen g can he ultimate the turn here oh I, th I thought he could ult him before he jumped Rocket jump his way back after the reset thumbs from the explosive up. charge. Yep. Keeps him with a thumbs up. Nice try. LPL seems to... Again, seems LPL Fiesta value fun over winning. Oh, no. I mean, I just think they have a different approach to winning. I don't think that the LPL teams, like, think that, like, winning... Like, they, there's, like, oh, it's more fun to play this style, so I'd rather lose and play this style than win. I don't think that that's what it is. No. That doesn't seem like it would make sense. A couple more camps. Potentially clearing... That top side of the map that's going to be coming up. Level six is going to be huge, especially fighting around. I think that's like that extremely ill. Available right now onto the map. What's crazy for me for Weiwei, you know, we're seeing some rough performances early into this one. It, it, he was literally in the world finals in, in summer. It was actually insane. This guy wasn't even playing in spring. He came in in summer for Weibo and had a big run to help uh, facilitate around the team. And it feels like now in playoffs yet again, he needs to try to light that fire under himself a little bit more. The rail performances so far, just trying to get the facilitation for them. They are a little late to this dragon. Weibo have already struck it down to about a thousand health. And Xiaohao will claim Strong. that first dragon for Weibo. Yeah, absolutely. Again, they're playing with the timers, right? Scout was all the way back in base. He was resetting. Weibo didn't get use that. Wait, 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 please. Hey, wait, wait. Just has to, has to live. I mean, it's two grubs to one Drake for Weibo. Weibo wants the early Drakes with Callista. I'm going to say what I'm seeing. LNG look lost. Ooh, loving the clone right there from Chris. 
to tank most of the culling coming out from Gala, but Ellen to look lost. They're late to the plays. They're not playing towards the strong side of the map. And even though we did say, hey, play towards Gala, try and get that Lucian ahead. If you look over on the top side of the map, Zika has been absolutely crushing this matchup right here. So I would say, hey, if it's not working out towards the bottom of the map, Nico very slippery, Kalista very slippery, Tristana very slippery, hard to catch. If you're a rel, play towards the top side, maybe try for a dive onto ZDZ. There have been there have been chances where ZDZ has been pretty low. And even what is with my it's still doable. Try to get your Renekton ahead and then use the power of the Renekton to play towards a neutral objective. This actually still pick out, okay. Solution. Look at these trades. Zika has been smashing it. He's having a lot of good presence up there. Now Hogan going to roam his way up as well. Not level 6 yet. That's going to be going through from Zika. But Soon don't want more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. Yep. LPL playoffs because we are literally back to back to back to back. It ain't I generally have more like my my YouTube is growing and more people are moving over. Yes, it went all the way to five for Weibo. You got to stress test yourself a little bit. And maybe that leads to some of these strengths in the early parts of this best of five here. Hey, you know what I call that? Official practice. Long pause. How is it only eight minutes in? Better than streams. Why play three what do you mean? Games? When you can play five, why would it be more than eight minutes in? I don't get it. About your own gameplay, about your opponent's gameplay, etc. etc. Now, scout. Okay. He's looking at Shahu. Ooh, the Shahu. He's gonna have a rocket jump available. Trying to turn. Crisp still has ult. Okay, he flashes. He, he was trying to get scout. Scout flash preemptively. Pretty smart by him. That is the Nico ult. Nico flash ult. Pretty big. Well, again, Crisp using that clone from Nico to tank the calling. He means the time between matches was long. Was it? I'm pretty sure it was normal. I mean, isn't this a pretty general timing? You're in game two. In the second hour of the stream being up. One already gone. Just need to get one of these potentially here if they can sneak in. Shao is gonna get bubbled up here now. Uh, cleanse actually from Gala too. Shao is looking to jump in. They do end up getting in here in time to deny that fifth stack of the grubs. That was crazy. ZDZ Why not put LEC VODs? From the both side of the <laughs> Long map. distance travel. <laughs> what do you mean? Literally, he's committed to this relationship, okay? He <laughs> traveled all the way from that bot lane tower just so he can make sure he's there for his loved ones to take that second void grab to deny the buff off of LNG. Again, LNG are desperately trying to get advantages onto the map. But as you will see, Weibo have the answer. Scout, see Jahu, throws him towards his team. Great. But that was a lovely flash coming out from Jahu to get out of the CC from Rel. Throws out Scout, which means the damage does not land from Azir because he's not there. And then just rocket jumps his way out of dodge. Flash force from Nami as well because Crisp was there onto the Nico old and... Yeah, trouble's casting LPL now. ...are just running away with everything. LNG can just not seem to land a single kill, a single opportunity. Xiaohu has taken so much pressure this game. It is insane. And clap Genji in game five. Wait, is it over? A lot of the resets that you can have. The Genji Dalmon game actually over? Double rocket jump, things like that. It is going to be so big for Weibo to kind of push around these fights like that. Because LNG, they really want like a front to back, a big shove from Scout, a big engage from Weiwei, maybe a little bit of a flank action from Zika. But they're going to have to try to put that together now, especially with about 45 seconds till another dragon for Weibo would be two in a row for them. I feel like I just want to see LNG, all five members, on the same screen. Uh, there's a bunch True. of times where Scout, you know, he's trying to shove Shahu into his team. Zika is fighting ZDZ on a different place on the map, and then TP's into team fight. LNG are good at team fighting. They they shine when Gala is able to put down the damage for them. Therefore, hey, does Crisp get another big ult? Facilitate for him. Be all five members on the same damn screen. Shahu found out. Oh, Xiao Triss is actually different. Looks like just by far his best champion. I mean, the Merc Treads, man, it makes him so tanky here, bro. Merc Treads and a Vamp Scepter, he's actually just unkillable. That's on a completed item for Azir right there. Okay. Got onto light. Okay, so Weiwei's dead for sure. Hiding out. Tristana is here. Azir still has ult. There's no Tristana ult. Uh oh, 
Hong is dead. Ziga gets one back. Scout is moving, but Scout... Yeah, Scout is not going to be able to commit. They would just lose. Ah, nice from Weibo, bro. They're going to take a few more tower plates right here. There's two members running from base and looking for Zika, but diving right now or Renekton when you know that Azir is already on the rotation would be absolutely catastrophic for Weibo Gaming after winning such a fight right here. And they're going to press their reset buttons, run straight towards that dragon. You see how how died in this exchange. So he's going to be running straight towards that dragon. And ZDZ, even though he did press his Hey, Damwon doing some something extremely egregious, but we'll just pretend it's okay. He'll take a lot of damage on the way out, but he'll go towards top side, and that's who his split pushing desires. We also have first items fully completed for a majority of members here, at least. Shao Hu's gonna be close. No way, Shoemaker is just styling on him, bro. No way. The Shoemaker, man. Ain't no way. Okay. All right. LZK is getting a little. They're getting a little funny right there. Doing some crazy shit. That Zika is stuck towards the top side of the map. However, they do not want to be taking any chances because the uh, don't tell me that Genji can actually win this game, bro. If Genji win this game, we we have to retire LCK. LG gets Drake. So they don't want to be running into a 50-50 on whether they can win this uh, team fight or not. Again, Genji versus Damwon Loki turned into a banger. I mean, Damwon literally stomped them, got three in Hibs, got like almost every objective, and then they just threw on Nexus turrets, bro. If that's the banger, it is what it is, man. I guess. I guess, man. Crisp knows his job, instantly presses R, splits apart Hang and Gala from their job. LCS Drake, yep. Ends up going down, and then the second the TP lands from Zika, he roots him as well. Like, yeah, I cannot it's, stress it's, enough. It's, it's, bro, I'm liking the uh, the comms from Weibo, though. I feel like Weibo's has been out drafting. And he realizes that he has enough space with that pop blossom to force Gala, Gala to literally do nothing if he doesn't have a calling up. That lack of range that LNG have is starting to bite them a little bit. Scout will take the ire of ZDZ here. Uh -oh. Oh, Number 17. Oh, dumb one's backdooring, trying to end the game. Not going to have to burn anything else just yet, but we're looking at top side of the map because Rift Herald is on the table here. And look at the TPs. ZDZ and they just backdoored in one. Okay. I guess, bro. Scout right here because I guess. Is coming up really, really soon from ZDZ. And ZDZ is looking at that magic number 17 to add to his solo kills. Hank takes a huge chunk. Wait, 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 wait. in a lot of trouble. Xiaohu looking for the angle here. Nature's Grasp going to connect in the end. And Xiaohu is like doing so much damage, bro. Like. Oh, he, ZDZ, he wants to get some more of those solo kills. Oh. About. He griefed it. He griefed it. He griefed it. He griefed it. Oh, didn't get his ult off. He had to ulti buffer through the Azir ult. He didn't get it. Oh, wait, was dead? He should just be dead now. Nice combo. Tidal wave on the way out, though. Nice magnet sword. Xiaohu gets bubbled as well. Ren's not gonna be enough. Neither is the. Okay, dude, Xiaohu is the most aggressive Tristana, bro. This guy doesn't give a fuck. Respect, honestly. Xiaohu's trying to rocket jump his way out of that one. They're losing bot turret, bro. It's a big mistake from ZDZ. Really unnecessary. Couldn't capitalize. Yeah, and at the end of the day, Weibo Gaming have to run away. There is no much mana or HP on Shahu or Light, so they cannot contest walking up into this river. So he might, after all, be LNG taking control of that topside river to go for the Rift Herald. Again, a huge, huge mess when it comes to team fights between those teams. You see how hard they both love fighting. For these neutral objectives and yet again, Joe Trist is insane. It just feels like he has the most HP out of every Trist we see. Like this guy just fucking goes in when he plays the champ. He was really good at it last year though. Not had great series. But look at Scout. Let's start with him. Because ZDZ, we said his ghost is almost Oh, ZDZ. He could have killed him. He just needs to R buffer the zero. And then he's fine. I think he probably shouldn't have went into his W there. Hey, they're going to scrap over this Herald, though. I want to see this. That's not even a fight. Okay. End up just getting the Herald. Wait, wait, no flash. 
knowing it can't use the unstoppable. Oh my god, they're really committing hard for this rel. I mean, I think it's going to be a good fight for... Um... Oh wait, never mind. TP was cancelled. ZDZ cancelled TP. I thought it was going to be a good fight for LNG. Okay, ZDZ suicided to cancel the TP. That's second solo kill now for Scout. Did they get cleanse here maybe from Gala? No. Okay. Two big, two big kills for Scout. I mean, Scout is just getting int fed. ZDZ died to cancel TP here. I mean, to be honest, it might have been a good play. Like, the first one was definitely misplay. But here, like, if the TP comes in, there's a chance that his team just dies. Like, that looked like it was going to be catastrophic for Weibo. TP position, Azir was TPing behind. Uh, Xiao had no jump, no flash. He was over the wall. And I'm pretty sure if ZDZ doesn't cancel the TP, they're just fucked. They actually kill him. Nice. Well played. Bro! Actually, pretty hype. Oh! I don't think, uh, Azir's here, Azir's here. Is gonna find it, and an auto from okay. The one that gets it. Just Pretty big. I mean, Scout is just fucking huge, though, out of nowhere. Like, Scout got the full bot turret as well. He got first turret. Like, Scout is actually really strong in this game. Okay, well, he interrupts him. That is very well done right here, because I feel like... I mean, he just had to, no? I don't know. I, I assume he didn't have W. Yo, Triss is great. Yeah, he was really good at it. Um, last year was part of the reason they got to Worlds. Oh, Scout is just having to fight it. Four man here. He's trying to get the shutdown. Oh, big from Scout. I mean, there's no reason he should ever use his stopwatch, though. His, his stopwatch is mega grief. Bro, he had a fucking 400 gold shutdown. He had a 400 gold shutdown. Bro, what? He had a 400 gold shutdown there? That was before he even got the second kill, by the way. I mean, they, like, LNG should just get Drake here. Wasn't stopwatch. It was Seekers. Oh, oh really? Hmm, yes. He had Zanyas anyway, but he could literally just be building towards a death cap with that large rod and then not go Zanyas. He completed, he completed Zanyas, so it's fine to use stopwatch. I'm going to fucking jump out the window with these dumbass comments. The whole point of having the stopwatch here and the whole point of not using the stopwatch is if he didn't use the stopwatch he would just be able to go death cap and sit on the stopwatch because then he could use the stopwatch later on using it for no reason makes him complete the zanyas then like, do we understand like these basic things about the game and then obviously yes i'm saying stopwatch because that is like the term like if you want to just nitpick if you want to be like I mean, bro, like, if you're a sub and you're just like, oh, it was Seekers, actually, and not Stopwatch, like, okay, bro, uh, you got me there. But he had Zanyas, but he didn't have Zanyas. But he literally just didn't have Zanyas. Like, he bought the, the Zanyas after he had a Stopwatch there. He had Seeker's Arm Guard. Wait, is the active still called Stopwatch? If it is, then I'm banning people. Because then you're not even nitpicking, you're just being cringe at that point. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, it's called Time Stop. It is true. Errant, I guess, skill shots. Uh, but this is Weibo returning to something they know very well, and that's split pushing power, bringing Xiaohu into the side lane to try to take one. This will be their first turret. Of the it's called Time Stop. Finally returning to something they know very well, but it means that there I don't mind him using Stop much if he's going to complete Zonis anyway. The, the, the thing is, he doesn't need to. Like, look, now he's building a death cap, right? So, like, if he didn't use the stopwatch, he would just have a death cap and the stopwatch right now, right? Because to complete the, I mean, like, like 400 gold off, but you get the point. I don't know. This seems like a complete flip. I don't know why they're doing this. 
well. 3,000 health on the Baron. Can Xiaohao even get in the Oh, he gets it. Xiaohao gets it. But why did they flip the Baron for no reason? That's going to be a big bubble blocked out of by ZDZ. Was this... Bro, they just flipped Baron and they lost Drake? I don't know. To be honest, he is never building Deathcap second. Deathcap is pretty good there. In the previous game, how I said he can do everything but smite the Baron. Gets revenge on Weiwei from stealing his Baron in game number one and that is huge news for weibo gaming you commented on it as well they love playing the one through one they love playing split push with shaq on the side lane How it was just a pure flip creeps? they just purely flipped the baron i mean they're still in pretty good spot because scout so far ahead gaming the game is dead even you get a baron you get to stall to get the game state in a way that you want to play it and weibo gaming really needed that breather of course, it's good there, but is he ever building a second? I mean, yeah, you should just, like, play the game well. Right. Like, you should just literally not waste stopwatch. Like, the only way that he can waste stopwatch there, or he should use stopwatch, is, is if he thinks he can actually get another kill off that. Which I think is completely unrealistic. So, you sit on the arm guard, you build towards a death cap, and then you build Zhonya's after. Hey, essentially, you just build towards the death cap, and if, like, you are forced to use your stopwatch, then you complete your Zhonya's. Boom. That's it. LG look good on paper. Why do they suck? I mean, I don't think they suck. Like, I think they were kind of bad earlier in the season, but now, I mean, I think that, I think Weibo is playing better than they've been pretty much the rest of the season. Like, I don't think Weibo is, like, super bad on paper. And this is literally three world finalists, ZDZ and, and Zhaohao, and ZDZ's been, I mean, ZDZ carried the last series, right? And Zhaohao's been solid, so... Biggest thing is I just think Weibo's better than people think. One of the things I love about the LPL is our. I need to flip with Rel. I mean, you shouldn't lose it with Rel, but I mean, Maokai smites pretty well too. You don't have like insane advantage, but Rel does have advantage. Gala has to be that guy this time around, and that third item spike that's right on the horizon. That'll be a moment of that pressure. Sure, but I'm getting a little bit concerned. You know, I, I, I've seen, I've seen rulers. Is he looked awful in regular season? I mean, sometimes he looked awful. Sometimes he looked really good. Translating into that mid game where you he just had a lot of like, like it felt like he's just it almost felt like he was a rookie where like his mechanics were good and he would like win some lanes, but he would just make like really dumb mistakes. If you look at him like stats wise, like his damage and stuff was like really insane, but he would just like int in crucial ways that would lose you the game. And this has been a little bit of a blocker, and this is the problem again with like very short range in carries, like the Lucian and like the Dom. Why you not watch LCK Korea racist? Oh. Yep, that's why. Oh, oh. Get it? Shout, who w Auto, oh, Scout outplayed him, oh. Scoot outplayed, bro. Pretty be pretty based. He also has TP that gives him guaranteed Drake. I mean, that was a fucking scrap, bro. I like that. I like seeing them flip it on the side lane there. Everyone is taking the heat onto Scout, and Scout stands tall. Xiaohu playing at the breath edge. Why did he jump? Because he was out of range. He was outranged. Xiaohu's not here for 15 seconds. They should just rush it. They should rush it, bro. LNG should be willing to, to like, rush, rush, rush. Free Drake. Buffer. Oh, Hong got hit. Hong got hit. Hong got hit. That's so unlucky that Hong got hit by that. He didn't get behind. Oh my god, Scout is doing so much damage here. Scout was doing so much damage. Oh, big from ZDZ. Huge. Do they end? Can they end bot? Bro, Hong got hit by the Maokai ult. He thought he was fine. He thought he was behind Weiwei, but he wasn't. Damn. Scout had no ult there. And Weibo did not I didn't use his ult there. The 50 50, the four versus five. They waited for the timer until Shahu is back up alive. Use his teleport. What a fantastic. Baron's in one minute. Actually, they're just going to get tier twos. And it can't end. Brings it all back 
around again the spacing the way that Weibo coordinates this team fight win is gonna net wow. them three such a low level game let's be honest wait why was this game low level in terms of like what and top at the same time in one team fight yeah you lose one team fight to Weibo game they'll take your map it was literally four towers to two to one rather and then two and then now it's six to four as we I think this game is actually like pretty high level yeah he shouldn't have jumped he shouldn't have jumped he should have squeezed one more auto he doesn't have any life skills and look at this here Xiaohu on the flank trying to catch them going through that choke point in the tri bush and they're waiting for Xiaohu's ZDZ did work bro ulted the like he w4 so he could ult the rel back and then here pretty good stopwatch from crisp and zdz committed bro he suicides here for this essentially i mean he doesn't even die but like he's willing to give his life for this we'll play zdz what a phenomenal team fight from weibo gaming their coordination is impeccable this series the fact that that nature's grass connected onto both Weiwei and Scout, that Scout burns his flash, that he doesn't have literally anything after that, I feel so it's hard now. Like it's really hard now. Win. And they're for LNG. A lot of the fight pressure here so far doesn't mean that LNG are out of the fight. Again, their 5v5 is huge. Scout is a monster, but he's got to have the pivotal performance here. That is a six thousand gold lead accumulated for the side of Weibo Gaming and a bunch of items in their inventory that hurt really hard. I feel oh, like the wow. key moment are here for LNGs. You can play over the wall here, maybe. Down, uh, light onto this Kalista. Like Scout can play over the wall here. It's actually kind of OP if he does. Oh, ZDZ just zoning. Well done. He's gonna look for Gala, maybe. Oh, he gets, he gets Zika. The bubble connects, but actually in the end, it does not. And uh, it looks like LNG might need to find an exit plan here. I wonder where their nearest exit is. Like LNG might just be out. Uh, honestly, I comment here, Weibo Gaming, for their patience. You definitely do not want to be following into Fog of War. That Renekton can turn on you real quickly and you end up losing members. And especially because you haven't reset uh, right after the Barn buff. You see a lot of the items coming through. The Redemption, the third item coming in from the Maka as well, which is going to be a round doing. So they did have huge item spikes. Uh, that you definitely do there's this top diff or what all the gold accumulated from the i mean i think game one it was just uh, comp diff onto the rift and now Weibo gaming with a foot forward they have the bar i mean i think it's really just maokai diff <laughs> literally i want to see what happens when maokai is banned in the next game very very strong three-man core in the likes of nico kalista and mako that can push mid lane Weibo again the, I, I, don't, I don't understand Weibo have just woken up for playoffs they have again they were one of the slowest teams well just a kaisa merchant no i mean his support is just bad like his support has been his supports have both been terrible this split i think there's much he can do like last game his support just left him at a horrible time and he just dies like under turn he can no longer play the game and this game he's just playing lucianami it's like not even a great lucianami game they're like pretty tanky they have nico which can block uh culling when they're 2v2 on mid he just doesn't have many chances to carry. Pressuring down the waves and trying to crash them at the same exact time. However, it wasn't the case of this time around. Oh, oh my god, the damage. Oh my god. Wait, this is the first time I've seen Lethality. Let's actually do something. Oh, Scout. Pretty good stopwatch. Where's uh, Trist? Once Trist gets in this fight, they win. Scout is just dead, right? Oh, Scout actually flashed back. Okay, maybe. Maybe they can play it. Oh, Xiaohu? Xiaohu ends? Oh, it wasn't a big stun. Zika's just dead. Bro, the Lethality Callista actually did something. What the fuck? And Gala is just going to suffer, as always. Gala trying to go over the other side. Oh my goodness. Explosions happen and a fish gets served up for sushi dinner. Now Light has found him and he gets the stop on the scout. Scout wants the damage, but he doesn't have it. Weibo picked apart LNG. Bro, are Weibo just going to 3-0 LNG? They do not care about your Azir. They do not care about your three solo kills because Weibo Gaming's team fight is just that much better. I can't believe it. No way. They just went off of this as well. They still have the minions here. Okay, ZDZ's taking a breath of damage, but Shahu cleans him up. 
Oh my goodness, one fell swoop, one giant leap, and Weibo, they're on the cusp of going 2-0 up for the second time in a row, and here we go, it's match point for Weibo Gaming. Huge. Damn. The king of spring, bro, the emperor of spring, what a beast. Do we go LCK game five? Balling these series and scout. He does not look so happy. Bad. He does not look happy. All right, we play the ads definitely is what we do because we're in draft. This is the only time we can play them. Nah, it's no time for Sosa, bro. This. This is consistent oh God, though with what DK have been prioritizing. Yo. Can also go for a loot pick up. <laughs> I do think the Sejuani is uh, a lot. Uh, I, I'd have a lot more confident uh, confidence in that. Oh, you think LNG is gonna win? Then the Maokai that has just been uh, kind of an unmitigated disaster. Lucian, uh, now. probably like six, five, no, six, like that. Pivot. We saw this, I'm bro. Where do you watch? Because I hear you well, react to everything so early. I hear it's like, and then I just like see, and then I just know it's stolen every time. On this patch, yeah, much you do Chinese casters, and there's no vibe, crucially. Yes, there's Sejuani, but that, alone, yeah, not enough. Maybe I should do that at least when I'm here. At least I should do that when I'm here. Do Billy Billy. To kite back in those extended fights, and if you're playing it to Lulu anyway, might as well commit to it, Kellen. Yeah. Wait, why? You can't wait till six? Yumi really? The toys here. Uh, then I just go later myself. And then they've already looked good yeah. on this duo, and I, I don't. Wait, you're gonna go when? As, as I thought you wanted to go at like five. With their opponents. Set one is an interesting one. I do wonder what the. Wait, you turn off your stream? Like for the wait, why? Plus Kia. You consider like Jax is still available. They You're not gonna watch game five even, uh, of Damon uh, versus Genji. Showmaker, does he pull out another R5 Silas or something Wait, you just like ended that. stream after two hours? The angle what the fuck? Maybe I go gym with Rachel then. Big victory, yeah. but let's see what else Genji pick as well. Uh, also melee. Typical. Not gonna let Showmaker have his hands on that. Bro, I just want to see more fighting out yeah, of Genji. I really don't like them trying. Like, I get what where they're coming from. Like, their macro is better, and Genji and uh, Damwon normally does throw games, but it feels like Genji is just like sitting back, doing nothing, and being like, hopefully they throw. Oh, let me ask. Uh, let me figure something out real quick. One second. Perfectly fine. And that's I put the title. I have. Okay. Yeah. As it synergizes very well with the Sejuani, with Yumi as well for some extra sustain and. We all know how I feel about Lothala the Aatrox, the <laughs> things it does. The drain uh, tank that he is. The drain tank, uh, almost as tanky as, uh, as people that build full tank, yes. Yeah. But also, gets the one shot on the Felios if he does get a big flank of the Renekton taken away. And to me, it could be a Cassante as well, right? And, and you put everything on a high DPS output pick for the, uh, for the mid laner here, for Showmaker. We'll see ends up coming through. Could also just go for a zero. True. Just pick it and say, okay, we'll, we'll save the counter pick for top. Uh, wow. Zero. Back in the meta means that this will happen more and more often. He is pretty much untouchable when it does come to trying to counter him in lane. So you just end up with handshakes like the Talia. And in game five, it might not be about that mid jungle. It might instead be just about the 5v5 team fights already. I think this is both teams recognizing a lot of these games have gone the distance. At least one of them was decided by right. one decisive fight. Bro, you're really going Yumi in game five? As well, but a counter pick for King and you're really going Yumi in game five, man. When you guys have been the more aggressive team. See, this is what I don't like, man. Like, why? Okay, if you've been watching this series, like I've been watching on second monitor, right? Doesn't it feel like Domwon has a much better read of like early aggression, early fights, choosing skirmishes, just the ability to discern when they can fight and when they can't? Isn't hasn't that been the advantage of Domwon the entire series? And if that's your advantage, why would you not index into that? Why would you not try to draft in a way where you could use what you are doing much better than them to your advantage? Like in this game, bro. Look at what's up right now. Look at what's up. 
Why do you not just Varus Ash it, bro? Why would you not see these these champions up, right? You see this is up. Varus Ash are up, 14-6. Why do we not Varus Ash and then split map and just absolutely play to dumpster them early? And if I could make, you know, a peak DK draft, you know, ideally you want Lucid on Rel instead. But outside of that, this is pure comfort for the entirety of this roster. And then, on the flip side, honestly, same for Genji. <laughs> when you get to game five and it's getting a little shaky, you know, even for the side of DK, yes, they won, but it wasn't the cleanest game four we've ever seen. So, uh, just go for comfort. Just go for what works. Ban away the scary things like the point and click, like the Vi, and go with what has gotten you wins most of the time in the past. And this is a huge game. This is a massive game because if you win this one, you guarantee yourself at least lower finals. The fact that we're in this position in the first place, it's somewhat surprising, but... Don't like it, bro. I don't like it. It's a pussy like approach in my mind. It's a pussy o approach. The momentum to dethrone Gen G here in game number five, Valdez. It could just happen. These two squads, these two organizations that have so many wins behind them. Let's see who gets the win here in game number five on the Rift. Sack it up with your motto. Yeah, they're, they're pretty pumped <laughs> for game number five. Also, when all of the players uh, individually were walking out onto the stage, as Lucid will be fine, they were getting huge cheers from the fans as well. Because obviously with the big headsets on and the white noise, etc., cetera, um, you're not supposed to hear too much of the fans, uh, but obviously when they're walking out, they can hear everything, so. Huge fan support. As uh, we get a zoom in on King, and that's, that's his skin. He earned that himself for uh, being finals MVP. We do have exhaust fuel <laughs> available as well. Ford is placed as both teams. Uh, I think that Genji have an increase. <laughs> King and Ward Yo. Yo, them. Yo, what's up, Yamato? Holy. D plus Kia. D plus Kia. Bro, what do you think about the... So I was tweeting out about the approach here from Dom1. Is this not an angle where you... Um, wait, let me see. Where are you? What time? Oh, you're on... Um, I'm on Korean. Okay, okay, I go Korean. Do you think you that say? it's not just better to go... Um, like Varus Ash here? Like, why not just Varus Ash play hard through bot lane? Like, it feels like Varus Ash is just up and, and uh, Dom wants just better early game, so why not just go for that? I think honestly, but that is I think Eamon said at. these guys are choking. Yeah, Figure really something that's gonna up. scale really and fucking out. Sometimes, you know, you play that extra series, you build. Wait, what am I? What did I just go into? LCK. You synced? Bro, where is the Korean cat? Okay, here it is. Uh, nah, they, they said these guys are choking. I'm gonna pick a scaling chap and I'm gonna fucking 1v9. Oh, did you two times? A bit? A little bit, yeah, a little bit. Alright, I'm sinking. Bro, I can't believe, like, 13 days I'm just back in America. That's mental, yeah. It's been so long. <laughs> I guess it's just, I guess I've just been here a month. It doesn't even feel like it. The days just melt together eating yogurt yep. and kebab with Gilius. <laughs> yep. Bro, Gilius, I can't believe, bro, he pussied out, bro. He, he turned off stream after two games. What? Yep. Oh! Hey, Jizu. It's crazy, man. I can't believe, bro, the, I can't believe Genji's earlier drafts were in this fucking series. This is crazy. I feel like Gen G is uh it feels like they're playing with the mindset oh we're so much better macro wise Damon will throw so just like don't do anything we'll win by default I feel like they need the first to, like, three drafts the players made and the second the last two the coach made yep. <laughs> By the way, aiming Lucian just, uh, yeah, it's just it's compared to you in Illusion, so cringe. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, what a glow up from aiming, by the way. Like, his earlier split was so trash. 
And now, now he's back. He's completely back. Nah, bro, I was never out on him. Bro, I swear people just don't like him because he, because of the, you know, because he's not the best person. I guess we should yeah. say. He's not the best person. Uh, oh, Jizu doesn't know. Stream. We're in game five. Yeah. Okay, Jizu. Never mind. That's not what. I thought after that game there was run back to Lucian Nami. Yeah. But I guess. Um, they did so well in the previous one into Lulu, and that will be their answer again for Genji. But maybe uh, they knew Aphelios is coming. Oh. Chovi already based. Yeah. No, I like Chovi um, playing Talia in this game. I feel like his he needs agency. I, I think blue side draft is much better honestly like, this, this is one of the first ones yep. you think Jeji just win uh, they have the better draft yeah i would say i would say it's easier to play like uh, I, I don't know how that one can like be proactive in a real way that doesn't rely on like the enemy like blundering yeah like bot lane they have base advantage that's cool lulu base but the fillers stayed I don't. I didn't. I missed what happened. What the fuck happened? Man? Fifteen seconds. Dry like that. Yeah, just dry as fuck. But I mean, it's just I don't know. Like, Chovy just based early and bought items, and then Chovy got to miss waves. I don't know. Just uh, the Azir tech never base. <laughs> he pulled out the Azir tech and never base, and then he <laughs> I guess basing is just terrible. <laughs> then he bases on this shit, bro. Also, like. I don't understand grasp in the way people are playing grasp. I understand grasp versus like the melee champs and like or low range champs, but versus like Atalia who you're never hitting. Like why would you not just go fleet? Maybe That's weird. maybe he thinks he loses the matchup regardless and just goes grasp for better skill. Like resolve tree or whatever. Yeah, resolve tree plus if he gets grasp uh, HP. I guess. Hmm. He's playing Conqueror is also weird. Because uh, one hit anyway, you can secure, right? Like, yeah. Who was playing what? No, Conqueror or Felius. They go PTA now or Fleet, right? PTA, Fleet, yeah. Now this, this lane is so contested. Yeah. And... Um, like you, you, you need to, you need to fight uh, level one. I think. Mm. I think Conqueror makes you a bit weaker level one. Especially because aiming runs cleanse. Oh. Whoa. That's why you go cleanse. Oh, 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 Chovy. He hits this. He hits those. Chubby. Oh, the W out on the rocks. Oh my god, Pays, you are disgusting, <laughs> brother. Oh my god. Bro, Pays, man, yeah, what the fuck? Gun, no? Why did he switch gun? I don't know, bro. He's he actually just red. so bad. Dude, this guy, I can't believe that people actually think he's the best AD carry in, in Korea, bro. People are so delusional. Nah, the, 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 the all pro in Korea is politics, no? People are just afraid of death threats. Oh, really? <laughs> bro, <laughs> I'm bro sure. fuck the death threats. Stop being a pussy. Just absorb the death threats, bro. Tank them. I love those shits. I like try to bring more on. <laughs> what? Just flex them. Yeah, I flex my death threats, like, bro. Him on his bro. Roof. He's the first thing he sees when he wakes <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> honest, honest question. Did you ever get death threats while you were playing? Man? Oh, of course, bro. I got so many, bro. I had one where this guy is like, I'm literally going to come to the studio and shoot you in the head. <laughs> like, well, welcome to America. <laughs> yep. Oh, big. Ooh, nice flash. It was hard flash, I think. Yeah, I don't. I feel like Showmaker should have got that, no? What's your time, bro? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. He's streaming it, no? Oh, he's not streaming anymore? I'll stream it. Yeah. Saving, saving bandwidth. Saving bandwidth, hmm. How yeah. is Gilius not on for this? I don't know, bro. He just like, he must have lost bets. I bet you I'll ask him and he'll, he lost bets he and he just got tilted. He went on 3 0 <laughs> Yeah, LNG 3 1, maybe. Oh, he was streaming and he removed the stream. Bro, I was up, I was up 7k, like, since I'd been here in bets, since, like, uh, two days ago. And now I'm only up, uh, like, 4.5. Lost two and a half to like 3k in the last couple days.
Wait, he just fucking read out instead of white out. Yep. Yeah, he just swapped his gun. <laughs> but it's like, it, it, the thing about Pays there is it didn't even look like he was, like, sure that he was sending it, bro. Like, I would, I would respect it if he was just like, I'm getting this kill no matter what, and he just sent it under the turret. He's like, oh, Chovy's gonna, Chovy's already bought, he'll, like, fix the wave. Like, I just want the kill on me because I'll carry. It was thinking about leaving. <laughs> yes, it was like it was like in between. I hate watching like the in between bullshit. Yeah, True. because he would have killed him no matter what. If yes, he yes. If he just sent it, the guy is fucking completely dead. It looked like someone told them kill, 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 and then yeah. oh. <laughs> and to be fair, it's fine to die. Yes, Lambo. No, one guy was saying kill, and the other guy was saying kiting, 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 kiting. Fighting, fighting. <laughs> 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 oh, the Bro, the LNG series too. Like, what the fuck is happening there? It's only Scout playing the game. Yeah. ZDZ is just smurfing. ZDZ is so underrated, bro. That's like so ZDZ. fucking good, ZDZ. Yeah, he's really good. I was saying earlier, like ZDZ is just way better than the Shai. <laughs> yeah, he's probably just better. This probably just is what it is. He might just Jaya be the good worlds, fair play, but uh, what Zhao and Weiwei had to do to bring them to worlds was a bit crazy. Apparently, Aux and uh, Atlas just got death threats for their all pro. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. But like, what does that like... mean, get death threats? Because, like, I get so many death threats. Like, are we talking about, like, they got, like, massive ones? Like, like we're talking about, like, hundreds, like, thousands? Like, are we, are, like, how many death threats are we talking? Because, like, I, like, I feel like, like it's... layers to death threats, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's layers to death threats for sure, bro. Honestly, Cause, if I Because I've never been Tabe. Never yeah. yeah, Tabe, like, he just got pictures of the hotel we were staying at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a different level. Oh! Oh! Okay, Keen. Oh, never mind. Q doesn't slow anymore. Yep. <laughs> I mean, oh, no flash. No, oh, no flash on Chomaker. No. Oh! Oh, I, uh, Chovy had no spells. He used it on the wave. Yeah. That was a free kill, bro, if he had WE. But uh, I was saying, that's exactly what, uh, what I was about to say. I think it's different uh, death threats from uh, China Korea into UNA. <laughs> China Korea, they send you the other room. <laughs> uh, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Like in your room, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm here, but wait. I use the out. same lotion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was one time I was in Korea. And I got fucking, like, I, I like, fucking, I, I don't know if I ran it in a game or maybe the, per like, I don't even remember what the, the thing was, but... The guy was just like, yeah, I know where you guys are because we were playing like OGN and all the uh, the hotel rooms for all the foreign teams were in the same one. And we're, he was like, he's like, I'm coming to kill you right now. Right now, I come to kill you. Like, I'm going to come to kill you. And then I found out, I kept on talking to him and he like played on NA server and he was actually my friend on NA server. His name was like Fascinate. He was just an NA server TF1 trick. And he was like, wait, oh, Dom? And I'm like, yeah, you're fascinated? He's like, oh shit, like we're homies. I was like, oh yeah, oh shit, bro. I'll see you around, bro. Uh, GG, bro. I'll see you next game. We were just homies. Oh, the cleanse is actually so huge this game. Okay. Oh, oh, we did the, co oh, the, the combo, bro. Did you see the Lulu ult? He pushed him. The Lulu ult was insane. Wait, he actually pushed him with Lulu Lulu ult yeah, into yeah, the rocks. Lulu art in the, in the yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. No flash on Showmaker, no flash on Showmaker. They can keep on going, bro. Oh, I think they could have got more here, guys. They should have. They should have really sent it. I think. I think they should have chased. Showmaker is just dead. I was wondering, did you have two fucking doubles? What happened? <laughs> oh, bro, I never Lulu ult into rocks. They they were smart about it. I never saw it before. But just... Yeah. He just got Lulu ult while he was rifting. Uh, like he when he landed, I think. Plants out? No, no. Look, like when when he, he went close to them and he fucking ulted them. Yeah, yeah, look, look, look. Like, uh, he, he waited, okay? Look, look, look. Boom, into the rocks. And he stunned him. And he stunned him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was insane. Uh, I was just, uh, I was thinking that he, yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's, fine. it's whatever. They should just kill Showmaker, though, by the way. Like, I feel like they could have broke Showmaker. Oh, so he has flash again? He has flash. Oh, good flash from Lucid. Big. Ooh. Yeah. It's grapping. It's grapping. Canyon might have to flash. Oh, it's fine, I guess. That's Drake for a dumb one. He didn't have flash because uh, Shoemaker was waiting with his arf. He wanted to trade flash for uh, Chow. If he flashed it after. 
Okay, this one from Lulu. I mean, just knowledge gap there, bro. Bro, Chovy had flash, but uh, Lucid are flashed. Are we really looking at this? Like, what are we doing here? Man? I don't know, bro. It's some uh, Sneeko chair gaming. Okay. Okay, Wait, this guy is flash. Okay, Brace. Bro, is it lagging a little bit or is it just me? No, it's just you. Just you. Really? Uh, it looks like frames are dropping, but I'm not lagging. Yeah, yeah, frames are dropping, that's what I mean. Yeah, it looks like it's like 10 FPS or some shit, this stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You watch on Twitch or really? It looks like the guy just has the shit PC, whoever's like... Who is the observer? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that I used to absorb shit? <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. And you got move speed too. <laughs> and you got move speed and the shield. <laughs> yep. I just saw a 500 uh, shield and uh, it was not, it was not off. It's really the first Titanic Hydra once with everyone and at 3k HP. Our flash was clean from Lucid over Canyon. Yeah, pretty insane. Yeah, Lucy, that's just fucking what a glow up in the last like three series that he played. He started playing Lee Sin, got confidence, and now every champ he plays way better. Yeah. Like that previous Vi game, he fucking ran Canyon through the dirt. Yeah. I'm sure he's playing Maokai, but still. Bro, Weiwei Wei brand also in game three, LNG Weibo. I think that they have like no buttons though, it's hard for them to play. Well, what happened in game 2? 1. Uh, Weibo. Weibo's up 2-0. Oh. oh shit. It's looking like a 3-0 for, for Weibo, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, no, Weiwei and Gala and Hang like... They're not playing the game. Nope. They're not the playing. On Looking for him for the scout. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck is this? I feel it's buying. Is he going storm raise a second? Is that the build? Two monk with ratams, no matter what. Is he going yeah, shift second? Already, like, Bro, there's no way he goes shift second, second right? No, no, he's going storm raise or one percent. Is that a thing, bro? Why would you not just go IE? I don't know. IE has to be better, no? Like, Crack in IE? Is that not. <laughs> Okay. I think the Quiver item is really good. That's the first game BK just got Drake's. Yeah. Bro, this stream is actually tilting me. The FPS is like so low. I'm not lucky. Oh. Mm, Chubby's coming in. He's on this first. He's on this first. Lucid There's is no dead, flash. no flash, no flash on Lucid. Showmaker, oh, playmaker. Showmaker? Wait. He didn't he move his soldiers, or? he didn't have his soldiers. King in? Nice. Chovy okay. has flash, Chovy has flash, he's gonna need to flash. Oh, that was a good uh, Oh, nice from Showmaker. Like, that actually saved everyone, by the way. Like, he was the flash up. How was that a one for one, bro? That was a fucking oh. scrap. Yeah, I mean, keep it to save the day, legit. He went static second. Do you know how this is like a really good fight for teams to, to take? In LPL, this is why are they fighting? They're fighting for no reason. Drake isn't even up. Why are they fighting? They're for kills. Yeah, they're playing for kills. I, I, I thought Showmaker would actually clip into, into pace like on the first go. I would see what happened. And then I thought he would lose Kesante and uh, the other guy that Aatrox is fighting, you know? Yeah, but he allowed Kesante. It's okay that he waited, but then Kin uh, ulted him away and he didn't Like, look here. Now they're escaping, he's about two or three people. Yeah. Like here, he should ult. Yeah, he should like just ult. Before King yeah, he, here, he was about to flash ult. Like, he was actually yeah. about to flash ult, but Kin did it for... Because Kin doesn't, like, he doesn't even need to flash ult. He just needs to press R, I think, before Kesante comes close, no? Yeah, uh, Shoemaker, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I have, he was looking, but he didn't see it uh, as fast as this. Because he kept his ult for so long. Okay. 
I don't know, item wise it's really good timing for Genji Drake wise. Oh they're just giving. Look, look at the inventory of Red Side. Yeah. Just pays no flash. Yeah, it's crazy no that Genji is actually giving here. They're giving third Drake here. I guess it's just Chovy pays yeah, no flash, flash and balance. I think it's enough, yeah. but I mean they're on two items on th he actually did go shift second by the way. Yeah. Oh, is that a thing? Shiv second? That sounds so useless. Well, you're watching it right now. You're seeing it. <laughs> but is it a thing now? Or is he just in feeding? He's an Adam, bro. He wanted to buy Static Shiv first and then forgot. Ah. He's really nervous, apparently. Yeah, he's just really <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I hate it when I get nervous and I just build a fucking death cap first on Graves jungle. I just max his W and build a death cap. Do you go leech bin second? Out of W, why should? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I mean, this, uh, this role is fucking pathetic. Oh, okay. Okay. It, oh, he not flash it though. Yeah. 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 Showmaker, can Showmaker get a big shuffle onto the backline? Backline, backline. Oh, oh no flash peas. It's wide though. <laughs> Did you call him peas? A peas? Oh, peas? Ping in! <laughs> ping in! <laughs> no flash peas. Does, does he heal the wall? No, no, no. It's, it's, that's too mad. You call him peas? <laughs> What did you call him, Jizu? Uh, P I, I said the piece is of P or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Peas. <laughs> like that. Yeah, peas, like, you know, the food. Yeah, no, it's peas. <laughs> no, that's when you drink, uh, but uh, sometimes... Wait, you drink? Well, they're, gonna, they're about to fucking clutch this shit, bro. JJ's going to fucking lose the bracket, man. Look. Bro, please tell me T1 also lose and we get T1 versus Genji and loser bracket. Oh, one of them don't go to world to MSI. Oh. I mean, that's matter. They lose. Oh. All right, MSI to spots. Yeah. Wow. No, this bot lane has lost all the gusto, man. The Genji bot lane, man. Uh, bro, they were. They, but that was like kind of a thing the entire split, though. Like, I don't understand why they're so overrated. I think they're the third best bot lane probably in the league. I don't bot know. Got a, bot lane got, has become more important on 14-6. Oh, Chobi. Chobi missed Cannon, bro. You know he's really shaking. Good jinx. We've seen so many, so many bad jinx players. But what are we building? Cracking to start again to LDR? Yeah, I need to know. This needs to be studied. <laughs> what? Now he eats again too far. I thought he would go Storm Razor for the wounds with a very crucial did at least they have fucking flashes for the coming fight. At like gold wise everything is fucking still. Even though yeah. DK just won this fight so hard. Yep. Yeah, Pete, three Drakes, no, no, three no, Drakes, no, I think it's just so good for you in this next fight. No joke, it was good that they didn't have flashes in that fight, because then they would use them and yeah. it probably wouldn't make a difference. Yep. This Kenny is starting to become huge. I was so happy he locked Aatrox on 5. I was screaming for it. It's too poetic, he can't not lock Aatrox on 5. <laughs> so he's fucking fat, by the way. If he didn't have the Oblivion Orb, it was a already crippling finish. Uh, every time Chovy on third item begins to just buy the most random components. Yeah. I don't know if you saw his last year. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, give me a Negatron cloak. It's like, what? Like, and then base on a ward and throw Nash. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Oh shit! He's Image is alive. No flash. flash. Okay, he's dead. Oh! Oh wait! The nice. shuffle! The shuffle! The shuffle! The shuffle! Ah, uh, Chovy does so much damage, no? Yeah. Has this. Oh my oh, God! Keen is killing them. No, no, no! It's, uh, oh, Keen! Ah! 
Wait, uh, wait. Let's see the. They had a one HP. What is it? Wait, so what's the play here? It's base, probably no. How could Pays fuck up his flash like this? Yeah, I don't know what Pays did, bro. Where's Pays pal at? Pays. What did they make Dean die one shot, though? I guess Chomaker's on the other, okay. Chomaker ult. Let's see, let's see what Chomaker does here. Pays. Oh my god, Pays flashed in. Yeah. Oh my god, Pays just Omega griefed it. Holy Game shit, he flashed pays. in to finish his area. Dude, I'm pretty sure that like, I feel like Keen was, was fine there. Oh, he mega griefed it. Yeah, I mean, he had a guy that one, legend to one win and Chovin Kin. He's into them, Chovin Kin, one, two hits. Yep. Uh, this, uh, Kasante is looking kind of thick. What is the cloth armor and all magic mantling to guessing what, what should we build? <laughs> guy is about to make me so. act up. Uh, is Dicky gonna slam it into this one? Aiming as flash? Uh, they're giving. But now they lost position of Nash. Just go Nash. Look at the guns of Hayes. Just do Nash. Yeah, they're doing nothing. Come on, yeah, yeah, they, they'll do it. They'll do it. They're actually doing nothing. Dom on macroing in game worse five. Worse than nothing, you know. <laughs> like, like, they're, what the fuck? they're going bot. Like what? Bro, this is just Dom on macro. This is average Dom on macro. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're going bot and it looks out not to people the way they are. So oh my lord, it doesn't get worse than that, man. As, they were in the sneaker chair and they put their legs up too, you know. <laughs> yeah, they were Drake, Drake wide, wide in the position. sneaker chair. And... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so insane. Oh, uh, good wall, good wall. They don't oh, finish. aiming. Oh flash. my god, this is such a good fight for a dumb one. They just have to not ah, grief it. Shoemaker, Shoemaker, Shoemaker. Tommy Kiting! Shoemaker has flash, by the way. You know what? Shoemaker, just win. Oh, oh, oh Keen oh, saved oh, it, bro. Oh, Keen oh, saved it. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, knew, I knew it, I knew it right away. Oh, Keen saved it, bro. This was literally GG, bro. This was so oh. GG. Keen saved it. I mean, Shoemaker into it as well. Bro, can they, can they still do uh, I guess Zeri doesn't do enough damage now. Yeah, I was thinking like maybe they can so start, long, but it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Shoemaker took so long, and then when he did, he didn't even flash. He has four Bro. men. Uh, where, by the way. Shouldn't they just like take the chunk and just start Baron, like bring the other team to them? I think the team has no sustain. Like at the point where they had like already killed Chovy. Like, Chovy Wool is also bad. They should Did you see also aiming flash? I think it was Pussy Ono. Or did he flash uh, the W or something from Talia? He flashed the Talia W. Yeah. Okay, I guess yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Look, he can flash, flash more aggressive then? If Shomaker he flash ult, he get four people, brother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Totally. Oh, Damn. Keen is fucking big dicking, man. He saved two situations. Damn. Faze is not a failure thing at all. Yeah, but, but I think if they played with Shovey damage on Nasher, into wall regardless after. Because his position was like, he's only playing to flank and wall, like the, their call is uh, just force them to come and then fight. But I think they can, yeah, yeah. Nasher, they can just uh, do damage with Shovey, that he has to damage. And yeah, the, yeah. Uh, at the same time. Like, uh, I think this, then, then on this map as well, well, on this map as well, it's so easy to find like a good Talia wall spot. Yeah, you can be on a band Nasher, you know? Band yeah, Nasher, yeah. you just uh, play Q and uh, then you play to wall as well. And it's in a straight line, it's a good wall. <laughs> okay, now we have the change again, like they have double flash, like, like blue side should just fucking buy yeah. LDR and start hitting Nash. Summoners never matter like this. <laughs> <laughs> such an imbalance. <laughs> so it's no flash, no flash against the flash. <laughs> How much gold does King have? Like he's been on this long sword forever. There's no way he has a full Cyrilla, right? It's like Last Whisper, pickaxe. King quads, okay. I mean, Keen got killed, that's why he didn't fool at him. Yeah, yeah. Bro, is it really a, a spare visage here? On Keen? I mean, I guess there's shields and stuff. I don't know. I just think that, like, you would want either Force of Nature or, or uh, Rukern. There's a more. And more item. I feel like I don't know, bro. I mean, I guess, I guess, it's like if you go all out, you get healing. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Okay. Look at Aatrox's position, by the way. This is very awkward. I don't know. Show me. 
I don't okay, like Jinji. Jinji Jinji flash here. Get get we have to go on to Keen, I think. Or King in, I mean. Oh, Polymorph. Good Polymorph. King kind of gave spot. No, why? Oh, oh my god. Okay, these and flash from Pace. Pace is going to do work here. Pace is going to kill everyone, no? Oh, Showmaker griefed it, bro. Did they just end? Wait, did you do the bottom of Oh my god, aiming. I think Tyler Stones, Tyler Stones. He eat through rocks. Yeah. To leisure, bro. I think, yeah, I, I think King gave up this position too fast, no? Yeah, he didn't keep going. Like, everyone flashed though. Maybe he could have kept going, no? Yeah, I feel like he could. Because they were done with second Q, probably. Like, he came back hard, but... There is Drake again in 40. They're basing. Oh, this flash on aiming and showmaker soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see if Fedrox can do more. So, well, it's good for to one shot uh, Mosher, then they're on top. So let's see. Ah, he went with second Q. No. No, 100% can go. I think he should have just kite up a bit to Wait, play yeah. away from I mean, pace, after Polymorph then... is gone, I think he's fine. I, I, did not, I did not see that he actually flashed for the engage. I thought he QE over the wall. But yeah. he actually flashed. <laughs> bro, are you telling <laughs> so me Zeus is his pussy o flashing, bro? Zeus is either getting one shot or he's one shotting the whole enemy team there. Bro, Zeus is like 0 10 into 1 9. Not yeah, no, Zeus is just point. like he's fucking 0 4 in lane, dies 4 times, solo the driest way possible, goes into a team fight, one shots the enemy AD with a Q3 flash Hydro proc. Bro. Yeah, it has a reality, GG. Yeah, it's just a bit smash. It's not decisive at all. Like, if Amy is finishing IE, they have flashes. Oh. They just need to survive a little bit. Oh! oh. Yeah, the game's just over. What are you saying, Imano? Not like this, man. Not like this. Cyrilla finish. I he finish. Lucid, calm down, son. Lucid oh, really wants Tarzan to join the team. So we did it like, did it again. He, he's building components. Oh, wait, did he sell Oblivion of Empire again? I don't know. Mm, I don't have no idea. Okay. Okay, okay, kept it, kept it. No, I, I don't think this Nash is decisive, but the Flash. The Flash is coming. IE. Bro, both 80s don't have IE. <laughs> looks so Bro, I'm pretty sure this Zeri champion is useless. You saw Patrick yesterday? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this champion just does zero damage. I want to see buff Jace like. Yeah, buff Jace, please, man. <laughs> They should just give Jace 50 armor and MR when he's in hammer stance. <laughs> Bring back three for Triforce. They should just make Jace a full melee champion. Just buff the fuck out of his melee form and just remove his range form. <laughs> give him pop yield. <laughs> Instead of form. <laughs> so he's in the hammer, hammer family. Wait, Shomegar is going full uh, damage, no tank. By the way, LNG is getting 3 0 as we speak. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Scout just Omega sent it, I'm pretty sure. Actually, fine. And oh, ZDZ is playing Varus top. I didn't even realize, bro. ZDZ is playing Varus top in game five. Holy shit. He's playing game Borg Varus game top in game five for Zika. Uh, Got the base, no? Or game three, I mean. The cider game. Yeah. Oh, Navori is finished now, maybe. Yep. If DK win, I think that all the gamblers in the world just lost everything. Really? <laughs> they lost their life. Nah, I mean, I, I, I put uh, over 21 and a half. I put 300 on over 21 and a half this game. Kills. Thought it would be a banger fight. I feel like game five is normally kind of scrappy in LCK. I think of that they're playing to end, actually. Like, Talia bought Morello. 50 abilities for this uh, push. No. Bro, I, I can't okay, believe that IE, like, for, like, I don't believe in this IE fourth bullshit, man. I just don't believe in it. It's so weird to me. I mean, of course, it's a Kraken IE Lordom's game. <laughs> Especially when he bought Kraken first. Like, it's not, it's not of course, to pays, bro. It's definitely not, of course, to pays. You wanna. I mean, he's first of all LCK, what are you? But I was like, I had 1.95 on over 21 and a half. That shit. Omega hit. Put 330 and got 650 out. Bro, Steph Curry put 250,000 channel points on Genji in the last game. 
<laughs> I just lost 20, 250k channel points just like that, man. That's crazy, man. You got any channel point rewards? I don't do anything. I just, it just like... Uh, there's like champion quotes for thousands and thousands. It's a bragging currency. Yeah, it's like Zynga poker, you know, on Facebook. It's a bragging currency, you just show the screenshots. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, legit, uh, it's a sad shoemaker one grasp for the rune and just the, the tree. Even fully be legit. No tank whatsoever, not be some mask. Yeah. Game is just. I mean, this game is just yeah. over now. Like, Genji will just win no matter what. I mean. Yeah, it looks like that. Like... Oh, nice. My whole chat just lost 8,000 shadow points. Cool. They're just highlighting random messages. <laughs> bro, Lehens, chill out, bro. You, you're not zoning that hard here. Nah, I don't know about king and punching the super minions. Like, they're not gonna take possession at all. You're just. Yeah, they're just giving Baron, bro. And they're just gonna try to win this soul. Let's get the Dretsky, man. Nah, I know what, what's gonna happen. Genji's gonna position, Chovy's gonna get like position on the side, he's gonna ult behind, and they're just gonna get oh, funneled base. into bot lane. They're gonna get funneled shit. into bot lane, bro. Big ult from pace, big ult from pace. Oh shit! I even got one shot by pace, by the way. He lost his whole head. Yeah. They're gonna get funneled into bot lane and lose the game. Just saying. Kali ult, they're gonna get funneled into bot lane and lose the game. They're gonna get funneled yeah. into bot lane and lose the game. Yeah, Chovy has Zunya as well. Do, do they just play to like end on Let's this ball wave or some shit? No. Uh, cancel them and go bot. Yeah. You can cancel all of them, no? Yep. But this works too. Like the death Yeah, okay, GG. Wow. I think bro, they go bot, guys. Go bot. Wait, they're going mid? What? They should go bot and end, bro. I think this is so fake yeah. what they're doing. I think bot and end is much better. Really? This is personal for Kenny, look at him. Uh, oh, yeah. done to Bro, why are they not oh, playing on this ball? Like, Showmaker is dead, guys. It. Showmaker is dead. Yeah. Go I mean, bot. The timing, in. the timing was going in there. <laughs> that is so insane to me that they just like don't run at this ball lane. T1 would be already in the game. Like, look, he's like, yeah, T1 would end this so so much quicker. Okay. Oh! Oh! Wait, oh. wait. wait does he oh, think yeah. that Kingen has flash? Has no flash. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Aiming oh, limped. Aiming limped. They can end, they can end. Just hit. Just hit, just hit, just hit. Just hit. Oh. And GG. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. To the time. LPL. That was a good time. What's All happening right. in the LPL? Oh, ZDZ just oh. 1v1 scout or what? Oh, ZDZ is just... Dude, is ZDZ just a fucking beast or what? Oh, the damn. Guy that the, the shot at. Yep. Wow, well, scout. Blue trinket is so late. Ew. Scoot. Scoot. Wait, where are you watching? I'm on YouTube. What's your timer? Let me, let me see. Alright, I need to jump ahead. Maybe I just go on Twitch because usually it works. Yeah. Drake up in 30. Zeri pretty strong. Of this, and we're good. Alright, I'm synced. Wait, well, just 3 0. I mean, it's looking like that. Bro, ZDZ with the confidence, man. Like, he hadn't been playing much ADTF. I don't know if it was his first ADTF game, but he hadn't played it that much. Played ADTF in this series. Then ran the fucking Varus top. I'm pretty sure that's his first time. It's pretty fucking based, man. He's just hard pushing bot lane. He has no fucking TP at all. He's just hard sending it bot. Respect. Okay. All right, Gala. Hey, okay, Gala. Gala wants to win. Asian, Asian Lucian. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> it actually, does damage. <laughs> yeah. Redemption seems so broken, though. Oh. Wait, wait, knows. Oh, he's playing oh. again. Beast. Oh. ZDZ is just a psychopath, man. Yeah, like, what's, he, what's, what's this? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you're going gym now? Bro, I can't believe you missed game five. Genji already won. I won? Yeah. Bro, you you did you lose all your bets? Is that what you? Wait. Uh, I'm not. You did you lose everything? <laughs> you lost everything. Okay. All right. All right. Gilly's lost everything. Good. Nice. Nice. He, he, he said I'm down. <laughs> you want he to said I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> They're starting oh, it, bro. Sure. I don't know. I mean, ZDZ's is dead. I guess maybe. I guess we just zone the jungler. And they even zone the jungler. Oh, Ooh, okay. Close. Too close, man. We need to turn on light, no? Looks fine We're right now. Leaving him. Okay. We're they win the game Sweden. or what? Oh, the LNG is reverse sweeping, by the way. I'm feeling it, man. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a scoot, man. Damn. I, I want to know who fucking uh, played the Infinity Edge on Tristan, by the way. Oh, on, my uh, lord. Oh, oh, no, no, but in screams, who the fuck did it that they think it's better than Navore? This item is broken. <laughs> that was crazy, by the way. <laughs> like, like, are, are we joking? Navore is so OP, by the way. Like, on Tristana, you do yeah. one, uh, I mean, not 100% more damage on E, but close. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, it's crazy the damage. Oh, just oh, the, like, Bro, that was actually such a clean QE by Weiwei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was insane. In the face. The QE, like, like I mean, he, I thought that he had, like, hit the W, because we didn't see the vision. I thought he had hit the W, and that's why he was able to stun. Yeah. He actually just QE'd him. QE'd his face off. I thought he had vision somehow, like, he so fast. <laughs> hey, apparently SOFM is playing support in VCS, and he just beat Eagle by Marines. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he just may just get something as soon because I have the league of band and he just beat uh, Levi. Nice. <laughs> He's just the goat, I guess. No. And you got a pretty solid four man. What is Hank doing, by the way? Like, he didn't uh, watch DOS yesterday? <laughs> There's no Zuck Zuck? Yeah, there is no Zuck Zuck on Nami. I'll be honest, bro. I don't even think DOS watches DOS. Uh, and he, I think he just refuses to rewatch games, bro. Do <laughs> you think he watched this Camille game? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I think people will learn from it. <laughs> I think he's, I think Nami right now, as we speak, is Mexican cute. Well, that was such an exotic uh, Tristana build, because he went Kraken, Berserker Greaves, into Shieldbo. I was like, okay, he's going Shieldbo because he wants to farm side, and he believes that the enemy is not going to end, like, there's some tech here. But then he went fucking I. <laughs> yeah. I was in shock, dude. I mean, Shield of 3 is nothing new, to be fair. Shield of 3 or BT3, it's nothing new, but he went second in 2 like, what the fuck? Because I thought, oh, he buys Shield Bow, he can win side now against Graga, or whatever, yeah. he can, like, pressure. I, I thought maybe there's some something like that, you oh, know? Oh my god, the buffer, bro. Scout trusting the buffer, holy shit. That's a good twist, brother. Jesus. Yeah, like, Scout is going Shield Bow third, for example. Like third is fine after Navori, yeah. Navori is too broken. Oh, light? You have to Ooh. On the way way? Is oh, catch him? No flash? Oh, he has flash. Oh, wait, did he have no flash for a second? Couldn't tell. Oh, Can they kill him bot? Can they just chase bot? No, oh, they're fine. Well, they didn't they, even get they, the bot turret though. Yeah. I mean, they got the bot turret now. Did they get it? Oh, Nami got gold. I guess he hit it. Uh, actually, no, I think he was out of range. He was out of range for local. Like, even with the hit. It's actually worth dying for uh, to uh, um, get to the next Who's Silego? What? Oligo? I don't know. An ocean soul dragon. He's talking about Soligo? What? No. There's all the poke that's thrown. I have no idea. From the Talia, from the Zeri, from the Varus, and for Weibo Gaming, they're only two dragons away from actually taking that soul themselves. But again, light. Takes it's actually mental that Solution has ignited. Right? Through the wall. I love it, man. Uh, this guy. Uh, you think you should uh, play Clanzo? Insanely talented. Ulu, Sejuani, Varus. Talia. Uh, in recent history, that's yeah. really huge. This catch out. I mean, he has Michaels now, but uh, Michaels. You gotta remember that. Yeah, Michaels is giga late on Nami. I, I, I agree with you. Like, he has it now, but uh, still, 27 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably, like, 
I mean, he probably missed so many opportunities. How strong is this uh, Varus now? Absolutely, trying to take them out, same as way, way, right? Going all what does he have? Ginsu, Blade, what else? Terminus? Terminus? Time for come some tank item, so brother. It will be for Weibo Gaming. Alright, Q3. Oh, Brand nice. got it. Nice. Wait, tons of damage okay. from... Uh, handled. Zika. Too oh. fast, man. Maybe not? Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh God, Is it over? Bro, two carries to can they go bot? Control. Can they go bot? Damn! Can they just end bot? I think they can end bot. GG. I mean, I haven't, I haven't played so well this way, brother. Yeah. That was crazy. Out was one on Gala was one on Zika was one on Wei Wei. Yeah, Wei Wei played well as well. Damn, bro, we got a series. Okay. Did he do a lot? Because I, I, I thought I saw R jumping in and doing 4k damage. <laughs> The fucking the brand, one shot them and then Zika fucking Q3 too and sliced them with W and got out somehow with Ghost. Yeah, I was watching Scout as well. And <laughs> he was Pepper. Well. Could, could Scout jump twice? Uh, and did you do if you could jump twice? I didn't see no. no, no, no. Like at the Drake, so yeah. Let me see. Just in time to not miss this series. Blame easy. 14 minutes into the game, as well. I'm, I'm on Twitch, so I can't leave it. So, so go. worried. Oh, same. Every single <laughs> chance they had for a gang, it just didn't work. They tr yeah. like your brand was falling behind in CS. Your neutral objectives were not there. The dragons were going away to Weibo Gaming, but they brought it back. I feel like if you could like, even if you lose this series, just give a big fat medal. Uh. <sighs> Because yeah, this guy I'm gonna get some fresh up. I need to. Yeah, he called up. He called up. If you want. Yeah, same, same. Put else in it. Right, take a break. Same, same. Duck this ad, homies. Duck it. E oh, shit. E it. <laughs> That's what it says. Everything correct here? Now that was a intense game number three, and LMG staved themselves off for one more, but they have to continue that momentum. And Weibo have been here before. We'll see if they oh, can God. right the wrongs and not be cursed, as we'll get to game four shortly. I don't know if you saw it, but I link you if you want. Ah shit! Did you know if you're FK?
I'm back, guys. You saw the link, Yamato? All right, I'm so back. I just wanted another coffee real quick, boys. Oh, man. Label LNG. Out for Xiaohu. You see a link, Dom? What'd you say? You see the link on this guy? Maybe you can do something with it. Fucking games, Twitch. Holy shit. Pro views? Yeah, the only pro view I like watching is your pro view, Jizu. All, all the other pro views are just not as fun. Loyal. Bro, I am so down to be like done kind of early today, bro. The last days were killing me, bro. That, that yesterday LEC, that day fucking murdered me. Yeah, that was the worst day in two years. <laughs> that was the worst day in two years? Yeah, like I really like, I was, I was laughing instead of crying, I think. <laughs> you were laughing instead of crying. Like, it was so disgusting what we were watching, no? Yeah, what like, were we watching? So, so this mechanical disaster. <laughs> actual, actual mechanical disaster. There is not like a single play you can predict, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was a real disaster yesterday. I'm, I, all right, I'm telling you how this series is going to go. Now we get a Gala Kaisa. 
We get a Gala Kaisa in game four, LNG stomps, then we get a banger game five. That LNG somehow loses in the most pathetic, disgusting way possible. What does, what does Scout play? What is your prediction? This game? Yeah. A zero will probably be banned, right? I think Scout plays... Gal is Kaisa, what is Scout playing? Does he just default to, 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 to Leisha? Or maybe they go like a Maokai Jace. Maokai Jace? Yeah. It's something that LNG plays and they like it. For no reason. For no reason. You should know me. For no reason. <laughs> For zero reason. There is just no reason. That is like I actually named the for no reason in the West, and yeah. his name is uh, you. Sh he wrote like uh, you should know me the the acronym uh, for no reason. That is nice. <laughs> he has the name. Pretty crazy. Well, 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 we find ourselves in a very similar and maybe deja vu style situation here for Weibo Gaming, where now LNG have fought themselves back in game number three and pushed us to a game four. Weibo going up 2-0 early. I'm Mazel, I'm joined by Trouble, and what a game three it was. Scout said, no, you shall not pass. And he played Tristana pretty well. He's been trying for three games, okay? I feel like the reason he hasn't gotten MVP all three games is because the first two he just didn't win. But this time around, Scout was everywhere, man. He was dumping waves in the mid lane just to try and get towards the top side of the map to secure Void Grubs for his jungler. His jungler being 16 CS down. He's diving into other towers to try and get kills, pushes people out. Like, Scout Bro, this ward, he didn't see if they put a ward here. But that would have probably landed. I'm so, so, so yeah. happy. Oh, you almost flashed the Varzar. <laughs> Bro, the, the, the fucking QE was so impressive from Weiwei there. God damn. What a beast. I, I rarely go for that when I play Brand Jungle, by the way. Like, when I started playing Brand, I, I, I felt like you didn't really need to do that mechanic often. Again, if it's not, like, max range or, like, pretty decent range, it doesn't work. Yeah. But it's probably easier. I mean, I haven't played it since I've been in EU because I don't really like the champion anymore. But it could be easier in EU because I have like, you know, like 10 ping now where I had uh, 45, 50 ping in NA. But what is your ping from Italy? Pretty good, actually. It's like 18. Wait, really? Yeah, but I mean, the north, I think if you're in the south, uh, you get like... Uh, Okay, well, I actually don't I know what you get in the south, but when I used to play from my house, well, I started with like 130, 140, then it went to 80, 70, 60. Now I don't know. <laughs> but in the north, you get 10. Holy oh, shit, 10 ping, that's so insane. I like 18, but not 10. But I don't even know how that's possible, because like the, the servers are supposed to be in the Netherlands, right? Yeah. In Amsterdam? When I was in the Netherlands in 2019, I had I had 18 ping in in Amsterdam. I had 18 ping somehow. But now I have 11 ping in Berlin, which is like pretty far. Actually, let's watch them up. Uh, Italy, south. Yeah, exactly. It's the same as fucking Spain. Like, <laughs> like Spain is so shit connection. Like uh, Screams and Solo Q was like such a fucking uh, clown fiesta as well. Damn. Like, I was not enjoying my life, honestly. It was really hard. <laughs> like, yeah, the, I think the least you play Solo Q and Screams is better. <laughs> like, when you play LFL teams in Spain, who like, <laughs> Actually, good luck. Like, you just see it that uh, they see skills uh, better than you or whatever. And you cannot eat stuff. Not even coping, by the way. It's uh, very hard to play against uh, 8 ping when you have uh, 50, 60. <laughs> For them like to really, really happen to them best uh, in the IG series and honestly I have 16 in Amsterdam right now, there was time where I had one ping Bro, they should move the servers in
That's actually, what money means. so he wants to become four. Rumble's not guaranteed top. They've, they've, been, they've played it a little bit jungle. I think it's actually pretty decent and competitive. Rumble jungle. If, if there is power in the flex, it's pretty crazy, actually. And there's so much power in this flex, bro. Like, people yeah. will flex and support. Top jungle. Yeah. I mean, Rumble can actually go mid as well. Yeah, I mean, you could probably put it. I mean, you could probably play it with Senna, no? Senna Rumble, I think it would work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it would. I mean, people played it back. I mean, didn't your team play it? Your EG team play it back in the day? Uh, by the way, I saw that and I don't remember that game. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't remember that Rumble game. Nidalee, what the fuck? Nidalee for Weiwei, what the fuck is that? I mean, they're doing it because they think Zhao is just going to play... Um, Support of jungler every time. They think he's gonna play like Rel here. They just want to play something that can abuse it. Nah, Karma. I think is. I don't know. I don't really like Karma anymore. Mm, not sure. Not really liking LNG's draft though. Not sure actually. Did he just pick Karma because uh, there are so many mid bans that he doesn't know what to play? I mean, he saw Voriana up. On some more aggressive styles. Yeah, but if he picks Soriana, what does Scout play that he want to play against? They are gonna lock that Wait, I guess, line. maybe? I don't know, but I mean, that, I feel like the comp looks really TF weird mid. from... TF mid? Dude, I feel like LNG's comp is such ass, no? To be fair, no, okay, TF makes sense because of Nidalee. Like, it's free gold card into Spear. It does make sense. Like, he can go ID. I think he should go ID. Okay, I think he, he should go with it. I'm by static for Karma and no matter what. Play with Nidra. I think it's, it's fine actually. Who do you think wins? I mean, draft wise, of course, Blue Side wins. But I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I think too. Yeah. But if you see it later, if you, if you see it in your head, like TF, Nidra, Senna Poke, like they have stuff to play with. Yeah. Of, of course, uh, Blue Side is way easier to play, but. Uh, I, I don't even know if Nidra can invade. What, what what does he do? Like, I, if he full clears into invade later? Yeah. Have to see. He's got the sticks. He's the one that's gonna have to find the leads. Whereas Let's see scout. Did he repair? What does he go for? Scale heavy composition, but a lot of strength. I feel like if they can find the connection. I mean, AP uh, will be surely a leech bin if he goes AP, but I don't like it. That is a bar of it's fucking like. Makes it you also delay Farcan on Tutor Dadam. Yeah, I, I hate it every time I see it. It just looks like so weak. Like none of your spells do any damage. I don't feel like you get enough value from the Shirelias. I'm just not a huge fan. It's weak and you are going home because he has spam Q and you have no mana item. <laughs> Hello. Bro, Yo, what are we okay, watching here? That you're getting, what? Um, are they worth it? Are they high value? What, what is this 4 5 from both teams, bro? Uh, cooking. <laughs> I don't mind the 4 5 that much from, from Weibo. Yep, I don't know. Karma Viego. Yeah. So I guess Viego has answered into Nidalee makes sense. And Ghost. AD and Ghost. Holy shit. He wants to walk behind. <laughs> He's him. Hey, I'm scout. Oh, but this matchup is like, uh, it's only gonna be good if Nidalee supports him. Unless the show plays full passive, considering that. Like, this matchup is fucking horrible. For TF, he can get fucked so hard. <laughs> like, legit. <laughs> Unlinable. Uh, level 3 onward. Level 1 is still lose prior, but after is like, if he has no support, this karma is playing over the wave. That's Scott said. Oh, you want to pick Nidalee? You want to pick Nidalee after how he played? Okay, I'll play TF. Let's see if you get it. Okay, I'll help you. Oh, you want to play Nidalee? You want to be like this? Okay, I'll play TF. He just did the Jazuke. He's like, oh, Gillis is playing Nidalee again. Nice, bro. What do you do? Wait, the Jazuke. I don't know, bro. Didn't Gillis just run you down with Nidalee? Literally the point where ah that one <laughs> <to resort back. laughs> <True>. <laughs> but i didn't run down I only ran down yeah yeah no he ran it he ran it down but i'm saying if he goes again then you would just run it down you're too tilted <laughs> on stage ah, shit. on stage in the final ah oh, man <laughs> mm, yes mm, mm, game five mm, i'm coming what the fuck am i reading bro but why do you have to read that aloud in this voice? Because no, that's what they're saying, bro. Is that not what they're saying? Illness. What are you saying, man? 
<laughs> what like what else would they like how how else would they be saying that bro like what what voice do you think they're using uh, what would your voice be you about let me hear it uh, uh, this is something in german mm. game five <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> that's jesus that's even worse bro <laughs> oh my god god damn it's just cats in it Jesus. I don't see the comment. I denied it, bro. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the cum. Oh, no. I can watch the game. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What happened? Oh, then why is the sack becoming so homoerotic? Bro, we're about to meet up for the first time. We're about to have our first <laughs> sack meeting. The meetup. It's Pride Month soon, bro. We're rap ramping up. Let's fucking go. Ah, uh, then the fucking rumble went through. Yeah. Too many weapons, man. Way more. Always these teams, man, that make the runs. They build the weapons in these sloppy BO5s. Yep. They're building the weapons. No, I like ZDZ's had confidence in this playoffs, bro. I mean, he sees Crisp. He knows Crisp is here. I think Weiwei is actually going to kill him. False sense of security. Oh, my job is real. Yeah, they're like, oh, Crisp is on bot side. Bro, Weiwei is like taking the crumb in front of him. <laughs> and going bot. They know Wait, is he getting dove? Like, what's happening here? No, oh, they're going to... He's going to kill Nautilus. Oh, shit. Nautilus is just going to lose his entire face. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, good flash. That was insta flash, bro. Wait, we could have gone on lane though. Tam can't stop there. Doesn't help. Honestly, uh, after he after he took the plant, he should know that the is there. But he kind of has to go because if he takes a long route, yeah, then yeah, Zeli can just die. He it's has actually to not that bad for him to just waste flash to get back to the lane. Yeah, yeah. Flash over the wall at this point. Wait, this guy has no uh, TP. He's dead. He's dead I mean, he man. he knows he knows what uh, Jaha's here. Ah, we we here though. He can take oh, the yeah, shoes. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun actually. Yes, dealing oh. with this, this is fun. Yep. He can heal him one more oh, time. Oh, he missed the cannon though. Mm -hmm. I mean, the moment he took Q, it was a very low confidence. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he has to be his done. Gilius Gilly is done betting. He's, he said he's done with it. <laughs> he's given up. No, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make him bet on a UFC card the full. I wanna see how much do I win. <laughs> but I mean, not my money, but he will pay. He will, uh, but yeah. I want to see how much knowledge do I have. In before he makes like insane amount of money. Something else I want to check in is this top side as the grubbies. Do you see, by the way, with Kartos, uh, you can uh, take one void grab over the wall. Yeah. Trying to combat some of the poking available is Zika, but uh, they will still, even though he's getting pressed so heavily, get the grubbies. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm always scared when I see the Rumble team beats yet. Because if that goes south, if you end up. Yeah, it looks like it was a little dry base. Yeah. Honestly, with Rumble, you can get away with not basing. Like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can bolt anywhere else. Yeah, and then uh, you just hold the wave at 6. Uh, yeah. Reset tempo. And then you just buy tier 2 boots. Damage, I think. And then your oh champion God. is fucking broken. Scout is feeling it, by the way. No Mercury in this so game, only. Yeah. By Berserker Grids, let's go. If Karma comes to me, I'm a dead man. <laughs> He's not gonna come to me. We're gonna kill him first. <laughs> that, that's what he's thinking. On the wave? On the Drake? Wow, in LPL, they just... Dude, I noticed in LEC, bot lanes fucking hate hitting Drake, man. But, but I think this is the best way to do it, though. Like, they yep. froze and take it at the same time. This is actually yeah. such a good ult from ZDZ. He forces Zika ult and he gets uh, the wave reset at the same time. But now he's just hinting. I mean, flinch for wave is a good trade as well. It's a good... Oh, okay. Doesn't yeah. even flash. Like, okay. Atrox is losing CS at tower, so. That's yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, like, the way that he got his ult, like, he wants the ult so he can base. So he's, like, tempo ulting, and then he also got Zika's ult by placing part of it on him. Yeah. Zwiftness? Sorcerer? Okay, he went for Sorcerer. Yeah. Oh shit, what the fuck? Yeah, he was... I think he was just like holding guys, no? And uh, no magic? I guess the move speed is pretty OP. Okay. Is Atrox? Uh, kind of yeah. 
Uh, I mean, he was thinking about every boot. <laughs> he bought Swift and sold them by so itself. Next, he uh, buys Tabis. Honestly, it makes sense to go Sorks when you press Tab and you see that no one, like, Swiftness, yeah, no Mercs on TF, like. Yeah. Good for later for sure against Sanatev, Nidra. <laughs> they will have zero mark. Nearly oh, yeah. complete ego pick. Weiwei wants lost. Bro, it's just I mean, he was playing bitch champions at the beginning of the series. Didn't work out. Now he's like, I will play yeah, to carry. Ult back to mid, brother. Like, <laughs> I told you guys he can train, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's fucking him over so hard. The Senna came, healed him. Needle is gonna come, he's gonna heal him. <laughs> like, he can't train. I know, I know it. <laughs> oh! Now he can lane. I mean, he's gonna take this wave and ult back. That's all he can do. He's playing the whole TF experience. Everything is a gamble. Yeah. He has to back if he doesn't want to lose the wave. The house always wins, Jizuki. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if Nidalee shows mid instead of Golems, he's good as well. Because he's gonna ult on mid. Let's see. Nah, he's going Golems. And Karma is also thing is, he's gonna ult back to lane. Oh, wait. Jaha is actually in trouble. I was yeah, gonna say, I mean, he's gonna ult back to lane. And when he ults back to lane, he's gonna reveal Jaha top. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think many top laners don't ult to lane for some reason. But yes, think dude, like what the fuck are you doing? That's the whole point of the champion is that you can all back to lane. Like you just have TP on like lower. <laughs> I'm gonna lose wave and then I'm gonna keep my ult. I can inflict pressure. <laughs> yeah, they're like I can ult mid. But like even the way I heard people talking about it, they're like I, I forgot who it was in an interview. They're like, oh, the point of like every TF is that they can just ult mid. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Over X Drinker. <laughs> he was one shot him. Yep. X Drinker is a good item. No TP. Oh man, if he can cancel base and get oh. the wave with ult, yeah, oh, never mind. It was not him. It was about to ult if he sees him, yeah. Mm -hmm. He can choose to equalize the wave right here even if he wants to. He can take two platings here, by the way. It's Rumble with passive up. Does he have void groups? Uh, no, 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 he doesn't. One plating then, or base for tempo, you can choose. Yeah, one plating. He's gonna yeah, I think one plating us. is fine, because he has his ult up, so he can base whenever. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's in time. Okay, cool. Well played. I mean, Tiff is really out. <laughs> Tiff is really out of the lane now. Like, he survived. Yeah. So, like, he's gonna have static soon. That is gonna help be clear. Then Farhana and he's online. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Hey, man. Chill out. Holy shit. Okay. You know, the, they're not showing gold difference, but it's like I had the 700. Not, no, okay, not 500 because he has one pleading. I think LNG is really trolling. Like, I would, I would just open both with them and like just defend mid as three. Yeah. Like, we are not contesting these void grabs against enemy composition at this point. Like, I mean, rumble. Or, or I just Thanos open, here. open with TF on both. Like, just someone go both and push. Like, we, we're not fucking fighting this. I press tab. I see my Aatrox. LNG is. Oh, do you want to lose the game here? Okay. Yeah, okay, lose the game if you want to lose the game. I mean, farm wise is good for TF because TF is farming and Tamis not. And Zed is farming on the other side. I'm looking for okay. There is no way, right? No, Ghost is balanced, I think. Okay, it's winnable. Oh. Wow, balanced. they make it work. Oh my lord. No LPL way, they win this. Man, is wow. There is no way this worked out, right? Yeah. If you see any L LEC team doing this, you're like, they're just inters. 101%. But LPL does it. That's the best fight in history. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't Ghost know. Carry the whole fight. Yeah, but all these start like Senna, Senna uh, W or what? Like he kicks out, Ghosts forward, threw a card, and then Senna W flew. Yep. Mm. Just one shot, Jaha. The crisp wasn't like and, that involved and, and in not, it. It's kind of weird. I, I think not queued out with Senna W to root his whole team. Did he? Okay, Wait, let's see. The gold card is so. I know that. Did he just. Bro, he's so far. What is this? Okay. He's Look at the Senna W. Oh, oh no, it's Viego. It's Viego. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Good luck in esports. Yeah. Bro, this needle is, is fat now. He's gonna heal his friends for um, 500. And then they follow up with <laughs> my chat classic LPL reverse sweep match fixing. 
<laughs> is everyone on the bad so fucking funny. In your chat or no? No, but everyone says ironic like. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't yeah, yeah. that again. <laughs> yeah, my chat like has a mix of just people say, like half the chat says it seriously and the other half just memes the half of the chat that says it seriously. <laughs> yeah, there's half my chat that legitimately just is like, and how can you deny that it's fixed? They have six grubs with the twist of fat. Yep. That's what I'm getting when I. Fat, is fat. That's what I'm getting from living with Gilius. I'm getting the twisted fat. Holy. You know, guys, at the beginning of the split, everyone has to like go to Dom's daughter's wedding and we just beg him to win the split. <laughs> Whenever my the best daughter's offering. wedding, bro. I'm the godfather. Or what? <laughs> yeah, on the do day of Tom's daughter's wedding, you have to go and ask, "Can I please win the split?" And then, depending on the offering, he rigs it to the team. Yep. And she will say, "You will dominate." <laughs> I'm match fix the entire thing. <laughs> you will dominate. Uh, you, you go to bed, and then depending on what you, what item you wake up with the next morning, you will know. <laughs> I got a horse head. I love this. Oh, his son is playing. He's gonna find out really soon that he cannot be walking First with uh, Yev because he can't uh, farm. And now with the Edrox. Got free platings, free stacks on, uh, 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 on her item. Bro, they just made 1k gold. <laughs> yeah, like look, and he's got both platings with six voids. All of this, by the way. <laughs> they have six voids. Like Bro, it's crazy now, like going into, like, if, if LG closes out going into game five, now it's like, do we leave up the Rumble again? Because Rumble had been banned the entire series. They talk about one to one. They don't even have a teleport mm. on their top lane. And the kill pressure has been completely. That's so tough to win back to back games if I can lose sight. Even yeah. level right now with Zika. Zika gets that hex trigger, he's gonna have his items, so... Oh my god, Zeri has no plans, by the way. And they have no super they can buy Michaels. He needs a QSS somehow, somewhere after. No cleanse against CTF needle. Oh my god, he's getting one shot. Yep. <laughs> he's actually getting one shot. Bro, I don't think he can afford Like, with the game state, if he... Yeah, he's gonna have it, like, yeah. later, maybe, if somehow they get gold. After two items or three. Nah, they just have to block the Nelly spell when she gets gold card. Shit, that will hurt as well. That will hurt. Level 11 on Rumble, it looks like they want to fight. Weibo. In Malignance, level 11 on Rumble, Static Shiv, like, they feel like they're losing if they don't fight this. Oh, Ang is basing the one of it too. Oh, never mind. He cancels his base. Okay, really. uh, they're getting so much bot karma as a TP, you know? But they're gonna dive. Scout's gonna dive the karma when she TPs. I mean, TF should stay mid and decide to go mid or top. I mean, top or bot, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ZDZ is just gonna walk. They just kill him, no? What is TF doing? He's taking crab? I guess he's taking crab, okay. But why? Just push mid. He's Gangnam styling in the river. Okay, now he's going to get bot like that. He's the full thing, I guess. Yeah. Do they have damage to just kill him like that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know, but he's going. What the fuck? Okay, then I, st I even more don't understand this play. Just fucking ult instead of grab and get the tower. Like, all bot and just take the tower. No joke. The crumble was so far. They could have pushed faster and get the tower for themselves. Ah, but they're not in a rush, no? It's good to keep ult. But I agree that they should just push the mid wave. There's no reason I mean, they, to give that to Nidalee. They did, they traded for nothing now though. Like they got free herald and everything. They actually got nothing. Like Tam was basing yeah. and then he stopped, uh, pushed. TF is like fucking taking crab. I think they just don't want to use much before this third Drake fight. We're gonna be getting to a point where Weibo can feel a little Ooh, bit more not much though, no? Especially if you get Fire Cannon for the Drake fight. Yeah, if he gets Fire Cannon from it, then he should do it. Fire Cannon is so OP. Yeah, only, only midwave, not taking midwave, I think, was and just we'll a troll part. Yeah, I mean, it has, has to be midwave into rotate, or before the midwave is even there, like you got the wave before that. He will spot and play for tower. Oh, he's getting it, though. Yeah, passive, he's getting passive it. Passive works? Passive works on turret? <laughs> no way. He got one gold extra from the turret. Because <laughs> he lasted it. The house always wins. Yeah, I was, I was fighting us? Uh, TF, is, TF is hitting. Ah, this don't is fine. 
Yeah, don't fight. He was hitting. He Bro, he's hit. getting into two, man. Six voids. He's getting into two. No, never mind. He's going back. He needs to base so if they want to fight. Oh, he's still not basing, okay? Oh, I like Weiwei's position. Oh, Weiwei's yeah. going for Rumble. Ooh, Weiwei's going for Rumble. Weiwei! Oh, never mind. Oh, Light has no... Uh... Yeah, no, Light has no Flash. No E. Oh, oh wait. Oli. Oli, so no... Oh. Wow. I mean, well played, I guess. Yep. <sighs> Free Drake, I guess. I mean, but why didn't he say? He still see that there was a wave. He can eat tower. I think he wasn't sure of the timing of when they collapsed on the one bot and he just wanted to yeah, engage with his team. Yeah, he had vision everywhere, that's why. But, uh, they're gonna try to force this? Like, what are they doing? Did he? Isn't that the blue? Like, someone just blue trinketed that, no? I don't make crazy. I don't know, do we go top? What do we do here if we're... Nah, they can do anything on the They actually can't do anything. From base, they will recover, right? I don't know, dude, the scout has 2,000 gold in his inventory. Yeah, he's got so much gold, bro. I think he was selling his Doran Blade and buying Farcana, but now he's not. He's just buying Farcana. Man. They're playing with his tempo so much. Stop this base. They're trying to dive this guy? Oh, that's a T. That's a Tom um, Kench. They thought it was Aatrox. <laughs> they were hoping it was Aatrox. Like, unlucky. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> it's so sad that Scout didn't base yet. Like, it's been so long. I thought I was like thinking maybe he can just walk straight on bot because they're fast because of grubs. But... Oh my god, he's got a, a <laughs> recurve as well. He's so rich. Yeah, uh, he's bank cracking. Base. He's bank nice, cracking. Nice. Yeah. He wants to win the game. Bro, Senna has a lot of souls, no? Is this I mean, like an 80 soul? I don't know, let me just look at the... Oh, 70. 71. Okay. Uh, let me just look at the overlay real quick. <laughs> to determine how many oh, souls she has. She has a fleet footwork. Who? Gala's fleet footwork. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I'm... I mean, the moment that they didn't uh, do anything early on mid, I think it's over actually. Like, this TF is free scaling. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. With this matchup, he's like so winning. I don't know why Scout was the only one getting help and Shao didn't get anything. Like, only one dive try level 4. I, I think I think when they lock uh, Zeri, I don't think Zeri Nautilus is super winning against Sanatam. Like, Sanatam is a strong lane. I thought, I thought they were gonna like play Kalista, but a lot of teams don't like Kalista anymore without Renata. Yeah. Now also Banshee's bail for Weiwei. Yeah, I don't know what you play here. Like, I think you need to play something that can kill Tom Kench. Kaisa and Out is unplayable into them. AD little tempo. Not sure. Like, like you can probably play, but you're not winning. Like Senna Tam is a strong lane. I, I think if you want to win, you have to play Kalissa. Okay, go on. Have you ever learned about it? No, so, so you know what? I've you... never met a cougar in the wild, and uh, I don't really, mm. I don't really want to. But please, let you me kind know. of, you kind of lose the plot. Like people play, you have to face them. like that. The whole point was that you play Nautilus. Oh, Kalista now who's getting one shot? Yeah, yes, Mercury's by the way. Yes, Mercury's, and he's getting one shot. Oh my God! Okay. I hope Chris knows. Yeah, he just said it's a good idea, bro. He knows the hitbox. Size <laughs> perfectly. Imagine he died, it will be so interesting. Do LPL now to go crown? Or is it just the first time to visit? Well, uh, the Nautilus? No, it's, it's not uncommon. Yeah, it's always. Okay, okay. They're gonna try to fight here? Oh, Jaha is trading. Bro, it's so good they even got blood someone on like. game, it feels like without that pressure in the top lane, they just literally This guy is the, 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 the poorest Nautilus on the planet. Bro, I'm just surprised that they've never taken a fight. Like Weibo with Nautilus, Zeri, Viego, Rubble. Like yeah, you'd think that they would like try to fight. But... They're never in there, just getting picked apart, no? Like, the, the reason I was surprised about the 4 5, like with the Nidley, I, I thought that the Rel was just gonna get picked. <laughs> By either side, yeah. I thought they were gonna go rel on four into mage on five, but they cooked up Nidli TF. Viego, I understand against Nidli, but I thought I thought Jao was gonna play just fucking play Jace for the sake of the comp with uh, with something like rel. 
However, you have a town of Kent that's going to be playing. Silent G Drive reminds me of uh, Top Esports 2020. Or actually, it was might have been fucking. It was that game they played knocked in middle to TF. It was like a night played against Chovy actually. <laughs> but Jackie Love was the center. ADG as well when they won Wars they played a complex this one. I have some memory of Scout TF. Actually, maybe it's the team. You definitely yeah. do not want to be walking into <laughs> <laughs> Scout. He has 1,030 gold from passive. Uh, look at, it looks so good by the TFP. Like, look at that. It looks so good, I swear. The damage is like overflowing as we, as we speak. <laughs> overflowing Baron? <laughs> Itrox is knocking on your fucking door, man. But they don't have damage at all, do they? You TP behind, no? Oh, it is in the front. Z is the one tanking? They're fucked. Bro, Rumble is dead. <laughs> they are fucking dead, no? Oh. Uh, I mean, they have so much time. Scout is ghost. Scout is ghost. Oh, it's GG. Oh, it's coming. Oh, hey. oh, oh Jao Jao Hao, what the hell? Do you see the Nautook, actually? He predicted yeah. Scout flashing, but he didn't flash. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, it's a uh, FF. I think. I think they've yeah. FF. I mean, I think they FF with the Zerbik plus uh, not the Trento symbol karma. This karma was. Bro, I didn't. I didn't like the LNG draft though, to be honest. Yeah. I think the Zerbik is just a weird pairing. Well, I looked I mean, at draft. I thought it was gonna be Weibo favored. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I think that's well, right? I yeah. They're winning top, they're winning mid, this matchup is unplayable. <laughs> I have to say though, this fucking uh, fight on second grubs, that was yeah. crazy. Like how, how, how LNG just... Uh, yeah, this one. It just fucking lost, how did they win the fight? <laughs> like, they found one fight in 100 that works to win that. Yeah. Look out, <laughs> he predicted his flash. Oh, the flash in from Zhao, oh my god. I mean, there's nothing he can do, he's dead anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, outskill, no? I want, I want Galakai's to game 5. That's all I want. Scout is just so good. Oh my goodness. The TF pick coming in against Xiaohu. AD or AD. Uh, whatever he wants, bro. It's Gala. He likes AD more generally, though. No, no, like AP and talking Gains and stuff. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, the Gains and static version. So, like, uh, still AP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On it, but, uh, yeah, I think he yeah. just likes AD Kaisa more. Like, when everyone was playing AP Kaisa last year, when it was, like, considered super broken, he always played AD. Yeah, he did the clip on Nashor, I yep. remember. <laughs> Oof. Can't contain it. It was roller skating. They do have a bunch roller of skating, actually. I'll give them that. Zeri is pretty good. Karma's pretty good. You can throw down the. Bro, wait, wait, just gonna go on carry picks and win or what? To push out a wave. That will give LNG. Uh, this this felt like a very vintage LNG game, man. Yep. Super slow. He is tanky. He's gonna have to burn his flash. Just tearing the enemy apart. Clinical fights. Crisp is dead as hell. Holy, that E range through the wall is so long. Oh, Zika. insane, insane, insane. Oh, nice, nice, nice. GG. Heading the fence, bye. <laughs> oh, okay, scout. All right, relax, oh, buddy. He's feeling it. Oh, oh. wait. We, uh, we, uh, we've talked, brothers. Okay. <laughs> All right. Br brothers. Bro. The whole, whole world stopped believing in scout just because he was an MVP of the regular split. Don't I think it's because he ran it down so many games, I'll be honest. He ramps up, man. He gets to do a little vacation in the first half of the split. Same with Jahu, to be honest. They both vacationed hard. Man. He was bored. Well, last year, Knight was vacationing a little bit. Kanavi too, like, they were chilling. Yep. <laughs> Just make playoffs and make it exciting. <laughs> Maybe that is the way. Dumb mental boom during the split. And he plays you go all in. Yeah. That's the top of way. Just join a team before playoffs. <laughs> he joins every team in March. <laughs> he chose okay, the wrong I'm team this time. <laughs> He's like in Hawaii or something, and then, okay, I'm ready to work now. <laughs> Actually, it's a win-win. Now, they have a little bit of time off, and he's still getting paid. By anyone's legends. Actually, I didn't see you. Oh, and I love the fact that Scout...
I don't know. The Agilius is decided to close stream when there's two game five <laughs> best of fives. Oh, GA, okay. We go on Golin. Weibo Gaming very, very soon as a 14,000 gold lead. LNG is literally knocking Open on the mid. front door whilst they're okay. waiting <laughs> in the brush on the neighbor's garden. It's the one. Can you guys end? Go next. Very safely over there. They don't end up finding him. They'll lose an inhib in mid lane. So top and mid cracked. And Weibo struggling to keep up their defenses here. And Zika will start the work on the final remaining lane. Gillis is an emotional better. I mean, most people are losing a lot of bets in the last um, two days. So it's just like his. I think the problem wasn't that Gillius was like bad at betting. I think the problem was his bet sizing was like really fucked up. Like if you have 700 bucks in your account, you can't bet 400 on like SK win, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no way. Oh no. Yeah, you know, like you have to like. I think it's not a bad bet. Like I, I would go for SK win too. Like. Oh, 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 he's ulting bang, you know? Okay. That full flanking. Okay, he got the tower. It's me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my god, how sad is that, bro? <laughs> how sad is that? They got turbo fisted in this one. Wow. Our scout is cold today, man. Scout is cold. Yeah. He looks like a, he looks like a leader today. Even in the two losses, man, he wanted to win, man. Yeah, the Azir game, I saw it a bit. Fucking still killing left and right. One almost killing TD as well. <laughs> why, why is Don't Not match, fix, match Fixing for his friend, Gilius? What do you mean? I am. <laughs> I run this shit. Oh, I match fix for Sosa's only. <laughs> and now I don't actually have to take down the stream to play Sosa. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe it. It's time. Oh, you have two OBS clients? No, no, no. I found a way to do it. Well, by founding a way, I asked Joe and he modified. Like, there's some way you can do it. You modify the encoder to be non-OBS and core audio AAC, and then you can split the audio mixer for certain things. I'm happy or I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, it's time, boys. And YouTube chat doesn't have to leave. They just can't hear Sosa. Man, I can't believe it's been years. Year three of Chief Keef, bro.
Time for a game five. It's time for a game five. I'm gonna play the ads now. Damn. Fucking Sosa, bro. It's time. Dude, we've been getting a lot of game fives. Wait, so this is what? The third game five? Out of four series? We had game five yesterday with Rookie taking it home. We had game five today with Weibo LNG. We had game five the first day with IG Weibo. Holy fuck. It's time, boys. It's fucking time. I'm expecting a banger. I'm expecting a, a, a scrappy game five. I want to see Gala Kaisa. I want to see him do his thing. <laughs> The Niski package play. Yeah, no, nah, this was tough. But you know what, what's actually fucked up? Hope the more I thought about Wonder top, said, so it, it is actually more fucked up for what, like, Exekick did <laughs> than what Niski did, even though Niski's play looks worse. Like, obviously, like, he's trying to, like, ult here to cut them off, package over the wall, and then, like, play from here, and they're going to try to cut him off. It's not a good play, but, like, there's some type of vision. Exekick, like, gets jealous, bro. He's like, I'm normally the guy on the team that sprints it. He just dashes forward directly in to wonder. God damn, bro. Absolutely mental. Absolutely fucking mental. I can't believe that shit happened. I could not believe my eyes. Oh no, we're keeping that muted for sure, bro. We are keeping that muted absolutely for sure. VKE versus Gam Pentakill in the playoffs? Wait, they play best of threes in playoffs in VCS? What the hell? When it says 18 plus, what is that? Is that gambling or drinking or what is that? An Ash Penta? Damn, Shogun. Okay, it's Shogun and Kati. Holy hell. I remember these guys. I didn't know there was best of threes in playoffs. I didn't even know any region did best of threes in playoffs. Besides for like LEC, I guess, but it's not like really playoffs. Yet, they just call it playoffs now to make it more consistent with other regions. Shogun SOFM is an unexpected timeline. I liked SOFM as a player. I mean, he definitely fell off towards the end in LPL, but he was always just creative. I like players that have a different take on the game than everyone else. That's actually the player that um, Inspired was the biggest fan of. Like when I did the cracked out with him back in the day, he thought SOFM was just the best jungler. Oh, this guy was so good. If I offered you $2,500 every week and all you had to do was stream for a minimum of four hours a day, would you take it? I mean, of course, everyone would. Probably. Hell is this discussion? Winner of this best of five gets to play against JDG. Yep. Winner of this plays JDG. 
And then when I unmute, I get to hear silver scrapes while the casters are talking for the next 50 minutes. How it goes. Was Gillius better at the game when he had bitch tits? No, he said he was worse at the game when he had bitch tits, but he's like an except bro, Gillius is different. We all know Gillius is different. But I think generally, like, this is a theory that is is correct, that League of Legends skill resides in the fat cells of the human body. The more fat cells you have, the better you are at League. Will there be a pentakill this game? Yeah, there's going to be a pentakill 100%, bro. The fix is in, bro. I've got you. Look at Chovy. Chovy's becoming fatter and he's becoming better at the game. Like, I wonder what Faker actually weighed when he first started compared to now. I bet you he's a little bit heavier now. Fat rookie was the goat. It is what it is. Welcome back, everyone, to the LPL Spring Playoffs Round Two. Of course, God damn, we have to hear it in the back here. Again, especially when we're talking about Weibo. That is gonna be another five-game series, three in a row in the LPL Playoffs. I'm Mazel. I'm joined by Trouble, and what a way to get here. Three and four, those games. That is not Weibo's safety territory. They they don't like those games. However, however. If we take it from Monday's games, hey, they did win the series. They it did. just took them game five, five was games. Okay. Just three, four, nah. <laughs> exactly. They, they just won. Updates four. on global playoffs. Go to O, then you throw two. Then I can't say they threw. I think LNG have been playing great. The man on your mm. screen right here. He has been freed, ladies and gents. He has been freed. No more shackles. On okay. No more. No shackles more. On Rel duty. Game number three, great and now the Maokai is banned. Jahao is no longer playing like a human. Cake, a quick little triple kill in the early game. Completely, absolutely unchained Weiwei in this game. Yeah. Unchained Weiwei. Truly woken up. They've started playing to their playstyle strengths, especially seeing Scout actually opt into a, a stronger early game once they got a lot of pressure there to help a lot of the scaling along for them. But it truly was Weiwei just being extremely active on the map. And that's what we saw IG do well against Weibo that set Weibo back a couple games. Was that early proactivity against Xiao Hao. And they found a ticket into that. And now it's about, uh, about how Weibo find uh, side lane pressure. Because that's where their best moments are. And we haven't seen that in a couple games. Yeah. Can you shut the music, man? Break. Uh a Weibo game and in the very early it feels like they can't necessarily find a way yes into it. And I, I like can big but I won't do it because I hate you that. and I'm trying to piss you off that's why I feel like it's such a pivotal part uh we talked about this a lot last year with the shy such a huge uh break point Bro, I think my climb on EU is dead I've played one game in the last four days I just have no desire to play EU low master do we just leave it do we just leave the climb 49 14 78 percent win rate do we just call it here oh my god why do they keep on playing it man then it becomes so difficult for you to play the game that you've actually envisioned. And I just want to see Weibo Gaming going back to game one and game two. Well, why do they just like play it super loud and then just mute? Like what the fuck is going on? That's what makes you shine. Zero kills going over feels really bad. But a game five on the line with some big names on either side. Another historical fact that... Or quitter. I mean, I just don't think I have enough time. Like I've played how many games? So I've been here almost a month and I've played 63 games. I mean, there's just no way I can get Challenger unless I play another 100 games, at least. I mean, I'm, like, maybe if I run good, it could be less than that, but, like, yeah. 
feels like LNG have warmed up. I feel like Scout was warmed up throughout the entirety oh, yeah. of this series, but then the entirety of LNG like actually woke up and is matching him in terms of energy right now. So I feel like if LNG are already on that trajectory, it's going to be so difficult to shut them down. And you have to remember these 10 players, the staff behind them, this could be your last game until summer. Everything's on the line. That guardian angel still steps away in these playoffs. And it's so important to keep that momentum going in what is just a gauntlet back and back and back and forth with games. And I, I think that's what Weibo led with so strongly. I, I think they used a lot of that momentum from the IG series to win those two first games. A lot of the lessons learned from those series. But now LNG are in their comfort zone. As you said, Weiwei is unlocked. Scout has been playing good the entire time. Finally, uh, everything's rising to the moment for LNG. Yeah, Weibo Gaming need to find a way again to play that one for one composition that they've been shining on. Uh, I'm guessing that this time around, they're going to be the ones picking the side. I would say go red. You were forced to play red. Wait, the Skarna rework is actually live? Number one and number is it? Two, and I feel like their draft really reflected so well in whatever LNG was throwing their way. They were counterpicking them. They had stronger lanes. They had the stronger push. They had the stronger priority. They had the stronger matchups. Is the screaming guy giving you a show today? Oh, the screaming guy? No, he hasn't been out today, bro. But he normally like starts screaming around like dinner time, bro. He's, he gets his dinner and then he just starts belting. Is Azir going to come back? Does LNG feel like, you know, he played well at the Azir those first two games, but the rest of the team couldn't rise to the occasion. Maybe now is the time to pick it back up. And uh, you wonder what those draft priorities are going to lie towards. The ZDZ Rumble didn't work out last time. We've seen some. Damn, I kind of want to play Skarner. Bans the Maokai towards Shao Hao. But now does Weiwei feel confident enough to let that open and some of that utility go his way? Because I, I think Shao Hao has consistently been playing a lot more facilitation. He was known for some skirmish heavy jungle matchups and things like that, but a lot of uh, the recent success of Weibo and a lot of the early setup for them has been through his facilitation. And I feel like if they're gonna play this game in general from the side of LNG, like freeing Weibo to play a little bit more uh, aggressive matchups, also loving the fact that Weibo went red side, we talked about uh, mm -hmm. why just a second ago. I'd like to see Xiao Hao play something like Graves. Okay. Rumble out for LNG. Wait, they just beat ZDZ's Rumble, but they want to take it out because they think that it's probably going to be better pick for um, ZDZ on red side. Also, maybe they could flex as a support. Can Weibo win this game? Absolutely, bro. Why not? Maokai out. Okay. Rel is still up. Varus is up. Probably first pick Varus for Gala, no? Trasada, okay, they first pick Trasada. Versus Jahu, it makes sense, actually. What does Jahu want to play into Trasada? He played Talia last time. Whoops. Why the fuck is it not clicking my camera, bro? It's so annoying. Just a reminder, Scout played Trasada over in game number three, together with Bran in jungle, and they absolutely demolished when it came to those team fights and we said how strong Weibo Gaming is at figuring out ways to play for their side lane loving the Talia reply right here I feel like it suits Jahu nah very, not very Senna well. loving the virus too because it can be a very stable pick in terms Senna of for Gala in game five bro really and that's how Senna for Gala in game so five for Weibo. now that Talia I love for Shaohu, but uh, I don't know, man. He gets pressured. We'll see if he can even get out of it. He played it in game four. Okay. One. Okay, they're going to go with that. Safe I guess, scale. man. I guess. Bot side. It's gonna be the I just hate that Gala doesn't have agency on this team, really. What is LNG going to play as jungle? Or is gonna, I mean, Brand is going to be banned. They're probably just going to ban Brand in Italy, honestly. Even if the champs aren't great here. Whether they're gonna pull out the Nili again or whether they're gonna resort to something like a brand, it's Crips team fight for me. Somebody has I think to you just ban both, no? and play the tank engage, and it's most likely gonna have force to him to play something like Lilia. So my, I am expecting you go Rel here heavy band, so was things like for like Wave on three. I would love to see the I mean, Rel is pretty. I mean, Rel support people play it into uh, Tom Kench. It's no problem. Rel Q has, Q has shield break on it. 
They're going Rakan instead. Okay, I can see that. Rakan is also pretty decent into Tom Kench. Where's Rakan? They probably just ban Nidalee Brand, I would assume. Just ban both. Just lost to both. They want an AP jungler. Again, no tanks from neither team right now you just have a Tam Kent on the side of LNG but Ivern so Ivern means fight. that Jaha is Ivern going to pick Rel or what uh, game number three as well double marksman um he does really really or well. does Jaha uh, want to pick Volibear or something so something so kind of part, aggressive I'm looking over the side of the LNG and I'm like are you banning things like the Cassandra Rek'Sai is open yeah I mean I think Rek'Sai would be a LNG ban here probably safely pick them on the red side Juani, okay. Curious too, also taking away the Ivern, something we also saw earlier. The Sejuani ban. I mean, it's not that good of a Nidalee game. Maybe they just leave the Nidalee up. Pretty strong. Ban Brand, or maybe they just leave both up and they just don't give a fuck. Junglers actually get more bans here in the second phase, or if they're actually going to try to focus in on that top lane matchup, which like Rexai is generally a better like red side pick here. But Weibo bans it because I guess ZDZ just doesn't play it. I'm looking to see especially what is going to be the jungle matchup because there haven't necessarily been any proactive junglers banned so far. They know that Shaha really likes Malkas and Juani both being banned out from different sides. So is, it, is Zika just going to play like Renekton? Is it just going to be like brand Renekton here? Like what's the play? That can match potentially something that Weibo is going to pull through. So I'm expecting here a very safe... Rel Aatrox for Weibo. Like the order, like the Cassante ZDZ has been playing a lot of and then potentially a counter pick when it comes to jungle. Jiao Zin. Zin versus two ADs. It makes sense. So Jiao has one of his counter picks from regular season. Also just a lot of space and tools available for him. I mean, they could renect it Italy if they want to. Still, though, is the lack of going Cassante instead. All right. That we have seen be so ridiculously strong in this series. There is the Cassante. Thought it might be Brand Renekton, but it's Brand Cassante instead. They feel like they want a, more of a tank. Could be Renekton here, or is Aatrox better? I feel like Aatrox might just be better. Aatrox into a bunch of squishy champions. Can You can one-shot them. He's deciding right now between Renekton and Aatrox. Uh, his lane, the crocodile has been hovered one too many times, and I feel like it is most likely going to be the case. However, all right, let's see, let's see. It. I'm not very sold so far. I will. Uh, what Weibo Gaming has over on the red side in game number one and number two. We unmute the boys, the and we'll get into it. Like, wow, Weibo Gaming, great lanes right here. Damn, what do you, you think, Jizu? Stana with priority mid lane. You've got mm. a very stable top lane pick in the likes of Cassandra. But, but hey, in LPL is normal to first pick Tristana over everything Brad, with Talia, Orianna, everything over. Uh, just, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, this is the first games on 14-6. I'm not sure if it's just because of Xiaohu, to be honest. Because I, mean, I don't think it was like that in the last series. But it's because like the Tristana win rate in LPL is crazy high. It's like winning every game. Yeah, like if you get over the lane, or if you keep fighting, of really course, it's cool super that, uh, I still talk to LNG or just decide to come at like, me, try to do something early. Win, if you man. let us go so late, maybe they will win this game. We a jungle around Q3 is like, uh, and that has been the story of Weibo so far. They have had struggling jump. times to close out series. They have gone five games Hello? in a row in Yo. two series. Last time around, they were able to close it out. You saw the integrity around the Victorian and they play purely for mid or something. I don't know. Absolutely, and of course, playing champions that they know they have so already they're playing Talia. What is with jungler playing? in this Talia. Zinzo. Yeah. Every single champion it's kind of goofy. They've won a game with in this Our enemy picks Senna so and LNG, the best you have to offer yeah, is Rakan. Yeah. yeah, I thought they were going to go Rel here, to be honest. I like Rel Varus into Senna Tom. I really like this. I think you can actually just kill the Tom Kench like pretty easy. Picked up along this road to a five oh, six. game series. I think Varus actually just on shits to on Tom Kench generally. In this gauntlet, yeah. in JDG. I thought he was about to play like Blitz or Bard, but to be fair, like Chris Brackard is fucking good. Like what he did in game five in the last series they played was mental. Yeah. Yeah. He did one of the like most insane Rakan angles I've ever seen actually. LNG banned Rumble actually. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, they got sent on blue somehow. 
Like, we're able to cred. Yeah. We're able to cred so they can counterpick Kisante with Renekton R5. Nice. Now turn and it's like you paired it with Zinzo, so it's a bit goofy, like. Yeah. Have had a now this fucking so guy is going a thorn mail top. Finishing strong, their last five series going very well for them. Weibo, I feel like struggled a lot towards the beginning of the split, but turning it around as time. I like the TF four four five one because uh, it's a totally good jungle and TF four four mid. Yeah, mid against Krista. Led to be one of the best side laning teams. They still banned it for five with Alessio showing that was good. <laughs> Bro, the bad tier for top is out of land. Me, <laughs> now joining the LPL is the caliber of players. Wait, the yeah, MS uh, are number six see the teams? number seven in the playoffs. Yes, yes, blue side band tier. In both of them. <laughs> it's absolutely mind blowing. Oh, yeah, okay. There's I missed the, the, miss the swap to the teams. I thought, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I, I thought the right one was. Yeah, 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 I thought the right one was uh, Talia with scout. But yeah, never mind. But it would have been funny to if it was that way. Early on in the series, they hadn't performed due to like this, but they hadn't showed up. They've been so JDG is just gonna roll whoever wins this into a fucking blunt or what? For scouts, he has Unless they pull a Genji. Oh my God! Good and here he goes again, taking a big chunk off of Shadow. Unluckily, he was on cooldown for one second. He zoned the melee, bro. Yeah. Oh. 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 Wait, Jahu is completely fucked here, no? Some might say the game's already over. He's completely Mitra's fucked, isn't he just dead? Yeah, five, I mean, he fucked up in level one. Like, yeah. Jump, 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 jump. He, he really wants, wants to, like, get him with the E as well. He doesn't want to just jump in the two hours. Yeah. Because then, Tyler can walk up. That likes I think they're keeping like this. They like to be active around that 25, 30. I thought he had an angle. That's where they found a lot of success. They've been like he had followers. for uh, two autos without uh, the better. So can uh, w proc. So he doesn't <laughs> get the jump back. Wait, Dom, how is the side selection <laughs> system? Just loser picks. Into a lane, there used to be uh, they, round they one thing. Before. What did you say? Down in the bot lane, which one light it's a loser for sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. And it also it used to be that in round one, the winner, the first seed, higher seed, chooses three games of their choice for side, so they can go first three games all blue. Huge, and we have seen how pivotal oh, okay. Crisp's yeah. performance is for Weibo gaming. Game well, I didn't see the word here. Was just lying. What'd you say? My chat was just lying. Wait, what were they saying? Teams pick sides before the match for all games. We'll move up towards Xiao Hao here. Pretty sure that's not it. Scuttle crab fight with some double crab because of Tristan, right? Way, way oh, actually, he's going for double crab and they're going for the bot. Oh, no, no, they're not going for the bot. But, but yeah, Talia had to fucking TP it. And, uh, did you guys see? Did Zinza start Raptors? Because like this, if he spots Zin, maybe he can even take enemy Raptors here. Yeah, that's true. I mean, they should be up by now, no? Take down that war. Oh, wait, he's chilling, bro. However, way, way, Double right crab. Again. He's happy. He's right yeah, he yeah. I mean, Trist uh, completely is more threat. Yeah. Yeah. Don't war crab. And Talat TP mid, and they go for top. He's oh, very neat. He does two camps, he will get five before the grub spawn. And... Yeah. He's gonna get level five. Mm. Okay, did red into Gorems. He was taken down like yeah. If he does two camps now, he's level five, right? HP, so yeah. The more you For leave grabs. him alone and the yeah, more he yeah. farms, the more he will be a nuisance and a threat. And it's not still a prior. Well, it's not push, uh, for is, pushing here, but, but that's good. That started to develop here, he wants to prior for the tunnel. Like, Bro, everyone is buying cold. Sentinel is just broken. I, I, yep. I, I <laughs> everyone is buying cold. Like, everyone. Wow, that was... I mean, it was good. W on Instagram Scout, but Shao reacted really well. because it was. Yeah, the E had actually stunned him, bro. I didn't think he was going to get the stun. Yeah, I thought he didn't have it on time. Yeah. As a uh, new and bright face to wave Oh, no jump. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, so no. played by Jao, oh, but he oh, fucked well, it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh he's alive. Oh, oh. oh. Jao, how is alive too? Oh, oh my god, god man. Ruby Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was pretty based from from Jahao and Jahu to like you know talk about the fact that he had no jump for that timing. 
curse of the mouth. Yeah, I mean, uh, scout intent by not flashing instant, honestly. The moment uh, enemy jungle tree flash and you're on jump. Fuck yeah, go. You got Q3, and then show you a time to, like, get close. Flashy. Q, E, W. Yeah, like, flashy Q. But yeah, it was so close, this one. Yeah, once he got that one auto, then it changes everything. So he knows yeah. that the trade has been made. He, uh, I'm wondering if he could flash earlier. Yeah, of, of course. Oh, wait. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's anyway, it's pretty hard to react to that, no? Yeah, it's, it's surprising that, like, the, you're, you're getting e on by a stacked Zenzo, like... Yeah. That's a pretty good play from Xiao But that's a word, though. Yeah, they saw him. They're seeing everything. They're, they're seeing Xin charging his uh, yep. Q, you know? So, like, he can see. Oh, really? I thought the ward was, like, closer to the ramp. No, you know, it's uh, on the right of the ramp. Yeah, uh, like, uh, between the water and the ramp. Okay, if you see them, okay, okay, then it's pretty troll, yeah. <laughs> I mean, con considering that, to be fair, I shouldn't even give them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was closer like, to the ramp. I, I, I did not see it. I, I saw on the ramp. Yeah, but I think that he just thought that, like, he's baiting him here. He's like, oh, like, if they go on me mid, my juggler's here. We're just gonna win because he's stronger, right? Yeah, but the fact is that Tarya does advantage over. Uh, now Trist. he has scout yep. like at the uh, boots of speed and uh, the Tristan gold. So some of these he was fast to get an advantage for himself. Yeah, absolutely. Your job as a Zinzao is to play aggressive in the early game. To wait, wait, so high level, bro. <laughs> He's level six or seven minutes. CS, bro. It's the highest CS in the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to be the damage for his team, and it seems to suit him so much more. Oh, he got the three void in the replay. Right here for LNG, just the place yeah. overall suits him. You know, Hang play more of a tank frontline for his team, having Zika as well. On some sort of frontline champion too, and allowing Wei Wei to unlock. Oh no! I thought, like I'm thinking, they need to pick something like like Senna being behind the lane is not as other champs like. LNG and so far, yeah. So they're gonna pick like Blitz or something and yeah. make their life hard. Oh, they're going into Wei Wei. Right here, Shahu. Oh, I don't think it's yeah. Wait, 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 just too fast attacking this. Yeah, and uh, now Tris is actually losing. Now is like, they need to... Oh. Ball. We really to ignite that? Get active in the sidelines. Oh, nice movement. Steps Ooh. Oh. Steps up, but uh, not going to find anything after the hail of arrows. Yeah. Now, Ghost just makes everyone better. Back from the yeah, Ghost is so fucking still looking at Shahu to start being proactive with the Weaver's Wall. These are for LNG. I mean, Weibo needs the base now. Right now, he's hovering with some vision towards... Ashley in base. Like these Jinx Zeri champs, like when when they play against Force Cleanse comps, like it really it changes their scaling completely. I think. Yeah, one percent. They are suddenly like because more so. Good against the base. Really nice from Melanie. Yeah, actually, it's a disadvantage for me. Yeah. Tarya was uh, roaming, got the plant, went back mid. I guess yeah. he's still higher here. So again, base after this if he wants. But, uh, yeah, Shahu uh, dropped his. Tempo to try to look to kill Wei Wei. Oh, he's still not basing. Okay, he wants to push one more because uh, he can get the money proc on the first. Do you guys think Wei Wei will just mm, choose to not buy the Andres on the first base? Just to have an item for Drake? Uh, I, I do like that. What, I mean, people have been going like, Rallies first. I don't like it though, bro. I feel like Leandre is so good in this game. Three front line. Like, Leandre is always yeah. Yeah. Like, but he, like, he won't be afforded. Yeah, for Drake, I, I would say no, I, I would just build towards Leandre's personally, but he'll go Rallies. I mean, everyone goes Rallies every game. Just because he had perfect goals for Rallies. Yeah, he yeah. just yeah. Starting to move around the map with Gala feeling Oh, that's actually really good. Ah, not the on the wave though. Just fucking you with Sana, no? Wait. Ah, oh, we're moving. Okay, we don't play for Shocker. I think it's like, will... Does LNG even contest this Drake, or do they just wait for third Drake and play Grubs? I think Kangs should not show. They should just wait. Yeah. Regrets I will not contest this. I would just, just wait here with Tama and go bot. Maybe Scout is just TP. Scout is just TPing bot, right? That's how they're playing. Oh, they're ki kidnapping him? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh wait, is he just dead? Destroys oh. them, no? Oh, Brand? 
And they got six oh, ones. Go the, the souls, no color. I think it's a flash or what? Oh! Of those oh! Is this out? Oh, scout. I mean, they're all out, actually. Shit. Damn, Damn, they all live. Live. Right, They should definitely. I think they need to split map top here. I think they need to, like, run back top. I don't think they go Drake now. They lost way too much. Uh, the enemy team has no TP. They won't need to defend bot. I think also if like they mismatch and go just all topside with uh, with everyone, I think it's also okay because you just have they have the grubs. Latings are still alive. I think maybe you sack this Drake and just rush top. Yeah, you definitely sack the Drake and rush top. I think it's definitely better. However, right now there's a bunch. He just based on his back bot. Ultimates missing and summoner spells for the side of LNG, but they have been known to drop. I guess they want to fight like he's going to mid Actually, ZDZ proxying this wave gives enemy no options, actually. Yeah, it's a good proxy. But I mean, they could have killed him on this proxy. Like, this is a very risky proxy, no? Yeah, I was thinking Tristana would just walk on him, but... He goes, but they're just matching. Yeah. I don't, I don't. I don't like fighting here if I'm LNG. Yeah, I mean, wave, it's very advantage for Weibo fight. It's still yeah. there though. Zanik is looking back top, no TP. Yeah, and if you look on the top side of the map, Zeka has TP. TP available. Oh, it's very close to TP. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much how good they are on the timer here. Yeah. It's hard as well because. You don't want to be taking Still need to be face checking so until I go to push bot. As well as yeah, just no flashes looks pretty hard. To try and fight. Again, Renekton very, very strong early on. However, there aren't many items that have been completed. There, <laughs> there's actually is only one, and that's Rylai's, uh on to Weiwei, but that item is so... Ah, the slower Weiwei really takes it straight, the better it's both for LNG, they're happy. Yeah. On to melee champions like the Zinzal, like the Renekton, is that CC that you need for all the other spells to stick on them? I just cleared the top side version, no? They actually walk on this. No way. Mm, Renekton's moving. That's crazy talk. Nah, LNG. this is so bad. I don't think they'll ever want to fight here. Gala has no flash as well. They might have to eat. Okay, never mind. Brand would stun him. Brand would stun him. Yeah. I mean, they wanted to commit so hard, by the way. Like, Scout played full for tempo. Didn't take play in Zwind. Didn't take play in bot. He just based for Drake and for Void. Like, but they don't fight. So actually, Scout loses on uh, 500 plus gold. And he's getting those bots. Sante is getting chased. He can't TP. Tom can't just TP. Oh, oh it, that's Kisante. Uh, that's uh, Tom, actually. Hung. Yep. Kasante and uh, are Zika are just fighting oh. for their lives. Oh, oh no flat, no, no uh, Tom Kench. Oh. Bro, light to a cute Z. So again. <laughs> yeah. To light, or to shout out rather, and that'll be a second kill to Raybo. And even okay. if you miss it, it still works. Yeah, I don't know. That's what you know I'm. What? Uh, I'm just gonna say uh, that he tried to get in this matchup as three. We just <laughs> He's like, I don't even need my Q. It's tricky as well because the um, uh, of course, it's like brand Tristana, they can't really do anything to Talia. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why I was really take over side. I don't know, bro. I feel like brand with Rallies, you just don't do any damage. That's how it feels to me. Yeah, imagine he had Lee Li and Riz on the world grab spot. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is dead. By the way. I think the game would be uh, it's too expensive, but still. But when Triss has TP, the game will be a lot easier because then Brand can just walk on Renekton lane and they can actually kill Renek quite easy, I think. And then just isolate Sanatama uh, mid and just let Tristana, like your 2v2 sucks on Tristana's side. I think they just couldn't do much. They just need to defend turrets. It doesn't even have haunting guys here. I mean, this is. Varus ult is down, I guess. Rakan ult is down. That's why they're trying to leverage this fight. I feel like Weibo Gaming, even though they do yes, see okay. the of Varus, they need to make hmm. some more moves to make sure they're ahead enough. Stana has Kraken? Yeah, yes. Kraken and the Klug of Agility. Should you just jump on Rakan here? Oh, they, they get to hit mid here. I think Jahu can zone. Yeah, do you wall them here? Uh, they're not going to squeeze here. Yeah, that's what I thought. They have wall as well, they can't really cross. Well, they can't really cross. I mean, they see everyone, Tristana will push top now. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 mid turret for it though. Yeah. I mean, they will lose it either way, so it's pretty good, yeah. Stop Talia, stop Talia, guys! Pay attention! Pay attention! It would be really good actually if they stopped him. 
I think brands should just walk on Renek, really. Yeah, I think without Leandro, it's with not like giga free. Many times, catch these yeah, but I do agree with what Yamato said. I think yeah. Tristana uh, brand can kill anyone. Yeah. So oh. You just have to stop the them into Renek. Easy, just ult for the wave. Last series for Weibo. Oh my god, Renek ulting for the wave? Does this happen in NRC? I thought it's, it's, it's possible to achieve. <laughs> the diving bot with Tristana TP, like he's not on the wave. I guess he's just waiting for info. Now he's all Zin. Yeah. Yeah. Love that too. For light, you're gonna Stalia have no beats very big. How long for uh, Weiwei's item? He doesn't have it for Drake or it would be huge. However, they're already pre-building all of that armor. You see <laughs> Frozen Heart already gone through. Uh, they just Thor need one kill where Tristana is. Uh, and actually, game is over. Well. Like, he so gets one tower a loot. Yeah. He's the bolts. People like playing Tristana into, like, Talia. That LNG is building and there is I've yeah, noticed that's, like, uh, the matchup people are going for. <laughs> because it's uh, free skating, threat. but... Uh, the like, if they had, like, Maokai yeah. jungle or something, like, he... It's not like something like an uh, if, if, if they had like Malka, for example, then like playing against Talia is so so different. Yep. Like she can get ult from every angle and she has to like aim to be ult. Yeah, like Cinder and, Cinder and Talia are both denial. Yeah. Well, it's level 11 here. It's actually pretty big. Do the damage in this fight. I think LNG have to contest this. Not that easy though. I think they... Don't they just lose this fight? Obviously not alone. As a account, together with <laughs> they have to just get on the turret first. They have to leverage Herald mid. About, uh, oh, good from Crisp here. Zone in the oh. later game. Looking good potential angle. Play here. Wall across, but just a little bit late. Here comes the uh. play with the grand entrance. Double TP. Okay. Randall. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Randall is jumping out. Right oh, thank you. One more wow, that's late even from Oh, man. Space. This guy's dead as hell. Look at the damage of Brand. It's non-existent. Yep. <laughs> looks like shit. Yeah, it looks like looks like shit there, bro. <laughs> I swear, if you had Leon, they like hey, yeah, That's three drakes, bro. I don't know. He ultimates remaining for Weibo Gaming, but they do have the numbers. He's going pretty wrong. Oh wait, what is what is a? Uh, oh, uh, I mean, Scout's building is in such a weird way. Never mind. Still going Navri, but it's like I never see people build Navri like this. I mean, it's because they swapped the the thing of nowhere. Uh -oh. no, yes. no, but even so when people really go um, Navri, I always see them like not sitting on the crit cloak. They're always just sitting on long swords and shit instead. True. Oh, the position was so bad here for NG. Mm. They cancelled the bases. All the way in that Along from Leandre. Yeah, maybe they can get tier one bottle for this. And with Scout over in the top side of the map, this is going to be a refill that was not worth the time investment to take in the first place. But again, the creative flanks that we talked about, Great Wall will force a couple of summoner spells Ooh. from Shahu. I just realized the bot speed band. In. <laughs> I'll now, tell you what other champion can do this besides Rakan. Gets to push yeah. everyone away and we flew the whole map like fucking Ryan Airman. Great fight right there from Wave. Anyone wants the ARAM on EUNE? I need pre made for a mission. Holy shit, we're doing missions on EUNE. <laughs> Somebody get in this guy's EUNE game. Flanks are my god. Shaohao being massive with those crescent guards is going to continue to be a mainstay of the fight for Wave. <laughs> that's, cute. that's what we yep. kind of talked about from draft. Is Rank 1 there is like master US. Some of that utilitarian style Maybe that's... Because he does have that crescent guard that delays Always when I get to do rank though, when it's uh, the Vietnam server or UNE, I say rank inflation and then I do two or one ranks lower. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, higher. higher. Yeah. yeah. They, they can work with that a little bit in their comp strengths. I, I remember my team in 2016, uh, like there was a free spot out of uh, EUNA, and we went there, but we needed accounts there to be game. able to Absolutely. participate and like with it. And, and we went and we did minimum D on 3, but then we climbed, okay? And Challenger, you will get 48 points every game. It was crazy, like, easiest strength one ever, if you wanted. I don't know now, probably it's better, but still. Maybe I should go there. Wow, you can see your Challenger, dude. 
<laughs> you sell coaching for three hundred dollars. I bet you the queue times are long as fuck. Or maybe it's, it's actually a paradise of queue, but you can uh, play with diamonds if you are rank one. <laughs> maybe they fixed it this way. The opponent team apart when they're ahead in the game by creating was EU and E like more popular at some point? Never, I think. No. Uh, it's just always it's only, it was only popular when there was no transfer. Ah, uh, shit. Well in the, in the beginning, playoffs, and in the regular season, especially towards the end of the season itself. Uh, but I remember in the beginning, I was racing for rank one against Pookie style. Dragon, they're gonna be just fighting for the assurance. Yeah. <laughs> Get some vision around here because that could, you know, someone has just said queues are not long, but you get random ranks. Nice, <laughs> again, it goes back. Yeah, I mean, it was like that, that's why I mentioned it because it was like this before. I was challenger and I was with a demon one in my game. <laughs> that, yeah, I think that's how it is. So LNG will have some punching power of their own. All right, Pisana and Brian are ready for this Drake, man. Bro, Tristana is so ready. Like, it's about we, we, be we better be fighting it, bro. We just better be fighting it. Yeah, I mean, the wheel red is impossible. Do we one. take the red right now? I think we delay no, it a little bit, no? Yeah. We don't. I guess no red for three. I mean, they'll have it, but it'll be just like expiring. Oh, they just had to use Senna ult to check Baron. That's so sad. Level 10 Senna ult, they have to use it to check Baron? Wow. Enemies pinging everywhere. It's like, guys, they're scared. They don't know anything. <laughs> they have zero vision. <laughs> yeah. Weibo Gaming yeah. and LNG are making sure they're using the resources they're using the all to make sure that Weibo are not Alright, slam those pink wads, baby. Objective, however, one minute time that Senna old. I don't think I don't hear any compensation about pink wads are useless, bro. The last buy of scouts. Yeah, please buy Rapid fucking the 10 pink. I mean, I think that they just have to... I think LNG probably have to try to pick someone off. Like, I don't know. I don't think they can play 5v5. Wait, wait, really. base. Oh my god, okay, we do nice. damage now. We have the hundreds. Front line, front. So they're trying to gain some river control. Come on, Zika. Uh, he got fucking marks. It's actually wave, so though. huge. They could just try to use some of this pressure if they want to, but look at the flank coming through from Crisp. He does have an angle. L and G are moving with their tanks down. Ooh, the they found Crisp. Crisp yeah. DZ is on a ward. And this is why you buy pinks, ladies and gentlemen. It should be moving back towards mid. Oh, okay. Oh, I did. I like it. Good. The scooter. I thought he's slamming his vital suit on that shit, man. Oh, the sirenic. Hey. Another one here. He just can't find the way through. He's gonna have to brute force it. Oh, oh shit. Oh, big. Oh, dead. Wait, oh no, no, he's not. Wait, we didn't, we didn't kill that. But Drake is gone. But Drake is gone. Oh, oh my, he's going in. He's going in. He's going in. He's going in. Set a W. Set a W. Okay, it's a penta. Okay, it's a penta. It's a quadra. Oh wait, that one is up. What do we do about it? Time catch his tanky. Is he gonna have balance? I'm his tanky. The tower. Everything is good. Yeah. Is he Q there? We still dive it. No, don't we? Don't we still dive it? Now it's coming. I mean. We dive, it, we dive 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 it. I think. Very easy. You think so? There, there's no yeah. Seraphs. Renekult, Renekult, just watch Renekult. Renekult and Talia. I think, the... I think Talia just ults, no? And... <laughs> Since those stayed as well, but like. Uh, I mean, Zin stayed, but like you have Tom can't you eat? Like if Zika tanks oh. after his ult? I mean, Tom was half HP though. Like he can't yeah. tank uh, more. How's it going? You can't dive my, my asshole Titan, bro. I, I, I would dive that 100%. I would 100%. I think they have some different players. players. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jahu is no flash, no stopwatch, no seraphs. I mean, also, how does Jahu not just die off this, bro? Like, we have to kill him, though. Yeah. Like, why are people not killing Why did Scout not walk up? He's that, I guess he's scared of getting flanked, but, like, I don't think that he dies, does he? Like, there's a Tom Kent right next to him. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, he has a uh, Tom Kent right next to him. Doesn't he just walk up and kill that guy? No, I mean, they should, they should. if he should jump W, yeah, you can anyway. I mean, why is ZDZ queuing air all the time? Like, he's on like five times in a row now. Yeah. Ah, but by the way, like, they do, if they do one time, I think they could have gone for it. Oh, 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 a, a good kick. Who's that pick? Oh, oh, Hong flashed oh, over wait, too wait, to try shit. to save him and he couldn't do oh, anything. Tom, That's just oh, no way. Damn. They have to try to take mid and bot. Yeah, they will take. 
I think they have to say, and they have not appeared, so they we... It's actually not that bad. Not that bad. Could be worse. Yeah, like, Tristana is rich from this. No, he has to be not more worse. Base, base, base. Time for him to buy a fucking useless ass shield bow instead of LDR. Can't wait. Yeah, I'll go LDR. He has a brain. Very, very, very close series. Nah, yeah, it's a balance one. It's a yeah, balance one. Yeah. Yep. Any way possible, but right here with Weibo Gaming, he will go LDR. Gala soul check. Why is spaced out? I don't even know how the fuck, fuck happened here. Did he use before dying? No, I didn't. Uh, Look at how just flash in, bro. He just flashes and he's just stuck. That's a pretty dank wall, actually. To try and devour him and probably Even if Baron didn't flash, way. he couldn't really flash. <laughs> bro, who the fuck in an 8 bot air still on tokens? Uh, Busio. Busio. My what lord. What the fuck was that one? Yeah. Is he good? Like, I don't think he had any no, stacks. That's horrible. I think he, he had, had one. one. Stacks? He actually had no stacks? <laughs> he had like no stacks until one. like 20 minutes or something. Like, he didn't get like one stack in lane, like once he bought it. And he was like a giga behind. He was 0 3 0 and he was hard still. <laughs> he should have leaned against enemy top melee and up to get sucks. <laughs> he bought first armor item at like 28 minutes or some shit. <laughs> like I only saw the screen of him being 04 Ersil. Yeah, 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 I posted that. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, someone replied to me. I think he just wants to be bigger so he can engage with Tom Q. I was like, what? Bigger? <laughs> he wants to increase his size because he needs to engage with Tom Q. Wait, what? <laughs> And then it was X Elixir of Fire. <laughs> there's like there's like one segment of the fan base that always like explains what pro players do no matter what. It's like, oh, it was just nervous so he was engaged with Tom Q. But it was positive gameplay. <laughs> oh, Scout just into the oh, whole game. Okay, thank God for Tom Kench. Jesus. Oh my I didn't God. see that Tom Kench was close enough. Bro, it's so broken, Vars against them, because <laughs> legit E ate him, but he's still in range of the ult. <laughs> and he yep. gave ult to everyone, no matter what. Whoa, oh my he's god. jumping in like that. Oh my god, oh, Scout has oh, lose, bro. Scout! Think about your life. Holy, <laughs> fleet, fleet saved him. Oh god, oh. Gala. Oh my god, Gala. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh. Shao is on a mission to fucking win this game. <laughs> Scout has TP, Scout has TP. Scout CP oh, long. One. He's he's TP long, bro. He's behind yeah. them. He's all the way behind, yeah. bro. Oh, oh hell wait. no. Ain't wait, no way, wait. bro. Wait, so it's a oh. oh, he's the guy. Oh, he gets Lotto. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, what's up? Wow. is dead. Oh, he has flash. Never mind. What Renek? What for Renek? What for Renek? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, he failed it. Zika failed his uh his Q. Yeah, but Zika can just walk for Renek. It was bad. Hey. And again, Weibo getting caught in these situations. They did see the TP dot. Like they were they were fucking checking. Yeah, yeah. Bro, Scout is a psychopath, bro. You know he he lived because he had the fleet auto in the air on his arm. <laughs> yeah. Like this one? No, no, like soon. Like, here he drops and he's about to die to Leandri. And then Fleet is heals him? 125? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, here he didn't die. Like, he got good for this reason, by the way. He didn't tumble. Yeah. And he didn't get the Fleet uh, Moonspell. So he actually got good with Ali Like, he cancelled this out immediately. This one was close, though, because he, he out cancelled the auto. Yeah, he out ran one time. They just couldn't I thought he cancelled it. It looked like he cancelled it. No, no, no. Hey, we're scrapping, we're scrapping. Yeah, we got half oh, it's a troll? Oh, oh Scout just jumped in, bro. Scout just jumped in, he's dead. Oh, oh my god, man. Who got Drake? Wait, Renek is not that. Wait, Drake is just still up. Yeah, Drake is alive. Drake, Drake is just alive, bro. Oh, the end? No. Are they gonna roll? Oh, oh yeah, really fuck, they though. lose. <laughs> what do they lose off this? They have soul. Damn, Scout just ran it down, bro. For the last five minutes, Scout has been... Bro, Scout... He wants out. Scout is like... I can't carry this. <laughs> <laughs> I am done with this game. Okay, please, I think the game might be over, I'll be honest. Uh, maybe it's not. I mean, Mountain Soul is not game-ending, I guess, versus their comp. They do have damage. It just makes it even harder. 
the side of Weibo Gaming, there's no particular yeah. tanks. Hong is giving his life trying to help like Scout. They just have a Renekton and a Zinzao, two bruisers. Right now, with the addition of the Mountain Soul, they can actually frontline maps more uh, easy. I would right. say... Is it really shield bow here, man? Everyone loves it. Well, is it not just BT? I mean, you have a Tom Kench to eat you. Like, is shield bow actually? Like, can you play differently with shield bow? Is this somehow become a good play if you have shield bow? I mean, you just—it's like G, basically. It's a. To play it's a cost like thing, no? BT is always better, but it's just expensive. Yeah. I mean, shield bow is how much? 3k or how much is shield bow? 2.8? Shield bow is 3k uh, and BT is what? 3.3? Then it's 3.4 BT. Or 3.4. No, okay, so it's 400 gold difference? Bro, I feel like 400 gold late game. Who cares? Yeah, static shiv with 200 gold, bro. And everyone takes it. What do you mean, man? Yeah, but I mean, early game, it makes more sense, no? Like, he can buy Cloak of Agility. And Frozen Art is dead after 200 gold nerf. Yeah, it's just never buy it. You can never buy it anyway. It's just a terrible item, I guess. Terrible item, man. What the fuck are you saying? I Night Wolf. Fuck you. Night Wolf is the best item in the game. Actually, it is, though. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, Night Wolf is actually broken. I think I think like you can go Night Wolf first. I just think the team's not having a frozen heart at all is like crazy though. And you know, like, see, should buy Night Wolf. Chris has, to, has flash here, okay? Doesn't have to ult. Such a hard game to play though. For scouts. Yeah. I mean, he like needs to have better angles though. Yeah. I mean, it's like his team is like, um, can't make spaces, so he's trying to make space himself. Yep. You know? And he does have Tom Kinshar, so um, I don't know, maybe he should not lose confidence and do it anyway. But he has red buff here. Global red. Yeah. He's farming both, I don't Yeah. He's farming. I mean, they just get free. They're going to start Baron for sure then. Nash is gone, by the way. I guess Talia. Chris is going. Chris is going. Hello? What? He what is his team? <laughs> what? They're doing Nash. They're doing Nash. They're doing Nash. This is a flank, man. What? Oh, they have to. They're getting walled off. Okay, Jago I mean, okay. is good talent. <laughs> I guess he's still on a flank, but still. Yeah, this is what I wanted. So he's a... For three games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, brand value. Chris Wood. No flash okay. on Jaha. Jaha is just dead. Oh, actually, oh, no, he has flash now. Holy shit. Two fights, by the way. They can clear. Oh, no. Never mind. Second. Oh, Jaha just got flashback, actually. Damn. Four buffs remaining from the it's a clencher, bro. It's a fucking clencher. I don't know. They use all sounds for Elder, by the way. I think it's... The game losing. <laughs> they have no flash. On Jaha and Light. Oh my god, Scout, bro. Jesus. Scout is scary, man. They should squeeze now, I think. I should try something. Top to two, maybe. And yet nah, another another Wait, so what do you build uh, last item here for Kristana? <laughs> it's, it's anything. Crazy you know, after you have, like, after you have Kraken and Navar, you can build anything. Is it just BT or is it gonna go some type yeah. of GA? You can go BT, Phantom Dancer, Fair Cannon, QSS, like any yeah. item. You only need the Kraken and Navar to be useful in this jump. Okay. Nothing else. He won't have gold for anything and he will buy Zeke's guys. No, actually, he's a selling Navar and buying AI. AI is better this game. Into a Phantom Dancer. We are <laughs> Bro, look at Weiwei's inventory. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this inventory so often. <laughs> like, this is such a... Yep. That's a that's a showmaker inventory, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen this showmaker inventory before. He's going to see Kassam. Let's lose the game for the souls. Fuck it. Ah, never mind. Oh, he's just getting a beer suit. We've the seen F sword. clear the um, jungle over and over again, trying to get the GA. It's the GA, GA item real quickly. Ah, uh, actually, yeah, yeah. One minute and he likes GA as well. Yeah. Mid lane tower going but down. I'm not surprised if he goes to fish even deeper to push down their wave. GA sold though, he's cheap, right? 131 souls, everybody. Because they're gonna get punished. 131. They do have a lot of vision. 180. Another Elder Flip? Yeah, the Baron will be off though, so... We gotta see what the wave states are before they flip it. The, the lack of suns is good. Oh, Zika... Zika doesn't have GA. Or ZDZ has no GA, I mean. They're fucking going. On the wall. 
Oh, man. Jesus. Is he just out? He went out. He went out. No. He went out. Cal, you into the whole game, brother. Everything's He keeps and he takes. He keeps and he takes. That's him. 1v9 for 4 kids. Oh and my then... god, Scout. <laughs> no. Bro, he stole away. <laughs> he was oh my god, man, he what a ending. <laughs> he was all alone there. In the end, he got way more gaming. Oh man. They have to show Gala's face. Get the fuck. And it's in Gala's face. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Oh my god, Scout, bro. Oh my lord. Damn. The revenge are Bro, when I called the reverse sweep at 0 2, one guy said LNG, LNG will come back, but they will lose game 5 because Scout is going to run it down. <laughs> and someone predicted it to the dot. Happened, bro. They take them it happened. All damn five games. All five games. And it looks He's in oh the dumb mafia this game. Good. Bro, Scout has so much range there, no? He jumped four. directly into Not melee. To Holy uh, fuck. Man. IG Bro, I, I don't know, man. Wow. I feel sad to be a uh, Gala fan on this roster. I feel like he has no agency. He's just playing like Senna. But by the way, Tom Kench can't eat uh, someone behind the bull of Tale. Uh, I think it depends on their champion size, Aang, probably. Aang just fucking flashed him. <laughs> he just uh, flashed at him, you know? But yep. if, he, if, if he can eat him uh, behind the Tale wall, this is a different fight. Dodge versus ult, like, everything is fine. Like, imagine he just buys QSS instead of BF. Because he, like, he knows yes, the final right. fight is coming. She. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Honestly, oh my, bro, like, he jumped at the same time that Talia used the wall, by the way. Same time, like, same fucking pe- oh my god. Same time. The wall was fucking in uh, but we insanely well placed, so. But, but yeah, Aang also entered, like, as I said, I, I think he, he can save this very yep. easily. Just hit him on the left, Varus ult is useless, like, yeah, it was such a bad fight. He was trying to make... Uh, mix max, uh, mini Bro, this Varus ult is the first Penta Varus ult in history. <laughs> you see, everyone so is like targetable <laughs> with Varus ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, wow. GG. The, obviously, the so words, the, the, <laughs> first, <laughs> the first and last alcohol fight. <laughs> Never happened in the history of League of Legends. <laughs> Like the way they're yo-yoing back and forth. Wow. The they have Wait, is Yoshido the place you wanted to take us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Niski wants to go there, bro. Maybe we just hit him up when uh, you then. get here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask him about the package. I, I come uh, Monday for sure. Monday like, for sure? I, I, yeah, I will come early and, and probably... It's cool if I, I hang out with you, I will watch LEC with you in your, in your place. Yeah, yeah, sure. I see B setting up laptop like the first thing that I do when I fucking show up at CB. Alright, alright. Ask him about the package when you made it. Well, you want to watch it like in my room? Like live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, let's do it. Alright, bro. How about I got well, a new power spike? Good job, I have good job them. Nice to meet you. Alright, peace, peace, peace. Later. Bye. Bye. See you. Uh, Alright guys, when... I gotta go to a talk show. I'm doing Power Spike with uh, Monty and Digon, so I'm gonna be doing that now. Gotta stop streaming for it, so I will see you guys tomorrow for um, LPL and LCK. I'll probably start with LCK tomorrow, because, I mean, it's T1, right? So, I'll do, I'll do some T1 hate watching live. Be our first T1 hate watching stream. Be the biggest Hanwha Life fans ever. And yeah, we will try to... Yeah, we'll try to to prey on their downfall live. After that, we got the banger, bro. FPX playing versus Rookie and NIP. All right, peace. Later.